How exciting. Do it. Do it. I saw people in the um, the Discord were like, "He's the uh, their plan is to go live in like two hours from now," and I was like, "Where they are from? Who told him that?" They, they, fuck, we don't make our plans until the day of most of the time. I don't know what you mean. This is probably the most professional podcast that's ever existed. Well, only in my subjectively objective opinion. <laughs> I was gonna say, lucky for me, it's all subjective, so I can't be wrong. <laughs> What noise was that? I but think responding to extra credits and we revisit just right with Theo, who was on EFAP. <laughs> <laughs> That's my well, one claim me, to fame. Explain to that. Top meme. I mean, in terms of like memes and the EFAP community, I'm B list as fuck, so maybe it does need reiterating. Bliss. I think bliss? Ooh, bliss. Yeah. So, Wolf, do you drink your Werner's warm? What? That was a question from previous EFAP. I remember I asked it in front of Rags, and I was like, what the fuck's Werner's? And I think you said it was it a carbonated drink of some kind. I don't drink Werner's, so... Oh, wrong thing. I mean, I know what Werner's is, but it's a strange fucking question. I mean, some people like to just know these things. It was, it was in a super chat, so they must have really wanted to know. Oh. Well, yeah, Werner's is like, eh, it's not horrible, but I would never go out of my way to drink it. And if someone offered it to me, I'd probably just ask for water instead. You're telling me that they, they, they got the wrong information and have thus wasted their time. Indeed. Okay, you said, forgive me if this is an important lore tidbit that's been answered before. Um, also, apparently you, you should read Solaris by Isaac Asimov. Man, I have like 400 books I have yet to read. 400. It's going to go on the list of all the shit I have to do. And Aramalithi. What, what shit do you have to do other than eat pizza? Yeah. Read, write, do. do YouTube, do all my full time job. Is eat pizza all day, all night. You don't have blood, you have marinara. That's. Pretty cool. Well, at least it's tastier than blood. Is I mean, like if a, a vampire thing? tries to like suck it out, they're gonna be like, "Wow, this is a fucking great." Oh, this guy eats a lot of pizza. Do you think they would be, like ward off a of vampire, or do you think they would just flop? Of course, it has blood. garlic on it. Oh yeah, there's not garlic in marinara, is there? I come to suck your blood. I don't think so. I mean, I'm not a chef. How would I know there the are of that? Garlic. There is garlic on pizza, depending on where you're getting it from, but no, you, you it's not eat garlic it, uh, in the oh, sauce. You eat so much pizza that you will absorb the garlic. I'll have you fusion. know, I've been eating healthy things all week. Yeah, vegan pizza. Yeah, no. I've been putting good stuff on my pizza. No, I have. <laughs> I had fucking a chicken breast, brown rice, and broccoli today. How do you fit all that on a pizza? I get the small pizza. It's only like four slices. I don't think it counts. Ah, uh, we got if... to admit it that he still is eating his pizza. If you have like a, no, gr a grain of general. rice, doesn't really count. IMO. IMO. I don't know. Subjective rice opinion. is a bunch of like rice is just pure carbs, isn't it? Hey, brown rice is better than white rice. Whoa. Whoa, shit. Well, you know, we made it. 12 seconds. I was gonna say, thanks for the ban, dude. Thanks for the ban. Shit. Well, hey, the last EFAP established that I am a Nazi, so. Um, vegan pizza is disgusting. I was about to say that's such an easy segue into into what we're covering, but I was like, there's one more thing I wanted to talk about. So, I've read plenty of comments from the last DFAP of people being like, there was this one that was like, sure, they can counter criticisms of Homecoming, but they never really talk about why Homecoming is any good, though. Like they don't ever talk, they don't ever raise a point for why Homecoming is good. We've heard. The, the the angertisms we know everyone Do we really everyone... talk about homecoming that much no that's the point i was gonna say like we I'm, countered I mean, criticisms episode, I, I arbitrarily like it was brought up casually because it's just a point of contention we've got an episode possibly two coming up they're gonna be all about homecoming now because um clearly the fan base wants us to talk about it with people who hate it so we're gonna try and set that up so that everyone can enjoy it. it, we'll call it the homecoming debate or something like that. It'll be like the the arrival one. 
but you know we'll see how it goes and who knows who will guest and it'll be fantabulistic but um yeah we haven't actually had time with homecoming really so like the people who are like why haven't you explained why you think spider-man homecoming is any good and it's like we've not really we've not that we, that's never been a focus of the conversation all i think all that happened in the previous episodes i was like oh shad critical drinker what are the biggest problems with it just tell me and i think shad said that it was mj it was his biggest issue and that's the only thing i remember not liking about the movie but what? she was not in it much so I think what's interesting is that when we rewatched it, I had said that the PE teacher has more lines in that movie than MJ does. Right. MJ is an extremely limited amount of lines, and I actually find a lot of the jokes that she's entwined with quite funny. Um, yeah. So I find it to be completely, you know, non non frustrating, and not to say that anyone else shouldn't or anything i'm just it's very curious that she would be like such a major issue unless the argument comes down to an adaptation thing in which case oh, i'm just dear. like okay. we we always have to qualify we mean shadiversity not shad man no. <laughs> yeah. we, shadiversity we is our shad man sh no shad man no no don't equate the two rags that's bad so also if if when it comes to homecoming if your argument is it's not like a comic, then I just literally could not give a fuck. So save your time. <laughs> well, just save and your I'm breath. Watch Booterman two tonight. Woo! Yeah, and then you'll finally Spooderman. be able to see another film that everyone hates. And we'll, I, I am genuinely curious to see what you'll think of it. It's gonna be funny. Hopefully, I'll be awake. I'm and going I can talk in to with you. like no expectations. I'm just gonna be like, okay, Spider Man. It's gonna be great. Booterman. Um. Also, yeah, welcome guest, Theo. Hi there. Hey, why did you speak over me? God. Uh, you're welcome. Um, it's been a while. You came on episode whatever when we covered wonderful J J Joseph Wright, just just Anderson. <laughs> 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 he was he was talking about um good old subjectivitisms and how it's all implied uh after the horror game shit. That was the one you commented on, right? The subjectivity one. Yeah. Yeah. Because he was sure is implied, because except when it's not. He made like an arbitrary comment along the lines of like, historians don't have to be objective. <laughs> so I can't remember. I don't want to paraphrase. He he equated uh, historians providing citations <clears throat> for their evidence with uh, people giving like, in my opinion, declarations and such like. <laughs> and apparently they're the same thing. Because, I would love you know, that if you saying if your history teacher was like, and they lost the battle. In my opinion, it was because they lacked abo. It's like, oh, what's that based on? I don't know. I just think that <laughs> I think that they did. <laughs> it's just it's just my opinion. All right, I'm not good, speaking good. for everyone. Bed, be. It's just how I feel, you know. Yeah, it's leave me alone. Um, oh yeah, and obviously, so some people be like, why aren't you talking about Far From Home? Spider Man is out. Uh, we'll, we're we're not going to do that until Rags and Wolf have seen it, and hopefully, the idea is they would have seen it by the next EFAP, maybe. Wolf certainly will have. Rags is a maybe tisms. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you won't be spoiled of it if you haven't seen it yet, but we're also not going to cover it because we got so much other tisms to do. Like, yeah, my goodness. But why are we e-fapping when Spider-Man is out? I mean, it's going to be out. It's, it's Spider-Man's going to be out. Yeah, Spider-Man 3 but will be out eventually. Is. No. Spider-Man Homecoming 2 or Spider-Man Far From Home 2. Who knows what they'll call it, or but I think my suggestion is pretty good. Spider-Man 4. Or maybe just a remake of Spider-Man 3, so we don't have to think about what actually happened in Spider-Man 3. Spider-Man 3 Spider 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 3, Spider -Man 3 retried. Spider-Man 3, Revengeance. So I have bad news. There's a video that got released that you guys may have heard of, called Stop Normalizing Nazis. Jack Sparrow featuring Michael Bolton. That is the subtitle of the video, yeah. Um, so... <laughs> The idea is that there's a channel called Extra Credits, and they did an oopsie. But the thing is, unfortunately for me, or fortunately, They're I've never cared about this channel. Has anyone on this panel cared about your Extra Credits before? I had never heard of him until this video, and now yeah. I never want to watch anything from him. I've, I've seen a couple other stuff through the years, just on and off. I mean, three videos, maybe. Because mm. they, the, they did the whole video not too long ago where... Oh, you should be paying more than sixty dollars for games, and that was a fucking oh, yeah. boat winner. We um, might check that out too, because that was fun. Yeah, 
they did some other stuff. Every once in a while, they'll have sort of a Tismy take, but generally, as far as I know, they 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 try to stay pretty. They kind of try to stay in the straight and narrow, but whenever they try to get political in any way, it goes. Mm. And this is the worst I've ever seen it, though. I've never seen it this bad. This is <laughs> this is a unifyingly yeah the, next level it has, bad. It has like one of the worst ratios ever. Like I'm not even kidding. It's down to is it nine percent now or is it ten percent? It is at is it ten percent currently? Ten percent positive. It's hard so to in, get that ratio. It's very hard. One in ten people think think this is a good idea. <laughs> um. So yeah, there's a lot of people in chat who've watched extra credits for a long time. I know a lot of people really like them. Um. I've never watched them. I've only ever been linked them every once in a while. And I remember a lot of controversy going around on the um the pay for more from games one. Like I said, we might check that one out as well. But this is the one we gotta get through first. The um I've seen just over a half of this video and I've seen someone else responding to it because literally like fucking a huge portion of the people I follow on YouTube responded to this. Because it annoyed everybody. It's one of those everyone disliked that moments. Um you guys have People seen... People in chat are like, stop normalizing <clears throat> the toxic brood. Stop normalizing <laughs> Longman. I want to normalize Longman. Remember, one of the response videos, I think, was called, like, Stop Normalizing Idiocy, like, or something like that. I was like, hey, we can keep this going. This could be yeah. Um, yeah, um, so th they've done this. Um, something I should mention, and I don't know enough about this, so I'm just saying it so that people who are curious would know. They... Uh, have a relatively different team now from what they had even a year ago, I think. There's a lot of controversy behind the scenes of, of who makes extra credits exactly. So, um, look into it if you want to find out. I don't know enough about it. It's very, it seems very murky and complicated, and there's a couple of, like, controversies that go further than just, uh, weirdisms. And so, like, a lot of people are pointing out their stances from before compared to now are different, and some people are like, well, different people wrote it, and it's like, they have different values now. It's still interesting, obviously, because it's a unified channel, but, um, yeah, I don't know who wrote this, and I don't know if the person speaking it is is the person who holds the views. I don't really, it doesn't really matter, because we're just responding to the video as content anyway. Um, but there's been a lot of talk figuring that out back and forth. Lots of Reddit threads and stuff. Either way, um... We're gonna see this. They've they've written a response to the criticism. We've seen responses on Twitter. We're gonna check out all those. It's gonna be wonderful. Yeah, we're gonna have a we're gonna uh, have a so gay old time. You guys ready? For what? Sure. What are we doing? Oh, you you, you want to watch together? We're gonna watch a video. Yeah, we're watching um, uh, Jack Sparrow. Oh, is it not showing up for you? It is. I just I've seen it so many times that I remember it. <laughs> okay. Theo, get in the room. Oh, he's in, he's in. It's four of us. They just stop normalizing piracy. Oh, it only shows three for me. Rejoin, right. Wolf. The myth but of I, the but gun. But I'm, I'm there. <laughs> Wait, so... So am I. I. I can see four, so it's fine with me. Okay. Skyrim... What, what's this video? Skyrim's opening. How not to start a game. Yeah, Skyrim is one of the most overrated games of all time. It's actually not really that good. I don't know why people are... F fucking. I don't know why people adore Skyrim. I'm like I'm actually a little bit confused, but all right, that's I tangent. Think it's though. fun. Yeah, this is well, this is working for everybody though, right? Right. Pizza I don't understand. Fun, though. You're supposed to eat it, Wolf. Yeah. I do eat it. Why do you not think? roll it? I bet what you do is I bet you take pizza and then you roll it up like a big old Italian taco, and then you just no, nope, just, just throw it, it on right down like there on the Scooby Doo Show program. Good. Wait, just for... it, no. Yep. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I, I eat yeah. a pizza like a normal man. Normal for you're you're not a normal man. Mm -hmm. You're not a normal man. Normalizing no. pizza. So can Skyrim I press? Can I press play? Water. This video starts so gloriously. <coughs> I'm gonna press play. There it, you are, playing the PvP like in your couch. World War II shooter, and all of a sudden, you're a Nazi. So um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just wanna, I just wanna. Draw attention to he said PvP, not PVE, PvP. Yeah, that's Someone important. Playing your your favorite PvP World War II game, and then all of a sudden you're a Nazi. That's how it happens. It's subtle, but then, bam, you just you you don't really know when the moment hits. You just kind of realize that it's happened that you're a Nazi now. 
That's mm. a penis couch. I think that couch is very kind of suggestively phallic. Yes, and the color does scream penis to me a little it bit. It does scream. It has yeah, a couch it, that color. And it's, we're answering the real questions here on EFAP. So yeah, just I'm just gonna hear him out again. Just make sure I got that. <laughs> wait, wait. What if what if that was like the the Nazi uniforms that they wore in World it War II? Said just said Nazi on. shirt with Nazi diagonally. <laughs> 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 like I don't know, I just I think that the previous uniforms they were they were a lot more stylish. It's like Jesus, Frank. Like why do you have to be so judgmental? These ones are stylish too. This one gets the point across. Yeah. Why did you have to be such a fashion Nazi? You know, <sighs> as bad as the Nazis were, they had a rockin' fashion sense. Yeah, they really did. Like they fucking Hitler has the coolest cool. mustache in the world, and nobody can wear it now. Why? Of why Hitler. is it that every EFAP you talk about fucking Hitler? He talks about well, fucking look, Hitler. I mean, it was confirmed. Well. I don't talk about that, but you know, it's implied. Mm. There you are, playing the PvP in your World War II shooter, and all of a sudden, you're a Nazi. <laughs> like, I already like the f this because they've, I already know they've publicly come out saying, hey, we're not saying just because you're playing it, it makes you a Nazi. And it's like, what is this? Like, what is this opening? <laughs> So all how about sudden, all the time where I'm playing like my favorite PvP shooter and all of a sudden I'm a communist? I didn't ask for well, this. Well, communists are okay. No, communists no, are they're okay. Fine. It's Nazis. They're not to mention, right. if you play, if I, for example, play as the Americans or you guys play as British, it's like, well, yeah, we can just trade our nationality for the day until yeah. you stop playing. Speaking of which, yeah. since so, so we're good at communists, uh, Mahler got me to watch Chernobyl and it's stellar. Oh, did you I like that last episode, dude? You like it? Oh, geez, it was great, oh, man. Good. I did the whole, I did all five in a row. I was up till six in the morning. So good. If you haven't seen Chernobyl, get with the program <laughs> and watch the Chernobyl. Um, but back to the video. Imagine <laughs> it's like you get called a Nazi, then you recommend Chernobyl. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> so, so I, I remember I was playing my favorite uh, PVE. Um, uh, transhumanist uh, cyberpunk game and all of a sudden boom I was a cyborg named Adam Jensen and I didn't ask for this it sounded like you asked there for this uh, I was uh, to quote someone from the chat I was playing Dead Space 2 multiplayer the other day I know it does exist it's okay yeah and suddenly <laughs> I was a necromorph I didn't ask to be a horrible disgusting monster <laughs> I, I was I was playing my actually yesterday legit I was actually playing my favorite World War 1 themed battlefield game and boom, I was British. I didn't ask for this. Why not? Being Welcome, British is brother. neat. Yeah. I was I playing just... Halo the other day, and all of a sudden, I was blue. I didn't ask for it. Wait, was, was your was. armor blue, or were you a like a blue alien? Like my armor was blue. Damn. Remember when you could play as an elite? I remember those days. Those were. I remember days. when Halo was good back before. You know. Well, I hated the whole red versus versus blue thing. Who the hell's the baddies? Red or blue? How do you know? How do you know? Well, if you watch red versus blue, it tells you. Oh. I was playing my favorite uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 game, and then before I knew it happened, boom, I was a faggot. Oh no. You're playing the Joseph Anderson simulator. <laughs> 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 so anyway. You shooter, and all of a sudden, you're a Nazi. You didn't ask for this. You didn't choose this. <laughs> Yet there it is. What, what? Oh god, Nazis. Okay. Oh no. So yeah, well, look uh, how good that guy on the right looks. Man, look and that's that. a cool mm. ass outfit. That dude, that dude's hat. But he's no he no no, that. Nazis. Stop it. You're oh, just saying, I, by saying the, they're um, dressed cool, you're saying the Nazis are cool, which by the way, not overtly Nazis from my very rudimentary understanding of soldiers. I wouldn't know enough to know. But like, all I can, all I can tell you is that the guy on the right is German. I and mean, didn't Fringy tell us before we did this call that in World War Two you fought, or World at War rather, uh, there was like fighting against the Wehrmacht, not necessarily the Nazis. Oh well, this is we're going to be having to go into no, that throughout all this the video. No, all Germans in 1940 were Nazis. Every single one, down to the last man, woman, child, and cow. Everyone joined all the Nazi Nazis. party. Every single one. Just like how in America today, everyone supports Trump. I was watching Captain mm. Marvel and bab, I'm the dog. <laughs> Not so bad. <laughs> we, we, we joke, of course, because the obvious response to this is, 
Yeah, whenever you play a game, you're obviously choosing to play as whatever factions the game has mm -hmm. in it. Um, it's it's such a, an obvious in-your-face response to this that it's almost not even worth mentioning. It's crazy. I guess it's almost like one side has to play as the bad guys. It's like, hey, can you believe that you chose to go and buy this World War II themed game and you might in multiplayer be put on the German side? Can you believe that? Like, you oh, this? You in, the, in the top left, it's got need ammo, need medic. And it's like, yeah, <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're concerned about the mechanics. They don't give a shit about, like, they're not here to be like, are we the baddies? Well, their name is Battlefield 5 Review 341. Oh, also, that's interesting. Um, the, the classes there, you have, you know, the marksman, support, medic. So what is that that apex looking symbol on the left hand side? Is that supposed to be the assault's new symbol now? Because that looks I never dumb. played Battlefield Five, so oh, I, I only played, played the, the beta. Oh, so this is beta. this is yeah. Battlefield Five then? Because I actually I'm just guessing from the names. I don't fucking know. Like this could be anything yeah, as far as I know. Exceedingly unimpressive. Um, what a, what an interesting new logo. Because in Battlefield One, the logo for assault was like a an explosion, like a little starburst. Um. Because, you know, boom, explosion. Uh, but okay, uh, that's interesting. So Man, yeah, I can't uh, wait to not play this game. What's the, what's the nightmare scenario for this video's topic? Like, okay, so I'm in the game, I'm a Nazi. The you turn into a Nazi. We'll see you yeah, then. Like, I'll give you the nightmare Sorry, I'm sitting next to you, I'm just playing my Game Boy on my, on my, on my little, on my Pokemans, and I'm like, oh man, Nazis are bad, and then you're like, I don't think so. I've been playing this game a lot. And they're kind of just the same as like the British or the American soldiers, really. Hmm. And then I look you know, at you. I play Pac-Man. Suddenly, in real life, I start eating people alive. That's also a concern. That they're going to address that in a future video, I think. But yeah, so I'd be like, "But Theo, don't you don't you know Nazis were actually the bad?" And then you're like, "Not according to this game." This game treats the Nazis as the morally righteous and correct <laughs> action. Mm -hmm. Clearly, yeah. the problem here is uh, the play. He's already, like, this is his first reference. This is, like, a legitimate reference instead of being vague. It's like, Battlefield Five. these guys, boom, you're a Nazi. And so I'm like, with, uh, you know, you, first of all, I'd need someone who knows the references one-to-one -to, -one to be able to be like, so this is what they actually are, or whatever. But talk about, like, Guy and... Both of the, both of the guys on the left, they kind of, like... They, I feel like I could be told they're from many factions and I could believe it. You know what I mean? Oh. Do you think, to the yeah. untrained observer, they're probably not like overtly Wehrmacht soldiers. Yeah. Well, and that's one of the complaints people had about Call of Duty World War II is that the Germans were like you couldn't even tell that they were on the German side, really, because they were extremely like a multi black female one, ethnic and multi gendered. Uh, they were very the, the Nazis were very diverse and inclusive, and their uniforms were uh, it just didn't look like the Nazis at all. So also, yeah, so, on this so, video's on this video's topic, I wonder how many professional Counter Strike players are now terrorists. Jesus, oh no. we have a all problem of them, spreading all of them the ideology. Have you ever played Counter Strike? They they're all terrorists. Apparently, they're not mm. historically accurate. We'll try and keep track of chat because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of insight in chat as to uh, the accuracy of these this not in this video, but the evidence is going to use. But uh, we'll we'll keep Nazi. soldiering on. You didn't ask for this. You didn't choose this. Yet yeah, there did. it is, and it's treated no differently than playing a British soldier. What does he mean yeah, by that? You, because you're a okay. fucking faceless soldier no, in a it's, multiplayer it's, match. No, it's from a mechanic perspective. Yeah, it's, the, it's called balance. It's called balance <laughs> in multiplayer, you fucking twit. Well, yeah, well, this is what I mean. If, like, if he's strictly talking about mechanics, it's like, oh, good. And if he's like, I'm, I'm talking about how they looked at just as soldiers, I'd be like, okay. Yeah, it's literally what they are. That's what they are. <laughs> in a PvP game like this, I'm nothing but the vessel for a health bar and a gun. That's all I am. What are, yeah, it's a competition between you and the other team. And so and we one, and, and it's themed for the world for World War Two. So one of the teams will look like the Germans and the other team will look like Americans or British or whatever. And that's literally as far as it goes. And ninety nine point nine 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 percent of people who've ever played these games, it's not even something that, that even comes to mind. It's just, oh yeah, it's World War Two. So one side's going to be German, the other side's going to be American, and then we, you play the game. End of story. And this is what I mean. Is he going to specify more than that? Or is he just differently? 
than playing a British soldier. This video sucks. That's an aggressive intro. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to turn that stop, down. <laughs> stop normalizing aggressive intros. You know, I was playing my friend Pedro the other this day, and I just decided, you know, I think I need to get a gun and go kill a bunch of people. I just like that I yeah. paused it. Bad. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> British soldier. Hey, listen, I don't know why I have to play as a British soldier. I didn't choose this. I didn't choose this. I don't want to play as some fucking inferior. I don't want you guys to be able to play as the superior race. Jesus. I don't want to well I mean wanna play as banana. Who wants to who wants to play as who wants to play as the Americans, really? I mean, what if there are people out there who say, Oh, I don't like the Americans have done terrible things. I want to play as the Americans. I don't want to play as these several levels that he's got here. I don't want You know what no one wants to play as is the French. Yes, That's fuck true. the French. And the Canadians, especially the Canadians. This is bad on so many levels. No one should ever have should. a random chance of fighting for the Nazis. No one should ever have a random chance of fighting for the Nazis. That is one loaded statement. Yeah, you see the wording on that. Not playing so, as a Nazi, fighting for the Nazis. I was about to say, like, first of all, it is a video game. I want to make sure that we're on the same page with that one. The Nazi Party of Germany is gone. Well, the the underlying core of this video is that they don't think that people can distinguish between reality and video games fantasy, which is something that you can establish from like an extremely early age as like a child is the ability to distinguish between fantasy and reality. Um, no, because you see, when I played like a Bionicle game when I was six years old, I was no, like, okay, real. I'm actually a Bionicle now. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Lego person. I got a better one. Well, maybe not a better one, but just a really thematically relevant one. Cops and robbers. So at the end of that <laughs> game, do the parents go, Robbers, this is wrong. You shouldn't be robbing, okay? Cops, you did great. <laughs> you guys were awesome. <laughs> Keep it up. Yeah, because everyone that played Payday 2 decided to go out and rob some banks. I was going to say, how does this not apply to literally everything that has you do anything morally dubious in any kind of media? Because Nazis are worse than literally everything <laughs> in the world, even though communism killed a lot more people. I do like the idea that they would probably argue, it's like, oh no, we're just saying, you know, Nazis are the worst thing ever, so just do it with them. You're like, okay, we'll give you that. And then next year they're like, but there are a few more things we could do this for. You're like, uh-huh, everything you don't like. Because what players love is to load up their game and to try to get into a lobby for their multiplayer. They just want to relax and have fun and play with their friends. And and then they get like moral lecturing about the factions and politics and the morality of all the sides involved in this conflict that they're playing in the game. That's what gamers love that. We, we love to be lectured to about morality. Liberal I'm sure that's that's really relevant to the kind of experience that they're looking for in a multiplayer game. That's why I bought a World War II game at all, is to explore the moral implications of each faction that was involved. Liberal Tears mm -hmm. in chat said, guess what I did after playing the airport level in Mon Warfare 2? <laughs> <laughs> uh, walked through while your buddies shot everyone in the airport? No, no he, he didn't speak town. Russian. Oh, right. Also, do you like how they're, they're trying to be serious about the subject matter and then they've got Nick Cage as a possible player? In the Stop wheel. normalizing Nicholas Cage. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just like, guys, do you wanna you're you are making a serious point, Stop right? Stop normalizing know. banana. It's bad on so many levels. No one should Puffy? ever have a yeah, random should. chance of fighting for the Nazis. Yeah, oh, so like, as you said, fighting for the game. Nazis is very interesting. And a random chance, it's like, why do you say that like it isn't that like almost you could get auto sorted into teams. I was about to say, isn't that isn't that sufficiently detaching you? As in, you had no control over it. It's just yes, it's a faction you're playing for, but it's the exact same game for the people on the other side. It's because it's just a mechanics based game. I mean, if I ever change my team, it's not because I really, really want to play as the Nazis. It's because my team sucks ass, and I want to be on the winning <laughs> one. Well, so on these games, typically arriving with single-player campaigns that don't tend to make the Nazis look like anything but reprehensible. Yeah, Nazis are generally the bad guys. Let's ignore and, that to make the video look bad. Or does, oh, the, I guess um, it doesn't count because you'd have to play the single-player. Most people just don't. They only play multiplayer. Yeah. When people choose teams in multiplayer, it's generally based around whatever the map is and whatever team might have an advantage in the map. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think I spoke to Rise about this before we heard about this video. But it's just like, whatever I played... Um, 
Ga uh, Galactic Conquest, like Battlefront shit, I just like I typically like to play as the bad guys. And I'd be like, uh oh, I've been desensitized to the the horrors of the Empire. I need to be told about like how Emperor Palpatine wasn't like that players. good. Have you ever felt compelled to build a station to blow up planets? <laughs> I just like you know, if you played as Darth Maul, they're like, you do know that he wasn't the hero of the story. I'd be like, oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> he wasn't. <laughs> I only played as the good guys on Mos Eisley Assault because they had a super fucking huge advantage over the bad guys. I liked playing Actually. as Darth Maul on that because he's a fucking nightmare to fight against because of his, like, you'd sprint forward and attack and you do that spin, 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 spin thing. Uh, the bad guy attacks. team had such cooler characters, but it was so fucking rigged for the good guys to win. Just like on Kashyyyk, the droids always win. Well, in the original Battlefront on, like, Dune Sea, it was pretty much impossible for the Rebels to win. <laughs> World Secretly Fascist, Stay Toxic by Ed Broods. <laughs> anyway, let's see, what other things this person will say? One should ever have a random chance of fighting for the Nazis. And we should never express that there's no meaningful difference between Nazis and allies. Am I, am I just oh saying God. which one's which? I can't distinguish between these two groups. I was like, uh, we you, shouldn't. You literally can. That's not true at all. You, yes, you can. You know, we just said this, we should never express that there's no meaningful difference between them. I'd be like, so even in, in the scenario in which I am literally just labeling factions to you in a, in a like clinical manner, I'm just like, Nazis are a thing. But what is the thing? He's like, ah. You mentioned them, you need to clarify how evil they were. You're like, like, I'm uh, sorry, how fucking stupid do you think we are? Like, we understand the difference between Nazis and Oh, they think they're fucking they think we're very dumb. dumb. Yeah, this whole video is about how then, dumb they think their audience is. Even then, is that the game's responsibility? Really? Anyone that has learned anything in school knows the Nazis were bad. No. This the responsibility of this to school. That's not even his point, though. He's he's assuming that that is true. It's that this game is slowly convincing us that what we've learned in school isn't necessarily true. They're normalizing by, the Nazis by playing as them in the game. You're apparently somehow representative of their ideology, and thus like, are becoming desensitized. Do you think that could well, ever is happen? There, is, is there even a case of that happening where someone has uh, said, Nazis aren't probably, so bad yeah. because I played them in a video game and they had the same mechanics as the good guys? That's why probably I brought up like, the not. crisis scenario. Like, how does this get to the point of being a problem? It sounds anything, so disconnected. It's like, you know, this banana convinced me to assassinate the president. You'd be like, bananas have to go. <laughs> they well, just these have World to War II multiplayer games, especially the, the component, the world, the multiplayer component of World War II games, they're completely devoid of any moral or narrative. It's literally just a vehicle for you to fight another team it's it, great. to have a first-person shooter. So when people see that, if anything, they're going to be like, Nazis were uh, a faction, and they fought against this other team, and that's it. It doesn't go into anything else. Dude, imagine every time you kill someone as the Nazis in like a PvP environment, they pause everything, goes black and white, and it's like. What you did was bad. You shot that innocent soldier. You are a Nazi. And then it carries on. And everyone's like, fuck's sake, every time. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but it's very important that the game does that, just to let you know that what you did was a bad. You can't express Nazis as like the same as anything else. Jesus. A meaningful difference between Nazis you know, and allied soldiers. You know, in Doom multiplayer, you can become a demon. <laughs> and you <laughs> they can better express so... the demons are meaningfully different than humans. Ass. God forbid you become a demon in real life, Rags. Yeah. You guys know the demons are bad. Fashionably interchangeable. And before anyone... Fashionable, fashionably in interchangeable. I mean, by the logic of changing your clothes, I guess that's true. They would be There's interchangeable with the skins. A lot of people in the comments of this video, because they're fucking cowards, they won't put swastikas on their... People that they're trying to represent as Nazis, they won't put swastikas on them. They have iron crosses on them, which aren't Nazi symbols. So yeah, yeah. I read I read a comment that said something like that's been a relevant symbol for Germany for like more than a thousand years or something ridiculous. I don't know if that's true, but that's that's their modern. Sure that's, that's the true. that's the Bundeswehr Bundeswehr Bundeswehr. That's the that's like their military symbol currently. Well, so the real message is Germany <laughs> is bad. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, like, Germans bad. I'm glad they've told us to fear all Germans and hate all Germans. <laughs> oh, no. I am a German. I was about to say, like, who does that remind you of? Hating an entire group of people based on something that, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to connect two dots here. What do, what do you mean? 
It's true. Iron Cross is an emblem of German military. Current one. Current one? So they're all still Nazis? Jesus. I didn't know that. Gosh, we need to do so something Germany about this. Done with that. Yeah, soldiers, I know, right? Or that they're functionally interchangeable. And before they anyone are functionally interchangeable. And says, well, I was supposed to say, like, in the game, yeah. And it's like, yeah, is that, this a problem? Mean, what do you want them to do? Do you want us to have, like, if you're on the Nazi team, we start off the match by, like, barbecuing some Jews just to tell everyone that they're... <laughs> and then they have an arrow and it says this bad. No, <laughs> it's... Come on. When gamers play video game, balance comes first, essentially. You need Gosh. to have some kind of balance. You need to have it be fun. You need to have it be fair. And if you have a World War II game that inherently puts the Nazis at a disadvantage because Nazis are bad, then that's going to make the game far worse and people are not, are not going to play it. It's going to be a <laughs> bad, bad part bad. of the game. Like, I don't want to play a game that is horribly unbalanced. But what if it's in favor of letting you know that Nazis aren't good? Oh, I don't want okay, to then. play it then. <laughs> why, do, why do I need the game to tell me that? Why does the because game you're stupid and you'll get desensitized and then you'll join the Nazi party. Do you want to know why? But I've already uh, done all those things. What if you vote well, for Trump? There's a, there's a reason why the game has a responsibility. Because, you see, if you go to the Extra Credits channel and you look at their YouTube banner, um, and as they have said for a long time, because games matter, you see. <laughs> and besides, these are the... Remember, Extra Credits, they made a video saying that Everything is political. Literally, everything is political. Everything that you do is political. Watch well, things a load of horse shit. But that's this is this is the kind of video that's the natural result of people have you who heard, push the everything is political narrative. Have you explored the rationale for that shit, man? It drives me nuts. It's retarded. It's like the air you breathe is as a result of policies on pollution, and therefore your very existence is political. It's you like everything is the sun. Everything is the sun. The best you can say is it's political in the sense that it's a product of its time. Well, the, this is my but point. It's beyond. like, it, by their logic, it's like, oh yeah, everything is political, but everything's also, I don't know, atoms. And you're like, oh, okay, thanks for pointing that yeah, out. Yeah, it's like, what you had for breakfast, that was political. They would say that. They would unironically argue that. And it's yeah, frustrating, because you're just like, okay, guys. The shower you took yeah, last night? That's that was political. And so obviously they're saying like all these FPS games that haven't been making statements about Nazis as thoroughly as they should be have been de degrading our society. Can you believe it? They've been getting well, away with it. They're going to say that everything is political. So as a result, every Which game between? does no no game has an excuse for not having politics in it to push a political narrative because it was always political. Mm -hmm. Nazis and allied soldiers or that they're functionally interchangeable. And before anyone equivocates and says not all German soldiers in World War II were Nazis, <laughs> not, all were German not all German soldiers. soldiers in World War II were Nazis. So, uh, rip yeah, that, yeah, that's literally true, though. Um, in fact, most of them were. It, even, it gets way more complicated yeah. than that. The further you dig, as well, like the idea that occupied countries that would have joined the armies, like oh god, yeah, when you start considering that, and then the fact that so many people would have just followed along because good god, they don't want to die. Hmm. And the, this level of nuance is almost like offensive to this channel because they'd be like, hey, 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 that'll make people like Nazis even slightly more, and that's bad. They're evil. And you're like, guys. guys. What, if, what if we said that Nazis are bad, but also not every German in the 1940s was a Nazi? Those those are not mutually exclusive things. But let's let's hear the full argument here so that he's actually who. Or that they're functionally interchangeable. And before anyone equivocates and says not, not all German soldiers in World War II were Nazis, if they were wearing the swastika and are functioning as an arm of the Nazi government, then unless the game goes out of its way to tell you specifically that your particular character is not a Nazi, then they're oh a Nazi. Oh god, fucking okay. hell. Oh my god. Uh, it's so, a multiplayer right. game, you fucking Jesus idiot. So if they're wearing the swastika oh. and then they're uh, an extension of the Nazi party in like form of warfare, I guess, then the game has to specifically tell you they're not a Nazi in the worst sense, otherwise they are, is what he's because saying. Because every soldier and every army is expressly and personally supportive of all of the government policies have happened, uh, that are happening. I like that he Isn't says that's it, how it works. like it's... Even before you... I just want to say, like, he says it's like a logical point. through line. Like, he just says that, like, that makes sense. Even before you get to that point, it's like... It's a multiplayer game that 
everything it's abstracted out of the context of everything that was happening in any real war that may or may not have happened in that setting. They're it, not functioning as an arm of the Nazi party. No, well, no. Every time you play, every time you play um, El Alamein in a World War II game, the Nazis have to lose. Yes, um, and they're not allowed to win by the game. The game uh, automatically makes the Nazis lose. Also, um, this is the thing: your audience. This is why they think their audience is fucking retarded. We don't have to be told that not literally every German was a Nazi. That goes without saying. Well, and that should be like obvious. It's yes, uh, obviously the game's not responsibility to teach us history before starting to play a multiplayer match. As chat has pointed out as well, um, I didn't catch the name. So you let's just say you, you play a modern post-apocalyptic civil war. No, maybe not post-apocalyptic. Just just say a civil war starts in America, and it's a game you're playing. The two factions are. Um, let's actually. I want to make this a little bit more. Uh, suitable. So let's just say war in a distant European country and Americans are, are a faction. And then this guy says, okay, well, you know, to stay consistent, when you choose to play as the Americans, if they're wearing an American flag and they're an extension of the American government, they are a Republican and they are fully in favor of Trump. That's as simple as it, it is. That's how it works. Yeah, every United, every US soldier that you play in any game that takes place at whatever time. Like Modern Warfare, and we if you play Call of Duty Modern Warfare, then every one of those soldiers is personally endorsing and supportive of the president and all of his policies. You I know, mean, in um, America, I don't know if the rules are elsewhere, but you're basically, if you're in the military, you're not allowed to wear your uniform at like political events or political rallies or anything like that. And during the our government meetings, the the chiefs of staff for the military, they're not allowed to like clap or anything for the president. They always have to remain basically like neutral. Mm. So this is a this this argument is really really dumb. It's um, fact, it's not it, just dumb though. It's, an argument's it's a little bit harmful uh, to like to to sort of categorize soldiers and policy this way. It's like this is really really not educational. Like to I mean, if anything, the fact that they're so mechanically identical in games gives the impression that the Nazis were just people too, the Germans were just yes, people too, yes, which and that humanizes them, which is a good thing because ultimately they're human, uh, they are human, and you can treat that as either a warning for a potential oh, if, if they were human and I'm human and look what happened to them, so you know we need to keep history in mind, you know, uh, yeah. but it's also the sense of if you start, de you know, you can't just dehumanize people because, you know, that's what the bad people you hate did. So you're going to have to have some kind of consistency. It's OK the other way because they're wrong. Oh, OK. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was going to say, in fairness, all of our counter arguments here are worthless because the Nazis were really bad while everything else isn't as bad as the Nazis being really bad. And are functioning as an arm of the Nazi government, then unless the game goes out also functioning as an arm of the Nazi government, that's pretty like how far does that go? Like, what about a janitor in some school in Nazi occupied? Nazi janitor. He's like, cleaning Nazi schools. He's an extension of their policy, so doubt with that an guy. Arm of the Nazi um, ideological propaganda education system. How that embarrassing! That janitor is personally responsible. He should be shot. And imagine fact, he was like, no, no, we just mean people who are directly involved in the warfare itself. It would be like, how, but... Like, oh, what, do you, oh... Do you know what how a war works? So does Hitler not count? <laughs> he was, what he about was people directly. making the bombs and the bullets and stuff in factories? Are, yeah. do, uh, should they be killed? I, I don't know. Are they Nazis? No, not killed, Rex, just hated. Oh, okay. Just hate them. I think that's, oh, okay. yeah, that's more than fair. ...are functioning as an arm of the Nazi government. Then, unless the game goes out of its way to tell you specifically yeah, this, that your these people just think their audience is stupid. I like that this one it's just did work though. Video. Like this did work for literally anybody. Ten percent is impossibly hard to get as a ratio on YouTube. I'm not kidding. If you asked people to get your video to a ten percent ratio, you probably couldn't do it. Yeah, because, in that multiplayer yeah. shooter, when it switched you to sorry, it uh, skipped me ahead a little bit you specifically that your particular character is not a Nazi, then they're a Nazi.
in that multiplayer shooter when it switched you to the German side? Did it go out of its way to tell you that the person you're playing was pressed into service under threat of death? What? Why was- Oh my god, could you imagine? The person you're playing as doesn't want to be here. You're like, okay. It's like, yeah, <laughs> like, I, I, no fuck? one wants to be- It's like, no one wants to be here. This is war. It's shit. No one wants like, to be uh, here. I like that they've got this sympathetic, yeah. sad face man being like, he was forced to do this. <laughs> like, look, at, okay. look, at, look at the player's face, though. Like, Get the fuck the off player. my screen. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, let me, let me play the fucking game. Oh, I want my kill streaks. I want to get better at this game. I want to be competitive. I want to play with my friends. I want to have fun. I just... I picture, right, so let's, let's pretend this scenario plays out without this helpful little... Fucking, this guy's reminiscent of the paperclip from Microsoft Word, but let's just say he's not there. And then uh, the extra credits man comes into this kid's room and he's like, Do you know who you're playing as? The kid's like, I'm a Nazi, I think. He's like five years old in this scenario for some reason. He's like, Do you know that they're bad? And he's like, Nope. And then he just looks at the screen and he goes, This needs to stop. This needs to stop. <laughs> like, okay. And then the entire problem is solved by a single conversation. And then everyone clapped. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> I, I I can guarantee you that not one single human being on the planet was converted to Nazism because they played Call of Fucking Duty. It's so... The concept to these people that something can be apolitical just doesn't exist. The idea that you can have a game where Nazis and Germans are just essentially themes that create a... Uh, that create a themed multiplayer, and that's literally as deep as it goes. It's just, it's not, po they just can't comprehend, they can't wrap their heads around that. And even if you build it it's from the ground up so people. neutrally, you're like, buildings, ground, units, yeah, this members been, of this faction, they can shoot at each other, it's balanced. It's been normal in multiplayer games for ages, for decades, this has been happening, and no one has ever had an issue, and then all of a sudden, people are being treated like they're idiots because this is the case. Also, that Nazi has an M1 Garand, and that bothers me. <laughs> it's a ballsy player, though. I think Rags would be more considered about historical accuracy than telling this kid that Nazis are bad. Oh, well, maybe he picked it up. Well, see, it, it, doesn't actually, it doesn't actually bother me, because, you know, it's multiplayer. But uh, there are some games where, you know, the Germans start with German weapons, the Americans start with American weapons, the British start with British weapons. And, you know, it's kind of thematically mm -hmm. cool, you know. It's kind of nifty. I like stuff like that. Uh, I think like Day of Infamy was like that. Or if you were on if you were on the Nazi side, then you would start with a few porties and start. I just wanted to unlock and... the PPSH in World at War. It's so good. Such a, a spray a destroy weapon. But I think people would hate you because, you know, it's a noob weapon. It is. That the person you're playing was pressed into service under threat of their life? Yeah, that's a big old nope. Oh, and on a similar note, let's please stop forcing people to play as terrorists oh, as well. There you <laughs> Forcing oh. people to play as terrorists. Yeah, See, um, when, I, when I played a uh, Medal of Honor um, 2010's multiplayer, I immediately was like, you know what? I'm converting to Islam and I'm blowing up buildings now. The bomb has been planted. Does, it, does he think that the terrorists think they're terrorists? Um, I hope that they never play a game that takes place during the Revolutionary War. I just like the idea that you have the say quote unquote the enemy faction make a video game and then it pauses you whatever you play as the American slash terrorists and it tells you about how bad they are and then extra credits would be like yeah no this is in line with what we're talking about yeah oh wait no 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 I you think... got it backwards you're the bad guys and then they're like hmm? okay I don't care if I'm bad or not I just play the game <laughs> you know how he hasn't actually explained what the issue with all of this is yet I'm sure you'll He's just saying develop. He's just saying stop it. No, just stop. Also, yeah, just highlighted yeah. chat. They bought the game. How is this forcing them? They literally paid for this experience. They know what they're getting into. I typically would assume, yeah. Jesus. Oh. Oh, and on a similar note, let's please stop forcing people to play as terrorists as well. There you are, playing your modern shooter. <laughs> you ever just want to tell people to go and fuck themselves? <laughs> Dude, imagine being playing like the newest Call of Duty, having loads of fun in PvP or whatever, and this guy's sitting on the sofa with you and he's like, Hey, Rags, did you know you're playing as a terrorist? Yeah, that kind like of makes you a terrorist. a terrorist. Oh. Like, this is okay. why I don't invite you over, George. I, so, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. This, this guy sounds like he's great at parties. Like, Super Smash Bros. 
I stop forcing me to play as a, an <laughs> Italian plumber. Yeah, you're appropriating the culture might, anyway. I'm an so. Italian plumber. I might, you know, go underneath your sink and check for leaks. God. Don't just do that. Just... Yeah, just do that. And besides, did you pay for that experience or did they force you? <gasps> Be honest. Don't lie to oh, me. No. Oh, nine. Oh, nine. <laughs> like Rex oh, is nine. getting converted. <gasps> people to play as terrorists as well? There you are, playing your modern shooter, and all of a sudden you're a terrorist. You didn't ask for this, you didn't choose this, and yet... <laughs> what do you mean yeah. you didn't choose it? You See, might have. It's so blatant. You're even called the terrorist. <laughs> if, if the team's they even balance, call you, you get terrorist. the choice. How terrifying. I mean, the fact that the game labels one side as terrorists is kind of like... Okay, yeah, you, you're the terrorist, you're the counter-terrorist. Thematically, it works in the game because you have small scale. One team is trying to blow up a random box in the middle of nowhere for whatever reason. And the other team's trying to stop them. Uh, okay. This is such a mainstream game, too. Like, Call of Duty, Counter-Strike, some of the most popular games right. that have existed. And they've been around for ages. And they're like, yeah, all of this, this has been a problem this whole time. It says terrorists win. Think of the children. The children, children that shouldn't even be playing the, the game. Won. I don't want to think about children, though. Oh. Didn't choose this, and yet second verse, same as the first. There it is. I mean, that's literally the name of your side in the game. Yeah, we, we see it. <laughs> yeah. Even if you put aside all of the people who have had traumatic experiences with these groups, who have lost oh loved God. ones, I don't to care about. What? Don't what? Care. This seems awfully biased. I don't care. I, just, I don't care. I don't care about your emotional outrage. I, I, I literally, literally could care. not care less about what happened to somebody 80 fucking years ago. Is there a yeah, faction on this planet that has not caused any trouble for any person ever? No. Every single... If you want to if you want to analyze it to an anal degree, every, every country has done bad things. I mean, how do you think these people would react to playing Civilization? Dear God. When, not, when when Gandhi releases the nukes, they'd be like, you know what? <laughs> I thought people were peaceful. I, I just I, I made the mistake. Look, I just I just don't care. Um, I'm just I'm just over the Holocaust. Yeah, it, it's it's bad. F yeah, sure. I I get it. I don't care. I well, don't what if you forget, Rex? What if you forget? Ago. I love Ever. this guy throwing them up as like a defense, though. I doubt he has any like. Any oh. personal ties to any relations to someone who was hurt by the Holocaust or anything like that? No, he's going to bring it up. I'm what sure about, he's speaking for them. About, yeah, this, we, is we, just, we, this is just think of the children, just instead of children. It's think of the victims out there of actual terrorism. How do you think most they of feel? which are dead at this point anyway? So what about or, the people who died trying terrorism. to fight the Nazis who were German? What about all like the high-ranking officers that died when they they wanted to organize the assassination of Hitler? multiple times do we care about them no well it's just every faction has i mean, I mean that's what this is the thing one of the comments that i read was is like you're just being forced to, to play as the american so what if you're the victim of some uh, Amer uh, american incident what if you're a uh, native american or what if you're vietnamese or something and maybe an american did something bad to your country or something like that yeah. and you're forced to play as the americans like they they frame it as nazis and terrorists in this video but every country and every faction committed some kind of atrocity at some kind or at some time to somebody. So this is literally everybody. Literally everything is problematic in some way. And they're pulling out these these hypothetical victims of terrorist attacks. And it, it's not him. He's pulling up other people and saying, oh, I have to be offended on their behalf. Well, it looks like he's going on to a different point, but he threw this in as a sort of like, hey, hey, you know, I do know these people exist. And if we ignore this, and it's like, you've ignored a shit ton, mate. This isn't the only thing you're ignoring. Like, you, you brought this up. Almost, it kind of feels like points for his argument. He's trying to bring this in as like, hey, people were made upset and, and you know, their lives potentially ruined by these events. It's like, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people's they, lives were affected. Them, they don't have to play the game. I, this is the thing, you draw it back and you're like, we're talking about a fucking video game here, like, what the hell? Put aside all of the people who have had traumatic experiences with these groups, who have lost loved ones to terrorists, or who have had generations of their families wiped out by Nazis, no one should have to put on the...
I'm sorry, do you really think, like, I know you just talked about it, but, like, do you think America have never done anything that could possibly upset these the, the countries these people come from? Well, it's the same for literally every faction, not just America, obviously. Yeah, we're, we're American and British in this podcast, man. Like, we're, like, our countries have done terrible things in the past. Every, just like every country ever. So, it's like, we're, there is no line to be drawn. Every country is just as guilty by this very same principle. Yeah, we need we need the biographies of everything for every faction. Every time you pick them, we need a whole movie. We need it all explained. And then he goes, "Do you understand now? Now you can enjoy the mechanics of this video game, where it's just a competition to see who's the better shooter and the smarter shooter. You just need to understand every, all of those things." Every American soldier in a World War II game is personally supportive and is endorsing Japanese internment camps. Absolutely, uh, especially if they wear the American flag and they are oh, an yeah. extension of the American yeah, army, the American uh, government. policy, whatever. Absolutely. I mean, Absolutely. Th this guy's are. logic is flawless, so we have to make sure we go by it. No one should be forced. Saying, to, no one should be forced to do that. It's, it's like the video saying that context uh, and abstraction just don't exist. You, you everything's can't political. Abstract an event outside of its context original context for a different purpose. That's that's not a real thing that happens. What's going on with the guy's hair uh, here, by the way? This is a weird per this is a weird person haircut. Don't if if you're in the real world, like these people aren't, uh, don't wear your hair like that. I promise you, it looks terrible. What's going on with his fingers? <laughs> well, he has two. He has two right hands. And oh, no. this presentation, oh, by God. the way. The PvP game is like, hey, I've got you a Nazi outfit, because obviously that's how they, they want to portray it in this video. And then you, the player, is like, no, I don't want to be a no, Nazi. I don't, don't make me but a they're Nazi. they're so fashionable, look at that. They are, they look spiffy. And the idea they're putting the Nazi outfit on you, the player, not the you, the character in the game. And like, people and just want to shoot, they don't give a shit. If you want to go to this degree, by the way, you should probably get to the point where you t teach them about how guns were made and what damage they do to bodies and how killing people is actually wrong. You don't want to be desensitized Jeez, to that. Man. Like, this is insane. How far do you take this? Or who have had generations of their families wiped out by Nazis. No one should have to put on the costume of an ideology they find abhorrent without actually they opting don't. I'm sorry, how does this not apply to literally everything? I don't understand. Yeah. They, well, they don't have to. They're, they're not forced to. They're, you're literally opting into that by buying the game. If a uniform means you subscribe to the ideology almost at that point, like, how, does everyone understand fully the ideology behind every faction they've ever played in every video game? No. Well, it's not even every faction. I mean, imagine going to Walmart and putting on that Walmart uniform. You are now in support of everything Walmart has ever done. And they forced you. You, are, you didn't an, you're, sign you're an to do arm that. of the Walmart board of directors. Whatever they've done. You wear the Walmart flag on your shoulder. <laughs> you know, from my experiences of going to Walmart and looking at the employees who all look on the verge of suicide, I'm pretty sure none of them care about Walmart. No, that's not true. They have the uniform on. I was going to say, well, what the fuck? That's true. They, Who they am I going to believe, you or this genius treated. in this video teaching us about life? I absolutely love being treated like shit. Not just shit, a dumb shit. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mm -hmm. you know you're an absolute fucking idiot? These <laughs> like, people do think No one should have to put idiots. on the costume of an ideology they find abhorrent. By the way, they don't have to play the fucking game. They don't have to play the game. Yeah, I, like, I, they do. They they have. They're forced to. They it surprises me that a Holocaust survivor slash person who's lost someone to the Holocaust would want to pursue playing a game about World War Two, and then it, to the point where they would be horrified to see Nazis in any way, shape, or form in the game. Like I'd just be like, "What are you doing playing it in the first place? That what did you expect from this?" That argument this sinks world. the entire video. Someone uh, said uh, Volkswagen was made by Hitler. Which means that people who make uh, buy them are evil. Which means that I am evil. And I've got bad news if you're driving down the autobahn. Wait, wait, wait. Mm. Did Hitler breathe oxygen? <gasps> he liked animals did. too. If you like animals, you're literally. He was an artist. Oh. Art has to go. Out it goes. We can get rid of that one, right? We don't need art. He had facial hair. Oh God. He was alive. <laughs> I think I covered that with oxygen, but yes. Do we need to frame all games and all media and all entertainment with the idea that it is the 
uh, the people out there who have PTSD or the people out there who are personally involved with these issues who should essentially determine the content of that media for everybody else? I mean, is that is that really the world you want to create that every scenario and setting and theme and any kind of media needs to be done with the understanding that ah, some people could be upset, so we have to change it for everybody? I mean, at the very least, it'd be nice to hear, you know, those people making that argument themselves instead of this guy claiming to speak for them, which is great. Yeah, that's also pretty awkward because you probably find a lot of survivors of X, Y, and Z being like, Jesus Christ, mate, like, this is not what we, we would want. Yeah, like, you go out to the relative of a Holocaust survivor or a Holocaust survivor or something to that effect, and you go, did you know there's a video game? And you can play as a Nazi. And they don't even yeah, tell you Nazis. explicitly that the Nazis were horrible. And they'd be like, doesn't everyone know that? It's like, apparently not! The makers of the game didn't know that, apparently, because if they did, they would have yeah. put a giant fucking PSA at the beginning of it. And, well, and, and the game has to tell you. The game is obliged to tell you. Hitler liked Disney. Well, rip Disney. <laughs> well, in fairness, I guess Disney is kind of like Nazi-ish. Nazis. No one should have to put on the costume of an ideology they find abhorrent without actually opting into it in your game. And by making people do yeah. so, we- Isn't that what- when you purchase the game and then choose to play the multiplayer in which the rules are set, would be opting in? Yeah, you chose to yeah. buy the game, you chose to play the multiplayer of that game. I don't know, man, like, you, you've had to make a lot of decisions up to this point. <laughs> You just blissfully unaware. You just wake up and you're playing a World War II multiplayer game as the Nazis. It's just you had no control over your life and over your scenario. That's a big lefty thing. Like the individual has no agency. It wasn't up to them. Anything bad that happens to them, oh, it was the product of their environment. It was someone else's decisions. You don't have any personal agency. So we have to take care of you for you because you clearly can't do it yourself. And by making people do so, we get them to stop thinking about it. To stop thinking of the meaning behind these things. We to stop thinking no of ever, the meaning the behind these things. No one ever started to think about the meaning of these things. It wasn't like we were and then we stopped. Like It was never, ever a thing that was ever thought about. Because it's so obviously on its face. This is just a multiplayer game, and it's themed for World War II. So one side's German, one side's American. And, and that's it. That's literally as far and as deep as it has ever gone. And I'm trying to think of, like, if you could demonstrably prove, like, you had this, let's just call him 18-year-old who was like, Nazis are the worst thing on the fucking planet. And then, in a controlled environment, he just plays loads of FPS games where Nazis are portrayed equally to any other soldier faction. And then he comes out the other end, like... I don't see how that even could change your perspective on Nazis. Because be like, oh, there's no information on anybody here. I'm just playing war games with with thematic, well, not thematically, just historically accurate factions. If yeah. anything, it would normalize them as people, and it wouldn't normalize them in an ideological perspective because their ideology and their politics have nothing to do with the multiplayer component. It's entirely military based it's you know shooting guns and driving oh, tanks and imagine calling out enemy positions there's nothing political there imagine that like just soldier stuff doing that as the nazi team being like shit man they're not like doing things that are that dissimilar from the team that i'm you know the good guys it's like yeah because that's kind of how it went in a lot of the pieces of warfare they were dudes that were conscripted to fight against you guys just like you guys in reverse not, like, I can't believe that it's so bad to realize that not everybody in Germany wanted to take over the world. What did Germany ever do to these guys? I don't understand, Germany, like, right? why are we hoping to demonize so hard? And I guess that's his point, that we're losing that, specifically. I wouldn't, maybe we are losing that overall, but fucking hell, blaming FPS games? I'd be like, I doubt that's the issue, and I don't know that it's an issue fully. It's just, you know, Nazi is like mm. ubiquitous with like words of basically just, it's like the worst thing you can be. That's like how people understand that word. You're and a Nazi. For, it's like the worst thing ever. And again, for a first person <clears throat> shooter in a multiplayer setting, the aesthetic and setting are, they're literally just there as vessels for your hitbox and your gun so that you can play the game against other people. Yeah, you'll find out. It doesn't out. go beyond that in a multiplayer setting. 
a lot of the player base are more concerned with balance and mechanics being effective rather than I hope this is the game that I don't know, Nazis are more sympathetic because I prefer those ones. I've been gradually a doctor. It's like, no, they don't really care. Well, what you do is you essentially make practically every conflict uh, just a, a no-go for a video game. Like the Vietnam War, fuck, you're not going to have that in the, as a theme. The Korean War, you're not going to have that as a theme. Civil War, oh, fuck, you're not, definitely not going to have that. Like every war, there is some component to it that they would find objectionable. And they would make the game so bad as a result and so preachy that people wouldn't want to play them. Because you can't just play a game with the theme of a war that happened with the historical context to it. You, can, you just can't do that. You can't just stop there. You can't just have fun with a video game. You can't do that. That would be evil. That would be terrible. You can't just have fun with a video game. to stop thinking about it to stop thinking of the meaning behind these things there is no we meaning normalize them we make them just window dressing they for are entertainment, entertainment. Uh, technically speaking that is true they're the entertainment boiled down you would have take all the colors and designs away it's like models running around with mechanics that are efficiently done through coding like that's the real thing that's happening the dressing is to give you an environment that you're familiar with or at least are aware of being accurate to um, whatever. The idea that it's like, this is just window... They've treated Nazis as window dressing. It's like, uh... Yeah, sort of. Yeah, kinda, sure. yeah. And it's like, I don't know if that... Yeah. <laughs> I'm confused. So if you go to, like, a museum and you see a Nazi uniform in some... I don't think... They, do, they, do, do we do that anyway right now, actually? Yeah. yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. So, like, uh, if you go to... Like, I was at DC at the Smithsonian... And they're like, oh yeah, here's an MP40, and here's German stuff, and you know, here's a tank or whatever. Right. Isn't that kind of normalizing them? Isn't that really bad? Isn't that turning everybody I know, all they do, can, can you believe for some of this Nazi stuff, they're like, this is an MP40 submachine gun. It held this many rounds. It shot this caliber, and it was produced in these numbers. Can you believe they were normalizing the Nazis Jesus. with that? They're just, just, just explaining. Ugh. Did they yeah, anticipate I've, I've actually the horrors? Got, I collect money. One of, one of my things I collect is like, Money, historical uh, historical currency. I've got communist money. I've got Nazi money with swastika and everything on it. I mean, it's just it, it is what it is, man. It's it's just a just a coin. It's, it's a uniform, man. It's just ridiculous. Better stock up on those Nazi coins. You know they're it's coming like, back. Like, imagine, let's say you went to the the Smithsonian Museum of History. I think they got a, they got a big. They got a big uh, section there about like military history. They got some crazy shit in there, um, but they've got you know the World War II section, and so of course they got the world. They've got all the war section. They got all these artifacts and relics and stuff like that. And I could just imagine every time there was a British musket or a Hessian uniform or a German radio or anything like that, they had to write on the plaque. Also, remember that Nazis were very bad and immoral and they did bad things to Jews and they were aggressors in this war. Like how how patronizing and insulting that would be to everybody who walked into the museum, you know? Just imagine that. Every single plaque. Oh, remember guys, the Nazis were the bad guys, just just so you, you remember. You know, Nazis That's are bad. Um, you guys have seen V for Vendetta, right? Yeah. Does no. um Stephen Fry in his collection of like, you know, not allowed items, was there anything Nazi related in that? So I remember he had a Quran and a bunch of other things, because like the point of the film is that everything is pretty much not allowed anymore. Like he's got this collection of amazing like things that you're just not allowed to even see. I think the idea that the presentation alone of a Nazi uniform is normalizing Nazis. It's like, uh Hey. A lot more proof is needed to, you know, actually verify that. Stop normalizing knowledge. I was Basically. just seeing if anybody knew. Because, yeah, I'd have to watch the scene again, but I just. Um, here we are. Addressing for entertainment. Those uniforms, those symbols become things that no longer inherently revolt us. <laughs> Can you believe that you aren't inherently revolted by a Nazi uniform? A, si a symbol a that's not even, as we as they pointed out, is still used today? You should be revolted by it? Can I ask how this is a bad thing? 
I was gonna say, like, maybe you shouldn't be revolted immediately by inanimate so, well, objects. Can I, can, I, can I then from there say that this reminds me of the, what was it, Five Minutes Hate in 1984? Where you're supposed to see a thing and mm -hmm. then immediately trigger a visceral hatred of that thing until the entire crowd's up in a frenzy. This part of the That's video does it, it does imply the idea that you shouldn't think critically or be able to analyze things objectively. You should just look at something and be revolted by it. That's the that's the proper response to have is to be revolted by it. That's not that it's yeah, not healthy. that it's bad to be revolted by that's what fucking... the Nazis did, but we're talking about just looking at symbols. That's a terrifying concept. This whole the idea that you can't look at a uniform. It's, it's, it's clothes that people wore at one point in history. It's like, what do you just want to learn about it? What it is? What everything on there mm. means? Why was, why was this like that? Why was that like this? What were the reasons behind its design? Also, is, like, is this hard a problem to do that for... Effectively if you're supposed to be instantly revolted by it. Can you imagine going to a museum for war and someone sees a Nazi uniform? They go, ah, yeah, and they run out of the place. You'd be like, are you a child? Is this a problem for historians too? Like when they're doing their study and such like, and going no, about the writing problem. of their work. Is it is it bad that they don't immediately like open up a Nazi archive or something and go, ugh? I mean, look at the look at the image they got. That guy's green in the face, tongue is out. Yeah. It's like a five year old. See, when you're, it's like, if you want to learn, if you want to think critically, maybe you should put your emotions, you know, on the back burner for a moment. And then just analyze what you're looking at. Do you think that this is like some weird projection and that these guys are very concerned because they're starting to empathize with Nazis and they're like, oh god, how did this happen? I don't know. It was the video Maybe games. Who knows? It was the video games! Forms. Those symbols become things that no longer inherently it's just a helmet, us. man. They reduce our visceral reaction to seeing the embodied. I mean, a lot of modern helmets look just like those Nazi helmets. Because, yeah, because the, the Wehrmacht's helmets were really good, they were really well designed. But hey, I get well. As here's the thing too, a lot of the German equipment was very well designed. They had a lot of very intelligent engineers. They, they did a lot of smart stuff. So if our instant reaction is to be, you know, re repulsed and to revile these things just instantly, then does that mean we're not allowed to take the things the Nazis made or the Germans made in 1940s and use it for our own purposes? I mean, can we not use, you know, Nazi rocketry information? Can we not use their military technology? No, be, can we not use dude, you should literally throw up on the blueprints. I mean, what if, what, I mean, if the Nazis came up with a cure for cancer, then I uh, guess. Yeah, throw I up guess on the cure for cancer. <laughs> Germany should have just stopped using the Stahlhelm after World War II. You know, it's, a it's a Nazi symbol. No, you know these two faces, Nazi like if you turn this, the guy with the tongue thing and it goes down to the, the thinking emoji, I'd be like, seems like a good progression, like that we've we managed to come far enough from the event now to be like, okay, you can actually think critically no, about the entire thing. considering Nazism. You can't consider that. It's, I think it's good to consider you literally can't everything. Think about things <gasps> again. The fact that he's advocating for sticking with a specific knee-jerk reaction to iconography completely out of context fucking terrifies me. <laughs> I know. It's a, do, do, can you guys think critical thinking? Can you guys think of any sort of faction that encouraged a disgust toward, like, just a group of 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 people that had something that unified them? Yeah, no one would ever do that. No, I can't think of anybody who'd do that. Mm. Could be anyone. Embodiment of these ideologies. Now, does this make us totally ignore the history that comes with them? No, but for no. some people, it moves them from the territory. <laughs> Edgy. <laughs> 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 I just you see a little, e, you see a little ER stupid. over there. Yeah, ER yeah, is just his, his eyes peering behind the rock. <laughs> like, I mean, here's the, here's the thing too. A lot of people are edgy because they know it makes fucking insufferable morons like you upset, and that brings them pleasure. Because you make videos like videos like this are why people try to be edgy because they know it will bother you because you're a simpleton, dude. Look at you go from you disgusted go. lad to edgy lad. Like, how fucking childish is this? That's look at knee-jerk, look at knee-jerk disgusted land over there being treated like the safe space. <laughs> Again, that's fucking scary. You're supposed to- this is how you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be over there in the world where everyone is disgusted and repulsed instantly by Nazi symbology. Don't Good. go over there in a critical thinking world. I also want to highlight that they treat going over the edge as like something you can't even come back from. It's a cliff.
These pe- this is like re- this is the exact same <laughs> kind of religious indoctrination that you might get as a child. Only um, with Nazis. Bilty Gishop in chat. Justice. This the Stahlhelm helmet he showed was invented in World War One. It's not a Nazi symbol in the slightest. Nope, yeah. Nazi. Yep. The Stahlhelm's been in use for long before World nope, War Nope, but the Nazis used it. <laughs> How dare the Nazis make something that's effective at its job? Crowded out of all chat. I went over the edge. I'm so sorry. There's no coming back. You're done. Can you believe the Nazis wanted to prevent their soldiers from potentially dying of head trauma? <laughs> That's such shrapnel? a Nazi thing and to do, Rag. Such a Nazi the, thing to do. The worst part is they were good at it. Despite oh, the Nazis. history that comes Terrible. with them? No. But for some people, it moves them from the territory of revolting to just edgy. <laughs> it makes scrawling okay. a swastika What's wrong with change from unthinkable to just dangerous. <laughs> no, that's not, no, that's, no, that's not edgy. Stop. No one draws a swastik. Those two are stupid. It, it, there's a difference between being edgy and going out and ruining property by spraying things on them. And the reason people spray swastikas on things is because of people like you who will just fucking react like this. The idea. Yeah. That's why they do it because <clears throat> people like you. Like, like holy they're not shit. actually Nazis. They just want to get a reaction out of you. It makes scrawling a swastika on. Why are you? Why is he graffitiing a swastika on a on an animal? Tiger. Why? Yeah. Who the fuck would do that? Why? Because it's unthinkable. That's it's why. Unthinkable. It's unthinkable. Because it's, it's edgy to. I, I. To be fair, not even I have ever considered painting a swastika on a tiger. I mean, I. I this is edgy in the sense that a bunch of sharp edges are going to claw into his face and kill him, but. You think Let's go to the zoo and paint swastikas on the animals. <laughs> yeah. And like, like so, that. and if we take him literally, so he said that it goes from being an action that you consider unthinkable to dangerous. And it's like, what do you mean by dangerous? Like, the, we're, we're assuming the person doing this thinks it's dangerous. Do you, are you saying that they think it's like cool dangerous? Is that what he's saying? And I thought that if you, if you thought this stuff was revolting, then you wouldn't do that. It's very oddly worded. You go from thinking it's revolting to being edgy, as if being edgy is bad, and it's Ooh, not. I like, I like both of these interpretations. Uh, so, Foxfire said, I think it's implying he'll get killed because he only sees it as a cat instead of a tiger. It's like, you know, he doesn't see the true danger. And Semantic Dragon said, really? because they had tiger tanks, so it's a metaphor. Like, well, it could, could be both of them. <laughs> I was gonna say. They, used, they <laughs> used the Iron Cross as a representation of Nazis. Or it could just they, be really fucking stupid i just think it's an obvious sort of representation of dangerous this is it would be dangerous yeah, danger. to do this but danger. uh it's still dumb Tigers as fuck. Are dangerous because they'll bite you and to your just knee. edgy it makes scrawling a swastika on something i used to be a nazi like you until i took dangerous. a tiger to the knee it means you might not take iron crosses all over a website as a warning sign that what but iron crosses <laughs> aren't bad well, it's just hold a, on a minute it's a german symbol but now they're explicitly saying iron crosses. Yeah, they've yeah. they've made it very clear now. They can't go back. They've just said has iron guy, crosses. So has this guy ever does oh I get it now. He thinks everyone's as stupid as he is. Because I don't think he's yeah. opened a history book in his life. Dangerous. It means you might not take iron crosses all over a website as a warning sign that you should immediately leave. You know, I just went onto YouTube the other day and watched this extra credits video where a bunch of iron crosses appeared. And I was like, shit, man, I'm getting the fuck out of here, because uh, this is dangerous shit. But I, I would have, if not for playing Call of Duty. And now I watch these extra credits videos from start to finish, because I no longer take uh, the Iron Cross of the Nazi seriously. Does this not sound a little bit silly to them? Even a little bit? When they like imagine, look back well, through Imagine this? you're a German. Imagine you're a German, and you hear this guy saying... Imagine, yeah, this guy's like, oh, you see iron crosses, and you're not repulsed by it. And they're like, but, but that's but the national symbol that we use for our military. It's, but what? It's like this guy saying stars and stripes, the American flag. Imagine seeing that and not being repulsed by it. It's like, but 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 that's our flag. <laughs> it's like why? It's so insulting. It's just so insulting to these people. It's just like, and, and surely the content of the website can be warning enough well you I need to. yeah i think the url no, it's just a symbol the, do you guys check the url there yeah yep. stupid as fuck slash hate nope <laughs> it's the symbol 
it's it's not the message it's it's not the meaning of what's actually happening nope i love not that the degree in which they've dubbed this down cross bad on website of hate.com it's cross like a milk this video is like a propaganda film for children yeah it is yeah that's why it fucking scares me it means you might not take iron crosses all over a website as a warning sign that you should immediately leave and if you don't leave, you might start reading and buying into hateful ideas there. <laughs> what the fuck? Is you might start you might start critically thinking, and some people, when they think critically, might come to the wrong conclusion. So it's best that nobody thinks critically. If you read what your quote unquote enemy has to say, they <laughs> will influence you. Just maybe you'll start to think those hateful ideas. A reasonable. Like, you I'm wouldn't want to do that, Timmy. I, I know I'm belaboring. Does that mean that they're Nazis? <gasps> I know well, I'm it's, it's like don't don't listen to what the other people say. Just go and shoot them. Just do your job. Just shoot them. Don't listen to what they have to say because they'll poison your mind, comrade. Just shoot them. This is making me think of like the red skis shit. Like yeah, go to it's it's, all alien to my eyes. Little Timmy was in the library and he found a a book in the adult section and it's like. It has a hammer and sickle on it. It's a red book, and it's like, oh no, Timmy's a communist. <laughs> like, what? What's what's <laughs> no, happening? No. And then Timmy spoke with his parents, and they said, "Don't be a communist." And then everything was fine. And, and you this have, video no longer needs to exist. You have a little cartoon hammer and sickle man on his head with little shifty eyes on the back of his head, like look, looking at him. <laughs> and then this this poor kid. Look at this kid, guys. Look, at, he's he's so innocent. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He's been playing his video games. He didn't know. He didn't Won't know. Someone, please think of the children. Poor Timmy. He was my favorite. It seems like such a small and simple thing, but it's things like this that erode our safeguards against. <laughs> this thing. Ignorance is our safeguard. That's so fucking Orwellian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Talking about it is bad. <laughs> 1984 it, wasn't but... an instruction manual. It's it's fascinating. The, the acid of discussion. He finds out that he loves Big Brother that wasn't supposed to be seen as a good thing. <laughs> Timmy is Dodd's son. <laughs> <laughs> he was a straight arrow. Then he read that book. He read that goddamn book. And then he read then he read Mein Kampf and it was all downhill from there. Blessed Camp. is the mind too small for doubt. Guys, you need to be more ignorant. Otherwise, you might find ideas small and simple thing. But it's things like this that erode our safeguards against dangers we sacrifice so much to fight. By the time you've played a hundred hours of we being sacrifice Nazi, so much their to voice stabs become mm. memes and in-jokes with your friends. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Like, literally, when I see people getting murdered in video games, sometimes it's fucking hilarious. It can be, yeah. It, it can be the Does... funniest damn thing in the world. Did any I mean, of, uh, anybody in like chat? Entire compilations of uh, Halo deaths because the physics engine makes people fly. Oh, yeah. Aired. It's hilarious. Did Fucking anyone? Funny as hell. Anyone on chat? In in, in so I'm because this is a really fond memory I have. So we used to play Call of Duty Four. There was a map, and I can't remember what the map was called. But we just play private matches where we would all run up. Like there was a couple of ladders. You go onto a rooftop. You have to prone. Go underneath like a turbine or something. You throw a grenade at yourself, and then you have your friends watch. You will spaz the fuck out and ragdoll to the levels of insanity where your legs are spread across like the entire sky and you just spin and like that we could do it for like two hours just watching our bodies go <laughs> over and over again I, mean, I remember in bad company too if you put enough explosives under a four-wheeler you'll fly out of the map that shit's just fun there's a lot it, of fun it, it all comes do. down to the fact that people can distinguish between fantasy and reality and it's actually really, really easy when it comes to video games. But I, I, I don't know. I, it's like I said, I mean, this I is understand. like a propaganda film for if children. You, if you want to make all these points, how do you not make them for violence, just in general? Well, that, that's another thing that the comments are one of the obvious things. Is like, this was the uh, this was the Jack Thompson argument of violent video games make people violent. And now, whenever anyone says that, it's like it's a meme because it's so ridiculous. This is the exact same thing. Just substituting violence for something else. Yeah, he's just, he skipped over that part and he picked something specific and it's just like, all your arguments, uh, if we were to take him, if he was right, let's just say he was right and we said that everything he said is true, yeah, video games have to go, movies have to go, pretty much everything has to go, 
abstraction has to go. Yeah, like any kind of fantasy content has to go. It's just like, guys, it's too oh, dangerous. How do, how do we know that World War II video games don't turn people away from Nazis more than they would be attracted to it? I mean, I, what if what if this entire time, you know, World War II games were a way to get people interested in that historical time period, and as a result, they read 99.999% of the literature that said, yeah, Nazis were ideologically really bad. There's not exactly a lot of pro-Nazi literature out there. I played Company of Heroes, now I'm an American GI. That was easy. <sighs> a Nazi. Their voice stabs become memes and in-jokes with your friends. By the thousandth time you respond as a terrorist, what? you're either celebrating them <laughs> no, you're, you're, either, you're either celebrating them or oh my god. Terrorist rule. Crisis. Person. Also, oh the UK god. is mysteriously missing. Also, it's like the throat of energy drinks. I think I might be out of sync with you guys. I'm, I'm still back on him saying terrorist rule. We're on the planet of despair right now. Jokes with your friends. By the thousand, you got you got the throne of energy drinks. Yeah. yeah, he said by the thousand. Yeah. yeah, and he has a little speech bubble that says terrorist rule. I just terrorist rule. <laughs> when people say that, it's like that's why we're laughing at it when he says it because it's a joke. If it's so stupid to say terrorist, if your rule. kid comes away from playing Call of Duty saying terrorists are a good thing, you failed as a parent. It ain't the video game. It ain't the video game. <laughs> yeah. Seventh <laughs> time you respond as a terrorist, you're either celebrating them or making fun terrorist of them. Terrorist rule. Helps the global crisis we have that takes thousands of lives every year. Oh my god. So what do we do? That's oh no. easy. Don't make them morally they're equivalent. They're not. They're not. How are they morally, morally equivalent? equivalent? Multiplayer game, you tar. There's no moralizing. I there's none. It's all completely just. It, it's a multiplayer game. Go shoot the other team. Outfight the enemy team. Win the game. Capture objectives. Score points. That's it's, all. What are the? What are the? What's the morality of chess? Tell me. Um, patriarchy. <laughs> I got the another white one. Side is objectively better. The soldiers the are sacrificed blacks, in favor of race war. They sacrifice all the lowly soldiers in favor of keeping the higher ranks alive. It's all. It's nepotism. Uh, you, you get the point, right? It's like you, you can't. It's like chess is saying something is one side is good, one side is bad. You're like, well, yeah, it's in support of monarchy. I mean, you have a king, a queen, everybody. Ugh. The queen's the most and powerful. The most you can't important deny it. people on the board, not the proletariat pawns in the front line. White always goes first. Damn. Uh. All right, it was a bad example. I'll go with something more simple. Pong. What is the morality of pong? <laughs> Um, what about connect the dots? Listen, it's actually really easy. Pong is two white bars bouncing a white ball on a black background, which means that the black background is behind the scenes and less important than the white characters playing their white game. <laughs> That's what's important. It's all about what the whites want. It's never yeah. about what the blacks want. What about the black if I invert the colors? To enable the white. It's true. What about if I make it all gray? Huh? If I make it all gray, and then the paddles and the ball are slightly well, darker shade of gray. Well, now your game is just an FU to the colorblind, and that's ableist. Damn it, mm. there's no winning. Everything's political, guys. Just stop Aww. making media. All right. I literally have a piece of paper, and I just draw a dot, and then someone in the crowd goes, <gasps> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's easy. Don't make them morally equivalent. Don't make there be no in-game moral difference between your Nazis and- There's no moral! Well, in-game moral difference. What's the what? moral in a PvP game that you're experiencing? No, it's, just, it's the stat. It's when, you, when you're choosing your faction and when you choose your class, right? You have your morality statistic. And that factors in, it's like charisma in a way. It, it, it factors into a lot of other different stats that your character will have. Yeah, and the more morality you have, the better you are at everything. Like, Edward, torso, wear lower body, wear perks, guns, ammo, morality. You can't choose yeah. it, it's just, it comes with the... Like, you can carry less ammo, but you can have more morality. Or, you know, maybe maybe instead of a helmet, you just get a hat, but that lets you lets you carry more morality on you, you know? It's can like we, a stat, you gotta balance it out. We Can't go a bit OP. further as well. If you play as a German, you should have, like, yellow teeth, really bad skin. Uh, you should be, like, thin and gaunt. 
like a goblin. Yeah. You should make really creepy yeah. noises. And caricatured portrayals of uh, people you disagree with and don't like. That's a really good yeah, way to do it, yeah. And if you're American... Make, or... like, screenshots of it and put it on posters and then post them around cities. Yeah, yeah. just to make sure everyone's aware, that's all. You make, need to make sure everyone's make films aware. films about them as well. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it is Cartoons. the truth. Like, we're just saying it's the truth. And then, you, you know, Americans and British, whatever, make them really buff and really altruistic. And they can take bullets, like, as many as the thrown of them. But Germans, like, even at the sight of a bullet, they just go, eh, and fall over because they're cowardly. And they run away. I think this works. That should do it, right? Like, that, that yeah. sort of solves the problem. Good. I'm glad that we yeah, defeated Yeah, people will definitely Nazism. play those video games. Yeah moral difference between your Nazis and your allies, between your terrorists and your counter-terrorist squads. Someone said that you Frank should uh, randomly oh yell terrorists rule in the next Gedelb. Oh god, actually, yeah. Okay. So, so you're saying Gedelb man would be in favor of terrorists, yeah? Yeah. I guess he would have to say, like, he's been playing a lot of Call of Duty and, um, you know, maybe the terrorists weren't wrong. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> terrorists rule. Like, well, what if sometimes terrorists do have a point? And that's not saying they're justified in what they're doing or how they're doing it. But what if, you know, what if this gets people thinking, maybe it's not just pure good versus pure evil? Well, what's the saying? One, one man's terrorist is another man's patriot, that sort of thing? Yeah. It's a messy world. An ugly reality, This yeah. is where thinking critically comes in handy. That's too much effort. And your yeah. allies. Between your terrorists and your counter-terrorist squads. Frame PvP as a training exercise. Or simply Fuck take you. one of your- Like, Jesus Christ, he actually, like, the fact that we don't even have to do it ourselves. I, I was about to say, like, oh, we don't want a fucking nerf fight, and he's, like, unironically arguing that we should have a nerf fight. We don't want anyone to get hurt. I'd play a nerf PvP game, that'd be fun. <sighs> but I wouldn't play a World War II nerf PvP game. I just... It would be insulting to the people who were in World War II on yeah. both sides. You know, people it actually would be got shot. The you know what happened during that war, and again, it's like they don't think people can distinguish between fantasy and reality. So they have to oh just use Nerf guns, use water guns, shoot water guns at people. <laughs> fucking I don't want to play their game. <laughs> no, that sounds boring. They can go play their game. MVP as a training exercise, or simply take one of your non-odious sides and recolor them so that it's red versus blue. Oh my oh god! My god. A World War. Imagine buying a World War II game, so you have a World War II campaign where you're an American or whatever, and you're killing all the evil Nazis, and then you switch to multiplayer, and it's just like everyone's literally in red versus blue, and you're like, "What the fuck is this?" We're in the part of the video where he's supposed to have, like, demonstrated the problem, and now he's offering the solution, but he hasn't demonstrated the problem. The he's closest just... that he's got to that is saying that... Little Timmy said terrorist rule. ...do something edgy? And then, if it gets too bad, have something, I don't know, someone hits him over the head and gets, so stop being an edgy cunt. We gotta stop him from thinking terrorist rule, it's simple. Or, or their parents just go, dude, stop. And then, it's done. Can parents really achieve such a thing? Can parents really parent? We should step in and find out, and make sure they can. Yeah, at this point I think we should just get the state to teach the children, regardless of the parents, just take them away? What do you guys reckon? Yep. Gotta, gotta get this sorted, because good god, if I've realized anything from this video, it's that we have problems, we gotta solve them. And every five minutes or so. Other than Axis versus Allies. A good example of a game that does this is Rainbow Six Siege. All of your bomb diffusion and hostage rescue. No, 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 taking hostages. What is it? Taking hostages is not. No. Oh my god. One of the, one of the teams. First off, let's let's skip the fact that they use like poison gas and trip mines and bullets and they murder each other. No, that's fine. I mean, yeah, forget that. And forget that one side like has captured hostages they have to protect from an attacking team. But you know, they're all trying to kill each other, right? Yeah, but they're not Nazis, though. But there's yeah, but there's Germans. Some of the some of them are German. Yeah, actually, but let me see if the they wear a cross rags. Is, is there a cross? German operators. They, so they have GSG nine. Are they an extended arm of the Nazi government? No. Blitz IQ Jaeger and Bandit. 
So I wonder, do they have the Iron Cross on their? No, they have the they have the eagle. They have the police. Well, then there you go. They're not Nazis. Tactics, I learned this from extra credits. In fact, by having all of the characters as counter terrorists training for a possible threat, it highlights how real and present of a threat that is. And if you decide that you need to have both sides be playable, don't make them interchangeable. Yeah. Don't but but that creates about what that creates balance issues. Yeah, well, well this is the thing. If he's talking about mechanics, he's wrong because we need it to be balanced and fair for the whole point of a competition. But then if he's talking about morality, I don't know what he's referencing. Yeah, what game out there is treating these two as morally equivalent? Apparently there's an iron cross on the Jaeger skin in that game. Is there? Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. In that case it's a Nazi game, so no. Yep, can't have that. Nazi game, go away have players randomly spawn in as one or the other allow players to choose which side they're on now if most games do that as far as i'm aware they'll have auto balancing for putting people on different sides yeah. but all oh, i'm they, highlighting because i don't think it's a problem the team that they won't let you join the team that, that that there's too many of you can only join the team you know so one side doesn't get stacked against the other right like if it's 12 versus 14 you can't join the team that's got 14 people in it you know And, and, like, and then bam, just like that, you're a Nazi. It's pretty exhausting, and it's not even a long video. <laughs> it's very, it's densely packed with stupidity. Hmm. What? 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 We're going back. I'm We're afraid it's not, back. it's not even working for me right now. I am apparently out of sync. So... Oh. If you're joining the other team, which isn't even your choice in most games, you have to wait longer. What kind of retarded? It doesn't make any sense, buddy. That's how you kill your game's PvP setting. Yeah, but at least, hey, listen, people can't play as yeah. Nazis if there's no game to play. All right. <laughs> So it didn't play on my end, so if we just let it go again, we'll make sure that the audience... Because I'm right. pretty sure I know what you're referencing. Don't have players randomly spawn in as one or the other. Allow players to choose which side they're on. Now, of course, this has all sorts of in-game problems. Yeah. Such as creating shorter wait times for fascists. But you know what? Those wait times could be artificially extended. Okay. Oh, God. You know, isn't the framing there just quickly shorter wait times for fascists? For fascists. Yeah, shorter wait times for fascists. So to, yeah, so, I, I know it. Dude. Yeah, so to clarify, he's I guess he's saying that like people will get into the game quicker if they're choosing uh if they choose fascists, quote unquote, because most people will be choosing the heroes, and then he's like, Oh well we can inflate the wait times for the fascists to fix that. And nobody plays the game. Uh, well this is the thing, you just time. have like does anyone else just have the face of like what the fuck? Imagine you, waiting four to minutes to start a game. Imagine waiting four minutes in between your games. And other That's people don't insane. have to. You do because you chose the faction that they've you morally decided this is, is evil. Why. So this is why the Master Chief Collection failed when it were, when uh, first launched. People had to wait, wait too time. long for matches. Like to, like four minutes is a long ass time. To just be granted, it was a lot longer than four minutes for it's the worth, MCD, it's, but, you know. Is the goal here crazy. to make it so long that no one chooses them and then no, there's just no enemy team? <laughs> yeah, like, it's just, it, it's yeah. like, you did it. It's just Americans. You did it. Does he it's like, there you go, you're not being desensitized. Like, there's, no, there's also no game. You need two factions in order for the multiplayer game to proceed? American no, versus American training just, facility. Yeah, American versus American. It's Civil War. Okay, sure, I yeah. <laughs> It'll be great. <laughs> if it meant players had an active choice in what teams they would represent, if I can saying, still make it. <laughs> no, people, people will be waiting for four minutes. <laughs> Not like, oh, this game's only been waiting for two minutes. I still got two minutes to jump in and then wait two more hey, minutes two, to play the game. Two minutes is a pretty long time to wait. That is a long time. Yeah. I mean, if I'm sitting in a lobby for two minutes, then I'm probably just going to jump out and find another one. Nazis in our games, and if you're going to say, but we need look at the way they draw this guy. Look at this. Look at this fucking idiot. Like, oh, it needs to be accurate to history. Ooh, what, 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 look at look at that. Look at that belly. Look at that disgusting face. <laughs> yeah. And his How dare we care about? Well, he's wearing a cape. He's wearing a cape. 
Should well, don't worry, Cap Captain degree. Purple Hair here is gonna, fucking... gonna really analyze this. Look at this dude wearing his cape. Piece of shit. <laughs> this is Theo, by the way. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> Caring guys. Caring about the history. <laughs> the history. And if you're going to say, but we need it for historical reasons, then your game better actually be historical. You can't but really it, just not? hide behind why? the fact you called your desert map El Alamein. Okay, wait. Is he saying that um, if you... If you're saying the Nazis should be there, and they should be as they are for historical reasons, then his counter-argument is, okay, if that's the way you're going with this, then you have to have everything be historically accurate to a T. Yeah, that, that's the, this is the same argument that they've made for years. This is the same argument they made for Battlefield 1, the same argument they made for Battlefield 5. They always pull up this shitty-ass argument, because I guess in their mind, they think it's actually convincing to some people. That if you have a game that's trying to be historically themed, essentially, if it is not 100% historically perfect in every way, like you're watching an actual legit recreation from a time machine then you don't have the excuse of saying it's historically accurate so fuck it put ak-47s in world war one games why not after all you can respawn zombie unicorns everywhere also they yeah. can they can drive cars um but uh, m16s uh, in the civil war just fucking do it so I mean, you, have, after you all have guy a who's like uh so we're gonna represent world war whatever we're gonna have the the accurate factions let's find out who they are we'll have them and then this guy is like okay but you better craft each grain of sand on omaha beach to the exact level and degree that they were in real life you'd be like uh w that seems like a jump from what i was requesting but okay it's dawning on me that this video is a six minute long slippery slope argument I mean, there's a lot of uh, fallacies in this one. <laughs> Children. I mean, and, and yeah, I'm most comfortable with referring to it as essentially propaganda. Yeah. And it's kind of creepy. Yeah, I th I'd say this is pretty propaganda y. This, this is straight up Orwellian ass propaganda. It's fucking horrifying. Hey, but it's historical. If that were the case, you need your PvP to at least represent real historical events and be a realistic no, take on no, PvP Like El Alamein? But what does he mean by the does he by event? Does he mean that one team has to win no matter what? Like whichever faction won won in real life, they have to win in that PvP match. Is that what he's saying? Well, yeah, they do that in how um, fucking boring that would be. In Battlefield One, there's a mode called Operations, and it loosely recreates certain like campaigns and sets of battles that were in World War One. And of course, since it's a a video game. One of the sides can win, and the other side can also win. So if it doesn't happen how it had, like it did historically, then they just play it off and say, "Oh, you know, we were able, we weren't able to hold the line. We got to fall back and you know regroup later, or we were able to push through the enemy, you know, forces and advance towards, you know, their, you know, whatever it was. I mean, no one, it, it, in that that was never a problem. It was never an issue. This whole video is about creating an issue that doesn't exist. And then saying, to solve this issue that we've created, we have to take away creative freedom from development teams and treat people who watch our content like they're infantile idiots who need to be propagandized. What a shame. <laughs> what a sham. On those battles. Once you make yeah. both sides balanced, it's also no longer... Oh, balanced in what you. way? Why do you keep not specifying? Because if he's talking well, mechanically, no, see, it's such a meaningless statement because of course they're supposed to be balanced mechanically. Every soldier reloads at the same speed, which isn't historically accurate. Therefore, you have no excuse to have Nazis in a World War II game. I don't think my gun has ever jammed in a World War II game. No, Horrible. yeah, well that means we can't have Nazis, because your gun never jammed. Is, is he, like, I'm trying to do good faith here, I'm like, so... The moral argument, is it the fact that there's no morality for either of them means they're on the same plane of morality? Because, yes, that's true that you're not told whether or not they're moral characters that you're playing as in this PvP game. Because it doesn't matter. It seems pretty the neutral to me. The is that you use they're, to play the game. They're on the same plane of morality because they're not on the plane of morality. Yeah, that's, that's, that's it. It's, there is, this is what I mean when he says they're balanced. I'm like, you're not talking... They're both <laughs> amoral. They're not immoral. They're not moral. They're just completely removed from morality. It it's doesn't even pure, factor in. It's pure abstraction to dressing. And you can't really say that you need Nazis anymore for historical accuracy.
Oh, and once you let players get cool weapons that weren't actually no, at that particular I'm gonna battle ground, there. it's also... And in, in uh, Battlefield 1, it has this, I wouldn't even call it a problem, but it has this item to it. What is up with the people with the fucked up hair in these cartoons? <laughs> but, so you have, um, you have guns like, um, uh, what, what's the name of it? The, the Hell, the Hell Regal, uh, which was a, like an experimental submachine gun that never saw combat and they only made like a prototype of it or something, but it did exist during the time period. It uses that time period's technology it is believable that it could have been used in some capacity, and so it's in the game. And you can, and they even have like a codex for whenever you use guns and get like ten kills with them or whatever. You unlock a codex entry that you could read about the history of the weapon. And the thing is, if you were to have a World War II game that didn't have Nazis in it, people would instantly know that something was wrong, and they would instantly know that something wasn't quite right. But if you have the Hell Regal submachine gun. In Battlefield 1, nobody raises a brow because it's extremely believable and it's accurate to the time period. No one is expecting when you play these games to get an exact, perfect, 100% recreation of only what they would use at that specific battle and whatever these regiments had in their hands. They're looking for the big, broad things like general accuracy of firearms for the time period. The yeah, factions not like fucking ray were guns. Involved. We're not... Yes. It's just like, it's so, it's so fucking dumb. It's like, if you had a World War II game and they had a gun in that you could use that didn't come out until 1945 at the very, very end of the war, like the, like, like in World War, uh, in Battlefield 1, you can get the, um, but basically the prototype predecessor of the Thompson submachine gun that wasn't really used at all. Um, but it's, it's fine. No one cares because it's accurate to the time period. It was made with a technology that existed at the time. It's just such a stupid false equivalence that's being made here. Like, oh, you have a gun that wasn't actually at that battle. Therefore, you can't have one of your factions in the game. Like those are even comparable. It's all or nothing with these SJW types. And why man. would it's all or I'm nothing? I'm confused as to why you would cons like from what we've heard from this guy. Why would he even consider it a, a valid argument? Historical accuracy? Wouldn't he just be like it's more important that we spread the the message that will lead us to a more moral and upstanding position in society rather than telling you know he's so focused on treating these people despite acknowledging that everyone was affected. Well, he acknowledges that one side was affected, all the other. I'm just like, you know, we're going to brush over all of the humanity of, of the of the evilmans, and uh, and yet he's like, okay, you want to make the historical argument? That's fair enough, but you know, you've got to make everything accurate at that point. I just be like, why are you even entertaining this argument if you're that kind of guy who wants to literally pave over the Nazis as anybody associated with them was a morally reprehensible piece of shit? Video games have as a, one of their incredible benefits is that video games can get people interested in historical themes and settings and events that they otherwise wouldn't have known about. I guarantee that after Battlefield 1 came out, there was a huge increase in interest for World War 1 history because growing up normally, World War 1 is almost always overshadowed by World War 2. But you put this stuff in a video game and millions and millions of people buy it and play it. And all of a sudden, hey, now I want to learn about what happened. What were the politics of this event that caused it to happen? What was the technology or the tactics? What was the development of arms and equipment and armor and all this stuff? And you can use video games as that vehicle to get people interested in this stuff. But that doesn't mean they have to be these perfect, you know, authoritative sources on the history of these events. Yeah, he's. I was gonna raise that early. Oh wait, I think the. Is it playing with you guys? Yeah, I just paused it. Mm. I'm gonna try and rejoin Here, the watch together. It's been tisming for a while. All right, I put it back to 420. Blaze it. <laughs> there you are, playing the PvP the in your of World War II shooter, and all of a sudden, you're a Nazi. Well, I can't get more than 420. Yeah, okay, like this was the here. argument that people made for like when they when they. Uh, when they were bitching about how there's no female soldiers in World War I, they were complaining, oh, well, you can respawn, you can literally come back from the dead, so there's no excuse. 
Yeah, you know, watch together's being a bitch. Why are you not letting me see the video? Hmm. Work, you bastard. When even watch together doesn't want to watch this stupid fucking video anymore. I was gonna anymore. say, I can't necessarily blame watch together. Um, I'm gonna see if I can make a new room to fix this problem. It's Oh wait! Maybe. Jolly Trolley made a good comment. He said, "Ironically, Rags, that's the tangent. That that is tangential learning. The very thing Extra Credit started their channel for. It's very true. This video is in direct contrast to a lot of their older stuff." Um, where were we? Sorry, so I can I can drag it. Hopefully, then. Uh, put it on four twenty. Yeah, just put on four twenty, and then give it a second for it to catch up for us. together you're being an asshole give it a second so how's it's the weather 19 but it's loading let me let me reload myself do you let players get for cool me. weapon 419 yeah. all right you want to if you drag it to 419 rags and then play hopefully it's it'll a 419. Do it okay okay i'll drag it to 419 do it i want to be useful. Then press play. You let players get cool weapons that Playing weren't actually at that particular battleground. It's, it's also no yep. longer historically mm. accurate. And you can't declare that your game will suffer if you don't put players. We st we good for the thing going? It's 432 yeah, yeah. right now. Yep. Still running. Would okay. you say 442? 432. Oh. Um, I was at 429. Probably... Roll it back if you can, just to make sure I don't miss anything on my end, because I, you know, we get very that audio professional coming through. Podcast yeah, we got to make sure everything comes through. Otherwise, wow, you guys cut their argument in half. It'll happen. It all washed together. Pulling up, and it's trying to. Here we go. It will suffer, though. That's what's so interesting is that people spis no pause, but that's something that people explicitly no. say when they review these games and when they talk about these games is that there is something that's so obviously historically wrong with this that it ruins their immersion for the game, and people say this all the time, and this extra credits video is like oh it claims that it'll ruin it. It's like it does. People that's just some people say all the time. It's um, like when I, it's like if you see black female Nazis in your World War II game, it's like, yeah, for a lot of people, that really kind of takes them out of it. I'm going to open up a new room because it's being an asshole. Hopefully this fixes it. If it doesn't, we'll see about what happens next. We'll use an alternative. There are alternatives <clears throat> to watch together. Oh, that rabbit. is true. Ah, uh, rabbit's shit. Uh, yeah, not rabbit. It's, it's an alternative, isn't it? That's yeah, true. there's other ones, though. Um, okay. Uh, Rags, are you jumping in? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Bum, 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 bum. All right. Jack Sparrow featuring Michael Bolton. There you are. <laughs> Fucking opening. Okay, is everyone at 425? No. I'm at one yeah, It's almost like, uh, this might be a watch together problem, actually, because it seems to just be slow spooling for everybody. Yeah, we're at 425. The playing? Accurate. Yeah, that's playing. And you can't yeah, that's the thing. That your game will suffer if you don't. Do these people? Players... Do these people not think that people will complain if, in a World War II game multiplayer, you can't play as the Germans? Like, obviously, people will be insanely upset. That will be, that would be, in, that would be the dumbest thing you could possibly do. That will kill your game. No, nobody would ever make a World War II game with multiplayer where you were not allowed to play as the Germans. Like, that would be insane, unless it was focused in the Pacific. We're obviously talking about European theater here. Hmm. But then it's just the same problem with the Japanese, so, yeah. Once your map is something carefully designed to have good gameplay by a team in a room in San Francisco or LA, and it's not a faithful reconstruction of the actual places the historical events occurred in, you can no longer say we need to have players take up arms in service of terror. Oh my god, this guy's a fucking insufferable cunt. Oh, All so right. much wrong with what you just said. Well, okay. Oh my I, god. I, I don't, usually I don't tell people to kill themselves, but I mean, I think he should seriously consider it. I think you, consider, I think you have said that previously. Yeah, 
All right. So yeah, you have you have actually it. That's if so let's say that I don't know what the the fuck it. What's a what's a famous let's say that I've never been to Iwo Jima. I don't know anything about the island. I don't know its layout, its geography. And I play a game set in World War II where you are a Marine Expeditionary Force and you're fighting the Japanese on Iwo Jima. And I step foot onto the white sandy beaches of Iwo Jima and fight into the, the jungles and the woods and I fight the Japanese. That's that's da. But then, all right, but then later, Somebody tells me, oh, but Iwo Jima was a volcanic island. The, the, the sands were very dark, black. There were, the sand at Iwo Jima wasn't actually white sand. And I would go, oh, that's interesting. But when I played that in the video game, I didn't know that. And so it didn't take me out of the immersion at all. You don't have to have a 100% faithful recreation of things, especially if those things are things that pretty much nobody knows. That's why people are fine with the Hell Regal being in World War One, but they would not be okay with AK forty sevens being in World War One. There's degrees to these kinds of things exactly. in terms of abstraction. You know what else find it creepy Absolutely. that Theo has had his mouth taped over in this image. I find it creepy how I'm being portrayed as some kind of psychopath for liking history. Like, did you see the look on the guy's face when he was uh, constructing the replica of? Uh, yeah, Hellbeal. he's like a crazy person. Yeah, it's fucking trembling and swaying. It looks horrifying. Sorry As, for liking history, I guess. And this person's smiling while they're like, be silent. Yeah, how dare you it, speak? It's like Lime Zero says in the chat. It's, it's like about the spirit of the whole thing, not exact details of historical accuracy. I mean, mm. looking at this picture, I don't know how someone could draw this and not feel disturbed by what they just drew. It's like, shut mm. up, idiot. You, you don't have the exact architectural layout of, uh, I don't know, this this uh french village or whatever so that means you can't have a battle there in your world war ii game unless you to the inch um or to the centimeter i guess that'd be nail down you know this town because if it's not exactly how it was in the real world then you can't have not you can't say that you, you can't have nazis in your game because eh, the street layout isn't exactly how it is in the real world. Why is the guy who cares about history fat, too? <laughs> Who's fat? Well, he's sort Need of fat. to demonize him He's got, he's the got quite, quite the hairline, too. He's, he's, uh, uh, but then, he's oddly lima bean shaped. And the other dude with the, with the purple... Purple hair. Yeah. Is that even a dude? I don't know, actually. That might have been offensive, what I just said. Sorry. He's got D on his shirt for dude. No, I think, what I think D means for? definitely correct, while the other one means developer? definitely horrible. I don't know. I don't know. It might actually be developer. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it stands for D-bag. Also, look at the absolute state of my left hand on holding the bag. Jesus. <laughs> Looks like you got crushed by some piece of burning graphite. Or hate. I don't know. That kind of sounds like what you're saying <laughs> about World War II. Or a... you can still make games about World War II. They just have to be terrible. They have to be sanitized mm, or to, to overtly be propagandized. Yep. You can have games about World War II multiplayer. They just have to be terrible. I like the and idea this as well. Is the responsibility of the developer. The, the developer. The, the developer is like, okay, but I, you know, in this, in my game, this guy isn't actually like fully on board with the Nazi idea. I was just like, okay, okay. So show us his introduction. And it's just like your standard sort of story where it's a slow reveal about this character's morality. And they're like, no. Right at the beginning, you need to make it extremely clear exactly what this guy thinks and how he's a good person. That sounds like good storytelling to me. That's, yeah. Like at the beginning of um, Assassin's Creed 3, you play as the character who, you know, jumps around in the walls and stabs people and assassinates and gets on the boat and everything. And then you learn that oh, he's not an assassin. He's with the Templar the whole time. I thought he, ah, and it was like a nifty little reveal, right? Yeah. To show the ambiguity of some of these things. Can't have that. No, I was going to say that's too vague, kind of. Uh... And uh -oh. even then, we don't even reach that point because he's talking about the weirdest target possible in multiplayer first person shooters. That's the thing, man. Expand this Which out. Which is where I go to get my lessons on history and uh, morality, is multiplayer games. Yeah. It's not like there's other kinds of experience out there that could provide for 
what you're looking for. No, you, you go to a completely different kind of experience with the same aesthetic dressing. Multiplayer yeah, video uh, games. Mm. That's where I get my morals from. <laughs> I'm not even saying we shouldn't make games where you play as a Nazi or a terrorist. But what we are saying is that the fact that you're playing as a Nazi or a why? terrorist in a game has to mean something. You still have to establish why. why. Yeah. And mean something? What do you mean? <laughs> it means that it's I'm a on a team that's balanced with the mean? other team. It means the game's fair and I can enjoy it. You realize this is why we have single player games, right? And didn't this video no. open with saying you're playing the game and suddenly you become a Nazi? God, yeah, you're a Nazi now. You didn't choose this, even though you... So it is it okay to be a Nazi as long as the game tells you that they're bad? <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, Like, I instead guess. of showing the countdown timer for the Nazi team, it just says, remember, you're a Nazi, and the Nazis were bad men. What is with the, the video game represented by the cube in the background's look there? One eyebrow up. That's the game. It's, like, saying it's... What does that mean? The game the, is the game like, huh? I don't know why she's so bothered. Is that what it's trying to say? And like the game's trying to hide from the player that it made them a Nazi or something. I don't know. Very strange drawings. Maybe it's like a cute little ha. Huh, that's the game back there. That's that's the personified game that made you a Nazi. It's still behind your penis couch. The the game forced it on you after you purchased the game. Turn yeah, it forced you to go to the store. And buy the game and bring it home and open the box and put the disc into your Xbox and then start playing the game and select multiplayer and then to keep playing. It forced you. You had no idea this could happen. Why not? Is Why that not? the fact that you're playing as a Nazi or a terrorist in a game has to mean something? And it can't just be a skin. It yeah, your fucking channel can do better. Oh so. right, yeah. There is. I remember a lot of people talking about how um, we can do better. Being like the one of the most condescending and inaccurate fucking like just statements about this whole scenario. It's just like it's disgusting. Like, games fucked up, but they can do better. Games are shit, but they can do better. And we're gonna tell them how to do better by telling you how to make the worst World War Two game you could ever make. Who else is evil? Tell us so we can censor them. And they're like, it's okay, children. Yeah. We will tell you who are the evil mans. It's not even that. Yeah, it is. P less people will buy your games, and that will cost you. Oh, right, you yeah. You'll recuperate your expenses because people won't buy your shitty World War II games. It's, it's just it's chopping up a bit on my end, but basically, the video says it's not going to cost. Uh, does he say it'll cost less or it costs equal? Is, I, he says it's not going to cost you anything. Not going to cost yeah. you anything to do all these changes that he's suggesting. First of all, you'll destroy your own fan base slash player base. Um, implementing like tool tips or descriptions or a morality system of some kind. It's like, yeah, this will cost money. I don't even. And the split second it gets out that your game uh, has increased queue times for one of its factions, but selectable factions, nobody will purchase your video yeah. game. I mean, that'll turn me... I'm, if you go up to people and say, oh, by the way, let's say a reviewer comes out with a game, like this multiplayer game um, in World War II, if you want to play as the Germans, you're going to have to wait upwards of four minutes to get into a game. That's a no-buy for me. I'm not yeah. buying that. Ah, oh, thanks. I'll play something else where I can get into a game, you know, pretty much instantly. Be cognizant of the world around us. Yeah, it's really laggy on my end. I'm not actually getting any video right now. I'm at I'm at five thirty one. I got I'm nothing. I'm just spooling. I'm assuming does it work for you three? Yeah. Well, apparently, they're yeah. two seconds ahead of me. I'm, I'm at thirty one. I got oh, nothing. I'm stuck all the way back at 521. Here, let me check this out. Um, okay, watch together, together tube. Let me try that out. So close to the end as well, because uh, uh, a lot of people have been mentioning. It's like, yes, we. I know about the uh, the comment they've made in relation to, um, you know, responding to criticism. We will get there. No, why is... Oh, together. 
It won't. Uh, but about the world. Uh, my Circle TV. So let me... The, the... Tell your ISP to stop being a massive. I'm not even sure if it's like that. It, it, it's oh, some, by the it's way, some it's weird combination. 9%? Wow. Yeah. There's the EFAP crew getting their uh, getting their dislikes in there, I guess. I don't really know how people could resist. If it's if it's Finally, possible it's over. I was about to say, like, uh I can I'm gonna play the last thirty seconds locally. So that um oh I guess we could test this. Give that a try. See how that works. You can do that. <clears throat> Uh, no sophistical autistic. I am not friends with Eric Taxon. <laughs> Sophistic autistic. <laughs> Fr friends are racist. Yeah, okay, well, anyway, whether or not we figure this one out, like I said, I'm just going to play the last 30 seconds of the video for, for the stream, so chat can hear it out. Uh, we'll go from there. These symbols we're drawing on mean that we think as we're building. Now the actual YouTube video is lagging. Okay, it must be on my end. <laughs> Hot damn. This is what you get for living in that shitty Britain country. That we think as we're building. Not just about the game we're it's working actually on. actually what he gets for living in that shitty Wales country. Wales. Um, ooh, it's risky. I kind of want to go and uh, restart my internet to try and get it clearer and cleaner. But there's a chance it'll split the stream into two if I don't do it fast well, enough. Well, I can, I can hear you just fine. That's the weird mm -hmm. thing. You guys, I, I'm hearing you guys fine, you're hearing me fine, but YouTube videos are fucking tizzling right now. But about the world as a whole. Singapore. If we can do I don't think that's gonna solve it. <laughs> it. Solves everything else. Do that. We can take a big step forward for the industry. We can... I mean, you guys heard the ending. What does he say? <laughs> Mm, um, normalizing Nazis because games can be better and stuff. Makes All it requires sense. is that we in the game industry be cognizant of the world around us and what these symbols we're drawing on. We think as we're building, not just about the game we're working on, but about the world as a whole. If we can do that, we can take a big step forward for the industry. We can stop helping to normalize Nazis. Okay. Um, that didn't go well for them. Yeah, no. they're nine percent. They broke the they broke the double digit boundary. They are <laughs> now at nine percent. I wonder what the the lowest rated video that has a significant amount of votes on it. You know, like beyond a ten thousand, let's say. Yeah. Ugh. YouTube rewind. Yeah, that's probably better though. <laughs> um, I am going the to. The only one worse than this is the one that YouTube made. I'm going to try and restart my internet quickly. Um, if it does separate into two streams, all that means is that I'm just going to have to fucking stitch them together in post when they go up on Moolah, which will be fine. I've done it before. If not, it'll just be great and nice and thingy, but I shouldn't be longer than 10 seconds. Hopefully, it worst, it'll okay, be worse than okay. that. Be right back. Yeah. Good luck. Sure. Um, yeah. So. Well, um, YouTube Rewind is at 17%, and they have like 175 million views, so that's a pretty titanic failure. We are talking! Allow us to entertain you with our voices. We'll serenade you with our something or other. Not mine, though. No, not yours. You haven't I, gotten uh, to that level just yet. <laughs> I have a lovely voice. What pizza am I going to order? I'm not ordering anything. Okay. I'm like, I'm jelly. It has been done. Yeah. Now How'd the I test go? is if YouTube videos are working for me. I guess we'll find out. Uh, the next thing that I was going to throw on was just a past video where they make a statement or two that are interesting. Um... So let's see if I can get that working. New watch together link. Once again, everyone pile in. <laughs> um, Funny pandas. <gasps> Epic laughs. Well, you know, the panda videos have never led, led, led us astray. This is called 
how to stand up for games as a medium, I guess. And, uh, this was back in February of 2012. When times were different. Go to here. It's EA. He set us back even further. These games are not being judged because of their content. They're judged because they are games. Countless filmmakers, novelists, and what artists have tackled difficult subjects video. before and been... What? Huh? The video we're watching. This is extra yeah. credits. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, that sounds they, terrible. This was, them, this was them back in 2012. Yeah, this is the voice that everyone knows as extra credits has changed since then. I don't like the voice, but a lot of people do. It's just... I think it's. I think this is a terrible voice because it's annoying and nasally and whiny. And it sounds like they recorded themselves and then they just sped it up. It sounds like V without the accent. Kinda, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, try and listen to what they're saying instead of uh, how they say it. They're judged because they are games. Countless filmmakers, novelists, and artists have tackled difficult subjects before and been celebrated for it. Topics like war, genocide, sexuality, hatred. Many of these pieces are critically acclaimed, and rightfully so. They dare to explore humanity's dark side, the ugly realities of the human condition. They venture into uncomfortable territory and find the truth hidden within. Oof. Uh-oh. Mm. Did not age well. But the thing is, a lot of people have been saying these are two different content creators at this point, so you can't even compare. It's just the... I don't know, a sad same reality. Channel, same name, same, you know, it's... I mean, you look at, you just go to new replies and it's like, ugh. Yeah, new replies on this yeah. video specifically. I presume, <laughs> yeah, this comment, I presume this applies to everything except World War II games, because all Germans are Nazis. I just like that of, he says yeah, you go through all comments. of the darkest parts of it to find the truth. It's like, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is the stuff art is made of. What is it about games that disqualifies them from exploring this harsh territory? Because they're desensitizing us to the Nazitism. Yeah, it normalizes it. Stupid extra credits. I've heard it argued that we need a rebranding. That we need to take on a new title for this medium. Kind of like how comic books had to take on the name graphic novel before they started getting the respect they deserved. And maybe we do. Interactive experiences? Eh, no. Simulations? Nope, that doesn't sound right either. Well, while we're at it, we also need to expand the scope of what we do to include more of the human experience and address a broader set of ideas. But before any of that is going to happen... No, don't explore ideas. Jesus. No, ex don't explore ideas. Be instantly revulsed by yeah. symbology. <laughs> do not explore them, because you might come away with the wrong opinion. So yeah, that's um, interesting. And then there's just a few other statements that are of interest once again. This is a, a newer... Still yeah. Oh yeah, this one. A lot of people on this one are like, uh, yeah. This, yeah, this is called right. Propaganda Games. Ethical Game Design. Kind of seems like a propaganda video that we watched, didn't it? Didn't it? Mm. But I rarely heard that particular kind of slur flying around. And now I hear them regularly. And maybe that's just my experience. I, mean, I don't have any official statistics to give on that, but speaking for myself, I've heard enough of it to start feeling concerned. Look, my point is, there's danger in mechanically incentivizing actions in a game without thinking about what those actions mean. By making the goal of these games to kill people of other races, you're training people by fooling them into thinking they're choosing. It's their choice to pull the trigger. They earned that headshot. They made that kill. And because of those compelling moment-to-moment -moment choices, you successfully divert them away from thinking about the larger questions. Why am I killing these people? Are they really my enemies? Yes, they are. Because they're evil Nazis. Yeah, they have, they have iron crosses, which means you have to shoot them. <laughs> Dude, mm. it's like the aging of this is hilarious. I'm, I'm telling you, mate, social justice rots your brain. <laughs> it makes you backtrack on every principled stance that you once had. I just love the, are they really my enemies? <laughs> of also, course they are, also, Timmy. I like the, I like the chat. Course. Killing your own race is fine, though. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Go for it. Now, don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying that games can desensitize us to violence or turn us into killers. Those are areas where we have some pretty strong mental barriers built. No, we don't. No, <laughs> no, no, you're no. Not. no, you're Nazis. <laughs> oh my god. Exactly. Clearly we oh cannot be god. trusted. Rest in peace. <laughs> Rest in peace, extra credit. <laughs> but they can certainly have as much effect as any other piece of culture, be it the news media or Hollywood. Oh, really? <laughs> so, mm. this heavy focus on specifically FPS games is kind of arbitrary, because it's, like, everything. Like, oh my god, it's so embarrassing. Because they're making the counter-arguments for themselves, like, we don't even have to do it at that point. 
Um, so next up, which is this is so sad, but it's it's what happened. So uh, they have a I guess community manager on Twitter, um, and she, she he I don't fucking care person. It's they. They're, they they're, pronouns are in their Twitter bio, by the way. Um, so I'm I'm th th giving it to you guys, and I'll throw it up on the screen. You got yeah. um, Oh no! This. So you got someone screenshotted obviously their video going to the pits of hell in terms of the ratio, and said that didn't work out. Now did it? And Rags, why don't you read out her response? Their response, whatever. There. So Zolaire, uh, the Burl at the Burls, uh, the community manager for extra credits, I believe. I believe. Yeah. Um, I don't think enough people seem to understand that, one, we fully expect this to happen every time we've uploaded a games or political video, and that, two, we love losing all the bigoted subscribers. <laughs> are you kidding me? Less bigotry is great. Dislikes are still engagement. Um. Because <laughs> when people say dislikes are still engagement, they're totally not mad. Hmm. So if you, if you didn't like the video, you're a bigot. <laughs> yeah, that's what the, the, there's no counter well, argument that doesn't I'm make you proud a to be a bigot. And uh, if you were like, I mean, it was just a one-time thing, it was just like a joke, and then you follow up with the the uh, second tweet there, right? All right, we've got a follow up here that I will see in any moment, and it will pop up instantly in just one second. Was, I will be able to see it. It was an album what I gave you. Uh, let's see. Oh, we try our best just to lose all the bigoted subscribers who somehow didn't drop off at any number of the earlier Games or Political episodes. Yeah, I mean, it's it's absolutely the bigots' faults for not realizing faster, I guess, because, you know, their takes have always been this insane, apparently. So, this person's bio is they, them, communications director at Extra Credits, Community Management, Social Justice, LDS, Contemporary Art, Video Games, Memes, Weeb Fandom. Um. Oh no. <laughs> uh, and then finally, in this cavalcade of nonsense, is their response to the hate. So, uh, here it is. I'm guessing we're gonna have to break this down piece by piece. It's actually pretty long. Okay, yeah, so the extra, pedit, uh, extra Credits uh, edited their pinned comment after things uh, started going south for the video, which is admittedly fairly soon. All right, edit. Hey, folks, this one seems to have struck a nerve. Already off to a great start. <laughs> we encourage discussion about the topic. No, you don't. And there is some fair criticism of the video out there. However, I wanted to address some of the comments that seem to have misunderstood some aspects of the video. One, we never said that playing as a Nazi turns you into a Nazi. Oh, didn't that's you? Not it, <laughs> that's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. However, there is plenty of research about how art and media can shift people's perspectives. This is not a good or bad thing. This is just a natural effect of culture. Please look, the, look up the Overton window. Or heck, you can watch our video on propaganda games over here. <laughs> Link. I don't think I want to watch anything about propaganda from this channel. So the, yeah. they've converted the. They say in the video, you play in the game and you're a Nazi. And then they're talking about how you'll see the crosses and shit, and then you'll become, you know, desensitized to horrible hate ideas on hate.com. And now they're saying, no, we were just trying to say art and media can shift your perspective. That's the most they like. Bring that's the most non-committal statement ever. You're like, your mind can change due to the things you detect with your senses. You're like, yes. That's a, a backpedal to like the most obvious <laughs> position ever that doesn't even back up. Who would disagree saying. with that? Yes, of course. And if anything, they're telling people to look up the Overton window. And if you do that, that makes their position even worse because it shows how little the right has moved and how insanely left the left has moved recently. Like, have you watched the Democratic debates here? Fucking hell, who are these people? It's like every far leftist wants to be the president now. I mean, they're pretty funny. <laughs> I like the debates so no. a little more. Uh, oh, yeah, they're insane. These people are fucking nuts. 
Uh, so no, playing a Nazi doesn't magically transform you into a Nazi. No one's saying that. Except no, it's just not magic. Yeah, it's, it's just not magic. Uh, two, we never said that games should never let you play as Nazis or terrorists for that matter. If you need the exact timestamp, it's at 447. There's a lot of potential for some really interesting or impactful games that put the players in the boots of people or in control of systems that have been that have done incredible harm. But it can't be done thoughtlessly or just as a skin on top of mechanics, devoid of context. So, yeah, that would ruin multiplayer for World War Two games. What, and, what you're advocating for would ruin multiplayer. And when, you, when you're at a neutral level of amorality where you've not contextualized either side in any way, shape, or form, the second that you do anything to any one of them, it's like, right, so where do we stop? Because now we need to you know, make sure we do it for all sides in all ways. And it seems to me that they're only advocating for Nazi man bad. Nazi man bad. And it's like, okay, sure? yeah. seems a little bit one-sided sure. and sure. Yeah. almost a little bit creepy in terms of, like, is that necessarily true? I, I'd like to refer them to this video I just watched by Extra Credits. I don't know if they've heard of that channel. They said, like, why am I killing these people? Are they all evil? I guess they are. The game said so. They're wearing Nazi iconography, they must be. Oh, you mean the, the cross? Yeah, yeah. No, I've seen that cross yeah. in a lot of places. Yeah, that, that, that Nazi cross. The iron cross. The Nazi sticks. All right. That's what they so call for their guns. Yep. Three. For those saying that it's just a game and we shouldn't think too hard about it, I feel like perhaps it might be important to introduce ourselves. Hi, we're Extra Credits. Our tagline for a very long time was, Because Games Matter. It's something we fundamentally believe, and if you don't, that's okay. But then our content might not be for you, because thinking hard about games is kind of our shtick. Um, you didn't think hard about any. That's so uh, fucking backhanded and yeah, yeah it's, it's very it's condescending such a fucking condescending so um but it matches the tone of the video tell me yeah. extra credits what are the politics of pong like i i and ironically i'm asking that now i'm trying to imply that like just because it's a game thus there has to be something incredibly important about it in a meta narrative just like not necessarily uh that would have to be something that's made aware to the player anyway and i, I find it disturbing to like inject all of your sort of morality into a game that's trying to remain neutral because mm. it's a video game it's or, a game more importantly like again a game that doesn't have a present it's not even neutral it doesn't have a presence on the morality scale it's a multiplayer game mm. it's a shooter it is, yeah it's it's completely amoral there's nothing moral about it pong is neocon okay pong is neocon um, four, our writing staff is the same, and we've always talked about politics and games in our other videos. If this comes as a surprise to you, or you think there's been a large shift in our thinking, I'd invite you to take <laughs> at, uh, take a look at some of our older episodes. You sure? We live in a time where neo-Nazis exist, and they seem to have increasingly found a home in gaming communities. <laughs> what? Okay, I. One of these uh, days, maybe I'll find one. Why would gaming um, communities be the home of ne like? You know what I mean? Like, what, what's the connection there? It's like, oh well, in Call of Duty, they don't tell you that the Nazis are evil. You're like, oh, like we live in a time where neo Nazis exist. Yeah, because it's after 1945. There will <laughs> be some people out there who are still unironically Nazi. Sure, they've always been around. There's like 12 of them. Can I get a source oh. on this? I just yeah. the, the idea that they're like we have no safe space, but then gaming happened, and you're like, what? Why? Uh, okay. Um. Let's see. This isn't something we can turn a blind eye anymore, and it's something to consider what we as game designers can do to try and make things better. Um, as said, there have been some very valid critiques of the video that we greatly appreciate. Most important to us is in uh, is to start talking about these topics and to have conversations about design. Uh, for those of you who have kept civil in the comments, thank you. For those of you who need a reminder, our COC can be found here. Okay. No conduct, so. so yeah, that's dumb. Matches the video, though. Shit. And, yeah. that, and that is the saga of extra credits. Going through something of a midlife crisis, almost. With Social a, justice rots the brain, kids. It's kind of... Um, but, you know what? We can have some fun. Um, there are two videos that relate to this. One, made by our very own meme repository. Uh, <gasps> oh. <laughs> 
So there you are, just civilly disagreeing with the latest extra credits video. When suddenly, bam, you're a Nazi. You didn't ask for this. You don't actually believe this. But there it is. And you were treated no differently <laughs> than the people who literally rounded people up into death camps. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I love that. There's not anyone on the internet who can't have fun with this retarded fucking extra credits video. There you are, watching your three hour TFA critique, and all, all of a sudden, <laughs> you're a Nazi. You didn't <laughs> ask for this. You didn't choose this. Yet, there it is. There you are, watching a passionate rant, and all of a sudden. <laughs> You're a racist. <laughs> you didn't ask for this. <laughs> you didn't choose this. Yet there it is. <laughs> I'm not a racist, but there's a suspicious amount of black there you people. Are watching a video. Of oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Rass. Rass. Man, it's like lagging for me again. Please don't do this to me. I want to watch my memes. There you are, watching a video about sexism in games. And all of a sudden, you're a furry. <laughs> you didn't ask for this. You didn't choose this. It's Yet there tale. it is. Of the Gamertron. You're embarrassing me in front of the spider. Fuck, I don't know what's going on with my internet. It's terrible. I can't even play meme videos. Ah, no. A terrible country, of course. I mean, I don't know if we can blame Britannia, but... And blame Nazis. Not against it. Their fault. Um, so, uh, you know what will be good for, for, for me is to go into um, meme images what? next. Because that's something I actually okay. can handle with my internet right now, for sure, and it'll take us at least a good 20 minutes or so. Um, meme images! But if, if it's still going after that, I guess I'll just do the reset again, because I seem to fix it for a bit. Um, but yeah, that was that was the, the saga of extra credits. It's pretty embarrassing. Um, I'm guessing they'll recover because I mean they're a pretty big channel and they can just not do that again. Uh, but the, like I said, there's a lot of the fact that they said you can go look at our older videos when their older videos essentially spit on this new one is interesting to me. And, and they said that the writing team is the same. Is that true? Uh, I don't know. The writing team. Yeah, social justice. Just, yeah, just awkward, honestly, and, and, um, you know, we wish them the best of luck, but that video was actually one of the worst on YouTube, like... Tell me, man. <laughs> we cover only that the best video. here on EFAB. Those it's developed a, principal a... positions they used to have that everyone liked and agreed with and could, you know, see eye to eye on? Yeah, fuck that shit. Remember when, um... <laughs> <laughs> when we said that, uh, Doom isn't supposed to be a relatable guy? <laughs> <laughs> Doom guy's black. This is a. Yeah. This is only a meme for people who watched the previous episodes. I mean, I guess all of these are. This one's a, a wonderful comic. Super chat, Super my, chat friends. my friends. You are democratic. You must choose candy brand and be. Uter chods. Utter chods. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Will you pick be homosexual chads. rabbit poop or sweat ebony on the inside shells of WW Heaven? <laughs> and they voted the M and M's. That's right, they did. That is Damn straight, they did. All right. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of sausage doom shit to get through. Doom sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for people in chat, we're just like unaware of these things. It's like, let's go with it. Doom guy is <laughs> All right, yeah. So this is like a three-page thing. Thank so you've the got... dawn for thick girls. Um, got, this is the first comic. Got the the space uh -huh. cow. He's reading the newspaper. Oh God! Uh, so someone gives it gives it a little tug. Don't have that. Oh no! Oh, it's assault. It's assault. <laughs> Look who it is. <laughs> that's good. I like that. That's I like very good. Smile. Beautiful. 
I like that. Very good. I like this one a lot. Wolf will like this one. A few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> What's the newspaper? Oh, no. I thought um, those black lines were there on the newspaper. Never mind. So this yeah. one's a whole set of drawings this guy did of basically oh, like boy. enemies of EFAP types. This is the Baron oh, of Pave. The Baron of Pave. Jesus Christ. It's like a it's mutated like a weird rhino, rhino thing. With a yeah, ton of with... tits. Clearly taking inspiration from Bayo and I see. This is the Australian dragon snake. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Terrifying. Terrifying, yeah, really dangerous as well. Shad has fought several. This is Riley Dennis No Bullshit Mutant. This is the two oh, of the guys. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my oh. goodness. Good lord. It's actually terrifying. Oh, they look like the uh the water hags from the Witcher yeah, 3. Yeah, they do. Oh, they do kind of, yeah. Um and we've got oh the evolved critic. <laughs> <laughs> Where is your formal education? <laughs> <laughs> He's got theme and knives, you know. It's the kind of shit you can't make up. And then you've got Major Lee's women. <laughs> I'm guessing. What is the weapon there? It's like a- it's the die that, that he was trying to defend made sense that Luke gave to Leia, I guess? A die? Sarigama with a die and... What's the bladed? <laughs> Huh. It's a complicated meme. This one is uh, the TLJ Defender. Got... Oh fuck, it's slice and dice. I see. <laughs> got a soy injection? The no, two of them. Um, NPC face, got a check mark, and the reader response theory. What is the, the language coming out of the book there? I'm not even sure. Wonderful depictions, though. You don't see realistic drawings like this every day. The Canto Bite Alien. Yep, this <laughs> <It's good. laughs> Um <laughs> Rags will like this one. Yeah. Um I have a shield proof sword. I have a sword proof shield. <laughs> <laughs> Will explode. <laughs> I like that the world is flat. Yeah. Original subjectivity slayer. One in Wales, 1056 AD, given the mask by the dawn after proving to be a skilled warrior during a Paif invasion. Single-handedly <laughs> beat Goliath in a fist fight and trapped him in the Philippines. Would go on to pass down the mask as a family heirloom for generations, so the subjectivity slayer would always exist. Seems fair. Oh my. That's some that makes sense to me. Interesting depiction of the baller mask. And I can't remember if this is the same dude or not. This is the thing, it's really hard to keep track of exactly who and where all these come from, because it's like trying to keep control of all them like this. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's, that's an original really drawing, detailed. isn't it, right? That's not something else. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. If it's Very not... Impressive. Yeah, I was going to say, impressive if so. I don't yeah. know if it's taken from somewhere else, though. I never know for sure. Got this one again, different styles. Oh, God. I don't know what it is, Theo. Can you translate? That, that's a JoJo reference. How am I supposed JoJo's to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Motherfucker, is that a JoJo reference? Yeah, that's a JoJo, JoJo reference. This one's terrifying. I had terrifying ones before, though. It's a YouTube video. Oh my god. It's oh. Pafe episode 42, Ugh. and apparently it's only four minutes long. They don't do sh long episodes, I guess. Um, There's a lot happening here. To say the least. Proud. Unless this is live. Maybe a live oh, maybe show, it's a live we only got to 401. Awkwardly... Good lord. Yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff going on here. Rags for life on the on a tattoo. Dark Souls 2 tattoo, I guess. I don't even know where to begin looking at all this. It's like... Meme, the rags question, and... And we did... And did we kidnap Jay? Maybe. No. Definitely not. Um... A lot of weird drawings this time around. Definitely. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, Tonal! Oh no! He's <laughs> got tomato no. on frame. <laughs> it's actually terrifying. 
It is actually scary. <laughs> this came in relatively recently. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Heavy breathing. Heavy breathing. <laughs> the fucking oh the face looks tortured like he's like <laughs> suffering. He's gone through a oh lot. Oh my god. He's suffering in ways he can't comprehend. I don't know if you <laughs> saw this one last time, Well, Whether or not you did, chills. you see it now. Oh, Jesus. No, I have not seen this one. Wow. <laughs> I told you that you should eat a salad. Wolf, stop it. Get help. It's not me. It's Beowin's fault. <laughs> <laughs> I think this was just an excuse to draw wolf, wolf with this the fat wolf. What the fuck? Oh, we you should eat a salad, though. There's definitely new memes I'm going to have to collect. You keep, yeah, more than one. Eat more. <laughs> salad pizza. No. I have, I'll have you know I have not eaten pizza, pizza at all this week. Why do we keep this rhino around? For the milk. When he no longer provides, we will harvest the ivory. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen insert movie here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't uh, so it's one. Jay. I've never seen it. <laughs> Jay is a rhino in this concert. Why are you holding the severed head of ER? And I've got PSA no, Sitch I... in the other hand, too. Oh, I think they're, I think it's the end of the chairs. Like oh, the, it could be, The yeah. arms of the chair, yeah. Oh. Wolf, you're a badge in this. Oh, I'm fine with that. Spider. Froggold is just, like, riveting atop the chair. Spider says they plot against you. They plan to break the barriers of blockage and steal the milk of the rhino. Beware the loke who pretends to know tones. You must deal with them now whilst they're weak. Oh, and Spider Man is coming out. It's good that they warned about that. And you go rags in his rhino milk? It's a very sweet picture. You know, these things. Yeah, it's very sweet. Is that a wheel at the chair? Is that a wheelchair? I think the I think, chair is yeah, mobilized. There's, there's wheels on the chair. The chair that shall mount the world. I think Jay made a mistake by not uh George Olsen, by the way. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> I like that I go from like a horribly obese, gluttonous monster to a werewolf. <laughs> I don't know which one it is. I don't like the, the rags manages. No matter what the scenarios are, he always just seems to be so, you know, cool and aloof. No matter what's going on, he's got it. Just a regular old shibe. Uh, this is where I am. <laughs> this is You're just happy to be here. Let me say, who uh, do we have a name for who did this? So I I Again, uh, trying to collect them all quickly on Twitter. I always like person who made this. Uh, I guess you don't. You guys don't have a Twitter. Um, There's a little artist tag right down there. I don't know if that's their name though. Y one one nine. We kind of like you know. They're awesome images. They're all archived in, obviously, the uh, the Discord. It's just that... Yeah, I just, just saved this one here. I really like this one. Um, and we've got... So this is the first one. <laughs> Pretty neat. Is that like a 3D? A I believe thing? so, yes. Second one. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. And I guess... Wolf's not a werewolf in this constant. Like the hound's helmet. Well, it looks like I'm still autistically screeching. So, <laughs> oh, I'm on Geralt. Oh no, I it's a wolf head on Geralt. Yeah. No, it's the second sword. I I just remembered the sword because that's the, the one I use on my character. I think it's just Geralt wearing a wolf helmet. <laughs> you, can kinda, you can kind of you can kind of see his face in there. Well disguised by the lighting though. Indeed. And that is it for images. There's a lot of videos. We're going to test out one, and if I've got TISM internet stuff, I'm going to have to reset it. And then if I can't solve this problem, I'm going to be very upset with life in general. Uh, okay. Everyone's in the wash together. <gasps> Meet the mall. <laughs> Demo man? If I were a bad demo man. Do, do the Team Fortress 2 videos have copyright on them for the, the meet the ones? I have no idea. I don't know either. There's so I many of them. Know. No clue.
You'd th I was just about to think, like, people are re-uploading them. They probably would knock him down. I don't know. I wouldn't be sitting here discussing it with you now, would I? Yes! Do it! Their ads. They get pre-posted so much. Okay, chat seems to think they'd be fine. One crossed wire, one wayward pinch of potassium chloride, one errant twitch, and kablooey! Oh, guess Rags is dead. There's actually a part two to this that, uh... Continues the story, let's say. Rags will survive, maybe. A black Scottish cyclops. They got more f <laughs> than they got the likes of me. So, how you find Dandy so proud. So you're a so black Scotsman. Seems accurate. Come and get me, I say. I'll be waiting on you with a whip in your brimstone. I can't look at Quentin without seeing that hideous mustache. Yeah, head. FYI to all creators, you need to be using the other Quentin image more now. That's how we see him, okay? It's important to the continuity. Uh, just show, uh, like, the ugliest version of him you can. And no! No! <laughs> oh, they're going to have to glue you back together in hell! Oh. I am not the woman. Wait, who's Wolf? I don't remember who the characters are where they stand. That's Spy. They made oh, Jay Spy. What does that imply? He's a sneaky piece of shit. We shouldn't trust <laughs> Jay. It's confirmed. Right. Of he these. should be the heavy because it's the most rhino-like. That's racist. John saves everyone. This is essentially oh, the arguably the part two. Oh, <laughs> arguably. Oh, 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 arguably. <laughs> Help me the dumb. Help me the dumb. Children Children save her. <laughs> That's Captain Marvel, Marvel fans. fans. <laughs> I have no idea. I guess Mel had something against the Captain Marvel fans. Yeah, it does. Oh. Stepped right on her face. That's a sexism. <laughs> After this, Don went to win, went on to win the war against Tabats. We now pray for his safeness as we take care of the orphans he used to care about after before losing his bike. Don lives matter. Made during EF41. All right. Very good. Very good. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, so this one is pretty funny because at first uh, I, I I think I just told one of you guys about this one. I was like, by the title, it's called "He Said the Word," and he it, said the word. It's got it's <laughs> to do with Shad. Uh, I was like, way for me to realize the stories I wanted to create. I love this one. Writing, and uh, that was in 2007. And so I decided I want to be. I'm gonna have to pause this because of obviously. Thing. Yeah. The problem is I wasn't any good at it. I needed to learn how to do it. Uh, from that point, it took nine years to learn how to do it right. And I wrote the equivalent of about nine novels. 
and uh, most of them weren't any good except this last one was actually it wasn't bad it, it, there was something there that God damn it, I feel bad about it. It's just, I know that if I don't do this, you're not gonna be able to see this for another few days of copyright claims, so I gotta pull this. I could work with, but still, it wasn't the one to release. I had to realize. Right, it's gonna get to a point. As <laughs> long the process, trying to get better, when I looked on that, they weren't good enough. Thing is, Getting the ability to be able to judge objectively if what you have is good enough has been a very difficult thing for me over the years. But I have been able to do it. That's why I have seven or so completed novels that aren't published because I'm able to look back on them and say, objectively, no. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just holding his book. <laughs> <laughs> It's so worth it for that payoff. <laughs> Love the echo they gave him when he said objectively as well. <laughs> he said the word. Such a beautiful time. <laughs> the three of us are just this watching him. So Patron ah. states of objectivity. Book <laughs> review when? That's really, really good. <laughs> no, I think all of us are gonna love this one. Fuck Game of Thrones! <laughs> Dan and Dan and Dan! Cock headed fucking faggot! Uh. Fucking <laughs> 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 this was, I believe this was available like right at the end of the, the last EFAP, but it just didn't make it into the rotation. Fuck Game of Thrones! Fuck season! <laughs> TLG <laughs> Defender. Fuck Dan and Dan! Why are you beating up Brian Johnson? Why wouldn't Well, because I went on a- because, uh, during the stream that I made this rant on, uh, I don't remember if it was Southpaw or the other guy I was streaming with, one of them said that um, Ryan started mocking Game of Thrones fans oh, over right. episode three. And so I went on a rant about how much I hated Ryan Johnson. And I guess that's where this comes from. <laughs> I see. I hate this show. Cock headed fucking faggot. Uh, fucking <laughs> 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 he just picks it up being the actual scene in, in the movie. It's like, uh, this it is cuts a... out at the perfect moment. He's just running off to find something. The birth of Tonald. Oh boy. <laughs> very important lore right there. The cosmic chicken. <laughs> this is great. I <laughs> like this. It's, like, it's actually perfectly slotted in, too. Yeah, that looks really good. Oh god. Probably gonna have to pause on this. Gotta be careful. Deepest means cosmic chicken. Oh, yep. As long as everyone's following. <coughs> so I wonder if you can tell <laughs> what's coming. <laughs> 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 oh, is the music in this public domain? I didn't know that. Also, Sprock Zarathustra. I, I don't know, this is from the movie, so the footage might get copyrighted. Yeah, still gotta be careful. <laughs> 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 Can you imagine this was your first episode of EFAB? <laughs> like, what the fuck are they watching? Can you imagine if Total just unironically saw this video, like, without seeing the stream? Like, someone just sent this to him and he was like, yes. And you know what's great about it? The Totaled arc starts at episode one. You have to watch all of it to get the Totaled arc. And what, what are we on now? 42? Yeah, like, you should not understand this, but...
<laughs> a lot of people in this chat do. <laughs> Someone in the chat said this is unironically my first episode of EFAP. Well, <laughs> <laughs> welcome, friend. Oh. I apologize. Oh. <laughs> Just another nine days to understand all of it. Yeah, there you go. This explains it for people who are confused. Praise be Tonal Loke and his disciple the Don, so saith the Cosmic Chicken. <laughs> like, hopefully yeah, that simple. clears it up. Very simple. Do you think the Don is Jesus in this timeline? Um yes. I don't know. I don't know if you'd sell the Don short like that. So this one. Me and Rags will get, select people in the audience will get. I'm not sure about Theo, Wolf, will not know what this is from, but you'll probably find it funny anyway. Alright. Oh, I've seen this. It's <laughs> 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 the most amazing ending to a film ever. <laughs> I like the text pops up. Uh, I've actually seen this whole movie. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we need the Don, age 35, left everything he owned to his town's local orphanage. Carol Danvers is now serving for life. <laughs> oh, recruit more pimps. <laughs> That's such a great one. Oh, I love it. This oh, one's cool. The movie's called Blood Debts, everybody. It's this is unironically how the movie ends. There, there was a, um, there was a red letter media best of the worst on it. If you want mm -hmm. to catch that, yeah, go watch that, and it'll make that even funnier. To be honest. Oh man, this one's called. Uh... Sorry, what was it called? Jack Saint is having a rage. That's what it is. Oh, more Jojo. <laughs> he said, I guess we have to read this out in case people are listening, but uh. You said this was JoJo, did you? Yeah, this is more JoJo. A motherfucking JoJo reference? <gasps> Actually, I just realized there's so much visual shit that we just went through in those images, so obviously, if you're not looking at the visuals, you would have gotten all of it anyway, so just enjoy the meme. <laughs> I can imagine him in his closet at home just being upset all day. And lagging on my end. God damn it. We're like halfway through. Nearly made it. Okay, I wanna I'm gonna quickly do a reset. Hopefully it fixes it and then try and get through the rest of them before whatever's going on doesn't happen worse. That totally makes sense. Okay. All sure. right. Well, I'll be here if you need me with my string keys and my beer. <laughs> I see this saying rip stream. Hopefully it's already back. <laughs> stream massive. So many F's in stream. Oh my. Let me refresh Is this the, page the end sure of EFAP? Potentially. Oh god. Uh, the stream's not coming back. Damn. It's back. Damn. <laughs> they said we back. We back in business. It came back, but then it died again. It's resetting. F, we got more Fs. We live. We live. Back, it's back for me. No, we live. We Article live. 13. We die, we live again. It's not living for me. It has risen. Looks like it's dead. Oh, mixed messages yeah, it's here. It's still dead for me. You're dead. I mean, you guys can hear me, right? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, still subs live stream offline. Hmm. How much I can do about that? It's still streaming. You know what I mean? Like. Ouch. What in the it's world? See, this wouldn't happen if you just lived in America. True. Don't invite me over. Country. Yes. Uh, come over to my place. 
or I mine. Would do that. I'm assuming at this point, since it's been down for this long, it's gonna be a, it's gonna split itself into two. Yay. Do, 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 do. Oh, people in the chat were saying that there's two links to my channel in the description. But there's not though. I've checked them. Yours is Rags's ends with two G W. Yours ends with N Q W. I don't know if they just saw them as the same. Hmm. And then I checked them. Unless it just didn't update ever, that could be it. Maybe. Just heard Rags belch, so we're live. Did you belch recently? Other people, I don't know. People are saying offline. Oh, I think oh, we're, no, back. we're back. I can we're see back. it. Yeah. yeah. My God. Yeah, I see we're back now. We're back. We're back. Back. Again, better than me. Back in the EFAP groove. We're back. Back. I don't know what you're talking about when you say that. Still not reassuring. My cheese is almost done, and my beer is open. Up. Echo back. Then I'll drink it, then I'll eat it, then I'll chew it, then I'll poo. Yeah, I seemingly still have like no control over watch together. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> that was the part that was the payoff. Jack being like freaking out at the idea of an objective opinion. I don't think it makes sense. Mm. <laughs> it's supposed to be you think your opinion is better than others. <laughs> it's highly accurate, even if it is laggy. Um, Those are true. All right, so these ones come in a pair, assuming it's fucking gonna work. Hoping at this point, they come in a pair. Yes, like the fruit. I came in a pair once. Spider Man: oh. Coming is a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what we're dealing with, guys. I say it's a good movie. Yeah. Everyone laughs. Are you serious? <laughs> He's okay, um apparently you've completely oversimplified the MJ argument. I don't remember doing that, but okay, Zendaya's uh, character is a completely different person from other adaptations to the point where I question why she's called MJ. Don't care. Who don't cares? care about other adaptation. I don't care about other adaptations, I don't care about the comics, I don't care about the other movies. I like that all the people who make this adaptation argument if they are confronted with the same thing in regards to The Shining, they'll all shut the fuck up. Because no one's going to shit on The Shining. There'll be one guy in chat saying, I think The Shining shit. going to be that guy. Well, Come on, that yeah, guy. There's... It's if like it, me writing a story get one guy. about a guy named Bob, who's an American patriot, but then by the end of the story, getting him to say, but my friends call me Joseph Stalin. That's a terrible analogy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, uh, <laughs> well, I was wondering where you were going with that. I don't think that's it how that makes works. sense. And I agree, that makes absolutely no sense. So at the all. reason why that's different is we would be like, why the hell would his parents have named him no. Joseph Stalin if he's an American? That's a really fucked up thing to do. While with MJ, there's no reference to anything but meta information. Not the same whatsoever. You're calling on, upon a different continuity to say it's bad. That's not even fair. Yeah, you're referring to out of universe stuff. Out of universe information is completely different than in universe stuff. And she's not Mary Jane, she's Michelle. So you can't even argue that argument that doesn't work. And uh, it's almost as if the writers don't know what they want this character to be. Uh, I mean, she seems so pretty consistent to me. Rags, you're making the exact argument TLJ Defenders made about Luke. No. How? 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 TLJ isn't a remake or a reboot it's a sequel. or an It's a sequel. That's completely yeah. false. Mm. Yeah. Uh, not the same thing, guys. Come on, people. We expect better from you. you anyway, it's, a, it's, a, it's almost as if the writers don't know what they want this character to be, as there were leaks before the movie that she was going to be Vulture's daughter. I don't... Okay, I didn't see the leaks. I don't If this character isn't an objective flaw with the film, then why name her with a name associated with a completely different person? How do those how two things follow? follow from the yeah, how, do the, how does that follow? Yeah, how... Oh, uh, how is it a flaw is... if it's named after someone is not? Kind of, maybe. She has the name it's... of someone else in a different... Oh, you do have two links to my channel. 
No, she has the initials. There's, a, there's just a second link there's under the first link. Initials of somebody else. Oh, okay. But Rags is still name. Rags's link is still there though. Hell yeah. Yeah, I know, but there's just two links for mine. Well, that just proves how much I love you. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's okay. Then. Yeah. Uh, interesting argument. Try again. Is that even an argument? <laughs> <laughs> Stop with the adaptation argument. And then, I guess there was there was a meme made in reverse to to supply. Or at least if you're going to make the adaptation arguments, be consistent about it. Ryan Styles. So this is the average argument for why Homecoming is a bad movie. It looks like an RPG, <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could, I could understand that. Um, so then, Eman gameplay wanted to make us a rendition of the, um, the not so great debate in the form of civil war very quickly. Um, oh boy! I think I know this. So scene. I'm saying she gave a good performance. Okay, oh. I'm saying that it's a Disney fanatical. <laughs> I, I rewatched this Disney fanatical bullshit. Oh, fanatical bullshit. Are, oh, fanatical I'm bullshit. That it's not stupid. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <that> I, <laughs> I, 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 Straw man. <laughs> I rewatched that debate the other day and I was just laughing my ass off the whole time. I know. Hold on, it's if he's else. Iron Man, does that mean he won the debate? All right, oh, the problem he lost the isn't fight, that though. it's an adaptation, it's that it's pandering. To who? Pandering. It's pandering. People really don't like this because of just MJ is what I'm is what I'm soaking it's up. It's the most here. commonly referenced issue with the film. Shad said it was his number one issue with the film. People really like Mary Jane being the you know the redheaded. But this isn't Mary Jane. <laughs> they, and she's barely there. She like seriously. A... The PE teacher has more lines than she does. But see, Actually, so people saying why call her MJ. What does it matter what the answer to that question is anyway? I'm confused. What, whatever the answer to that question is does not affect the storytelling in the film. Reflects on the writers, not the writing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see. What, what's the problem, though? MJ is an unlikable bitch. Okay. I don't know. I'm MJ sorry you didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it's like, I liked her. I thought she was... Uh... I, I thought she was funny. Yeah, she's I didn't fine. like her, but she was such a small part of the movie, I didn't really care. I actually kind of forgot what she did in the film. You guys should watch High Top Films arguments. Yeah, we're gonna get this. It's gonna happen. Because clearly everyone's very upset about Homecoming, so... Yeah, I, I guess. Maybe, maybe there'll be some good arguments for why the film's bad, because there's none here in this chat. <gasps> Speaking of good arguments, this video is a good video. Okay. Story in Godzilla. That's like looking for a story in porn or football. Oh god. <laughs> I can't believe this became a meme and it wasn't. <laughs> it's a different stream. <laughs> Everything that wasn't monster fights was retarded. And, Rags, <laughs> did you know that that means it's a good Godzilla film? We, we would yeah. pay for this fully fledged, like, well produced. I actually would. <laughs> I would. Um, I can and get the, and this is, like, the problem, by the way, is this wouldn't even be discussed if not for the fact that we seem to have found some weird impasse with the, a lot of people about this, because I don't really care about Godzilla. <laughs> I would actually fund this. I mean, and, and, I don't I know if this is. I didn't realize that Godzilla had an unironic fan base before this movie. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I really didn't. I didn't think people actually gave this much of a shit about it. such a stupid concept. <laughs> it's a giant lizard monster. <laughs> the big monster smash. I'm already. I can people are I can telling me about movie. like <laughs> the symbolism. It's like I don't if it's, care about the yeah, symbolism of a lizard say, movie. I'll say it anyway. I think Cloverfield is better than any of the Godzilla movies I've seen. What's the symbolism of this? <laughs> Godzilla <laughs> jumping up and down and doing jumping jacks. It's his. Tell me. It's a. It's a mating call, maybe. I don't know, appreciate it. I wouldn't though. expect much more Godzilla talk. Is this confirmation we're getting a EFAT movie? Fine. I'll do it myself. <laughs> Isle of <laughs> Peace and Prosperity, formerly the film. Wow, you did a back one. Yeah, wow. it was a back one for Rags. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. 
Amazing. Wow. Oh, very impressive. You <laughs> thought me. that the peace <laughs> would last forever. <laughs> <laughs> We <laughs> did several back versions of you. Wow, they that's did. a back yeah, version of Fergie right there. The oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that face is it. <laughs> All the same. He's even <laughs> he's even <laughs> shaded <laughs> like Everybody. he's color coded them so they look like they're in the same place. It's great. That's amazing. That's amazing. Uh, so many faces, faces, dude. Oh my goodness. ER. <laughs> and now, he's here. Oh god. Editing, man. This is like, a, <laughs> so creative and shit. I love it. Wow. Like, unironically, look at all the lighting. It's like, <laughs> man. <laughs> this is better than it has any right to be. Fuck you. Hey, don't you disrespect the light. Just He's blocked out by the glass. It's weird how much um, he's he's made it match the Muto's face as well. It's like actually pretty awesome. Like it's not just you know pasted on. Too much effort went into this. <laughs> you can never be too much effort for Goliath. He's a he's the pinnacle pillar of the EFAP lore. <laughs> it's actually the best possible face they could have ever put on there. Yeah. Perfect. His mouth opens. Ah! Oh. I have to say, his mouth closes. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> he, he changed the audio of the bark. <laughs> he got. Goliath Saga sequels officially in the works using footage from Godzilla movies. Now accepting submissions for Goliath fan art and animations to paste over iconic shots of Godzilla. Send them to at meme reposts on Twitter. There you go. We'll get, we're go, gonna get a whole we series of movies. E movie. Also accepting fan art of the EFAP crew in military gear or other Goliath battling garb, as well as EFAP foes and memes reimagined as iconic kaiju. Multiple angles of people's heads would be nice. He's going full on with this. <laughs> That's really incredible. This was this was really, really Really cool this... examples of being super fucking creative, honestly. Mm. Man, that was impressive. Big thank you Yay. to EFAP gang for continuing to have the best. I'm actually writing scripts for these ones if you give, if that gives you any idea of how much effort is going in. He's writing scripts. I can <laughs> tell. He's writing a script for a meme movie, guys. You have to help him. <laughs> I wonder if we could get that accolade officially with the most memeable podcast. Like, I don't even know what that means, but <laughs> it's good, I swear. <laughs> It'll be an odd bumper sticker, but I'll take it. Okay. Okay. I love it. Curious if there's anything in the last five seconds. Don't look like it. Now, where are we? Oh, yes. Oh, God, Thanos, is he gonna be okay? Oh, oh gee. No, oh, don't no. Please don't let her do this. People call me. Yes! We have to watch this more than once to appreciate what is being done here. So happy. In Don we trust. So, you didn't realize how good the Don was until we watched this. <laughs> yeah, so like, he's got Super Smash Brothers being like the 
obviously the vehicle for this show, but then you've got like blacked out visions of all of us. I'm guessing from left to right. Uh, we can tell who Wolf Bringy. is and, and Rags and Robot Head. Who's the one on the furthest right? Shad? Shad? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I would be left of Wolf, and then his left of me would be. Fringy. Fringy? Yeah, that would make sense. This well, was before he was Birdman. Hmm. The... He was, before he was Froggled Croak. Oh, jeez. No, oh, no. Please don't let it see Wolf and Rags hug. <laughs> <laughs> Do this. People call me. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> The Tom, Avengers music. The dog <laughs> saves Thanos from Captain Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Daddy. Yes, Daddy. Yeah. It's considered a win for Eve Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so happy. In Don We Trust. He even, he as we talk, our little icons bounce a bit. Yeah, that's honestly that awesome That is so video. good. I love it. EFAB meme Avengers Endgame alternate scene. That's what that's called. I don't know what I would do without EFAP memes in my life. <laughs> I didn't know life so before good. it. Give me a lot of pausing for this one. Spider-Man's about to come out. Spider-Man. We're still talking about Captain Marvel. As a guy, if I had superpowers and a dude came out, I me, feel pissed. I'd be like, <laughs> sexual Fuck harassment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, apparently it was Jay to the left of me. At least Beowin said that. Oh. Fuck you. We even got Kyle, <laughs> Kyle Ben. There too, Kyle Ben. <laughs> what the fuck? The drinker has made it into a meme. I think I don't know if this what is his first one or not. Yeah, actually. Look at his face. Count the What's this guy doing? <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect. Oh god, he's even using the bag of Molly's yeah. head. Oh god, the rhino. <laughs> rhino. <laughs> no. Hello, all my N-words. <laughs> Slice the dice, I sir. <laughs> Thematically suitable that we would free the rhinos. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just <laughs> firing rhino milk at him. <laughs> <laughs> like, ironically, it would take ages to attach all these faces, like, and move them all around. It's a pain in the ass, I've done it for different- what I used to make, like, fucking clips of Twitch and stuff added faces on. Remember when movies were good? <laughs> 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 oh no. Sexual harassment. <laughs> we'll whip his off. Fuck. <laughs> and with the help of the fearless leader Tonal, the EFA crew was defeated by the massives. Pretty sure it was dad old, but sure. Then suddenly they heard a familiar sound. Oh god, it's the Don! The dog will take you. <laughs> the dog will <laughs> take you all. <laughs> Who's that? Sexual harassment. <laughs> <laughs> the dog will take you all. Do you like that Brown Table will be permanently memed in, in our like content? It's just being the guy who says everything is sexual harassment. <laughs> sexual harassment. The big game. <laughs> <laughs> sexual harassment. <laughs> And the Avengers music is... <laughs> it's always the Avengers. <laughs> Why the hell are you here? <laughs> <laughs>
And so the massives died the big day, including <laughs> <laughs> She <Jay> died! <laughs> <laughs> this story is 100% the canon lore of EF 36. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jay. <laughs> you didn't make it. So, uh, someone's asking where the Don meme started. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I can't I think it started when I was on vacation. It wasn't legal, legal. No, yeah, no, yeah. It was. It was. Uh, it wasn't legal, legal. It was before that. It was the one before that, I think. Yeah, it was the one with the robot head because I wasn't there for that one. It was definitely the robot head one. That's where it started, and it was one of our fastest growing memes. <laughs> Read up on your lore, Raggs. Come <laughs> on. So no, I like. I remember. It. I don't know what number it was. <laughs> I love the Don memes. A massive, a massive wait, wait. wait <laughs> Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. So, um, <laughs> here's the thing. I fucking hate Trump. Oh, that's Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go sit next to us. Let's play Apple Duffy. Goliath's attack fell. Straighten the tits. Pineapple Duffy. <laughs> Goliath has moved. <laughs> <laughs> Get him, Cynic Snacks. Oh, he won. God. Yay! <laughs> Bone density <laughs> <laughs> grew to level six. Jesus fucking Christ! Here we go. Longman defeated a massive. <laughs> Here's the thing, I <laughs> fucking hate Trump. I agree with that. Oh, fuck's sake. I fucking hate Trump. <laughs> oh boy, there's more. Six <laughs> next <laughs> bone density grew after the battle. The entity known as Goliath broke free from the massive trainer after the encounter. People have reported sightings of his roaming legendary. However, he was just a black shape. All you gotta do is look at like the top videos on Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> I think Goliath would take care of me. I think that's what it's called. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> If ever you encounter Goliath, you must sacrifice something to him. <laughs> <laughs> First, we referred to him as the... <laughs> Belch. <laughs> <laughs> we told him not to go in the alley, but he just wouldn't listen. <laughs> the one time <laughs> down from the <laughs> <laughs> memes, dude. I like how <laughs> even that became a meme. And so, Jeez. this one had to be saved for last, because, holy shit, uh, I'm just gonna let it play. This is a thing that exists. What's Knights it? of Eve app. You guys remember? Oh god, is this another 3D one? The most relevant games that stand up today are the ones that gel with our current <laughs> gameplay trends. <laughs> Total, Total J J-Look. <laughs> IGC. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Frags, what's, what's wrong with you? <laughs> more more wish shits and stuff, that piece of shit. <laughs> I understand, brother. Slice and dice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Can't do this, not now. Oh god! <laughs> 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 
We, we need to appreciate this. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, oh my god, we need to rewind that a few seconds. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Did I play with you guys? Yeah. Damn it, I'm getting locked out. Uh, oh god. Uh, hold on, I'll, I'll rewind it a bit. We'll see. If oh it... my god. Okay. Is it playing for you? No, and assuming. <sighs> yep. 46. We. Oh, shit. Okay. Fuck's sake. Can't do this. Not now. Yeah, it's 52, working. 52. Mm hmm. Play? No. What? Uh, <laughs> Look, it's been a while. <laughs> Rags. Rags is a retard. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you seeing this, Mahler, or? Yes. Okay. Are we good to go? No. <laughs> oh my god! Look at the art on the wall. We may have to rewind it and look and see what's on the wall. You know what? Hang on. If if it's buffering me a bit, if one of you guys just pulls for yourselves, I'm gonna reset to make sure because I don't actually want to not see this perfectly. <laughs> All right. Okay. Don't know what's going on today, but I will go reset. One second. I shall rewind it to 40 seconds, and we can start from there. Hmm. In the meantime, I'm gonna go like this video. I'm back. I'll see if the stream comes back up. Got plenty of Fs. The stream okay, resumed on my end. Yeah, it's back. I see it. Playing? Yes. Is it playing for everybody? Yep. 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 All right. Oh shit! Oh, for fuck's sake! I can't do this not now. No. What? Uh... Look, it's been a while. Rags... Rags is a retard. <laughs> Are we good to go? No. <laughs> I will yip you. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Bilbo. Poor Bilbo. Just tell him what he needs to know, Bilbo. <laughs> <laughs> this out the last time we watched it, but do you think Tonald is an orphan? I don't think he was birthed. I think he congealed in a cave. Hmm. Oh, God. Really, Wolf? Wow. Look, I'm not a very responsible person. <laughs> that's, not, that's fair enough. <laughs> I think it's frongled. I I gotta be honest, I don't like green people. <laughs> Rags. <gasps> oh thank Christ. I thought you I thought you said the P word. <laughs> <laughs> So with that in mind, I'd like to bring your attention to a certain time stamp. I mentioned this part because that's oh God. what he's done. But <laughs> so what we are looking at here is the bastardized love child of YMS and Freddie Mercury in his late stage of AIDS. 
<laughs> Do you think that hair's real? Um, <laughs> no response. Are you fucking excited? I guess so. <laughs> Hello there, everyone. Statement. I am Rags. <laughs> so, um, here's the thing. I fucking hate Trump. Uh, advisement. Kill yourself. Yeah. Statement. Slice and dice, brother. Yep, yeah, wolf. Slice and dice. Fuck it. I, I'm too high. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. oh, subscribe to Who Cares Spider-Man is out. <laughs> uh, the fucking Bilbo thing, dude. These, can I just... These things exist. <laughs> this exists. Someone made this. <laughs> That's really impressive. Oh, man. The day of memes. How long do you think it must have taken him to get all those lines, put them in a coherent script, and then do all of that? A long time. I can't like, remember. I think it said, you might have said two months. It's it's like the it's like the pilot for the TV show of EFAB. <laughs> Why was I raping Bilbo? You don't know that that's you what were, was happening. You weren't raping him. Spoken but he was screaming. You, you, you well, Alexa, just because someone's screaming doesn't mean they're raped. <laughs> <laughs> and now that'll be the next episode of EFAB mm. Nights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. High quality memes, yeah. It's just that is really what, high quality. What Jesus else can you say? Christ. And that actually does it for all the memes. That's that's the entire collection. Um, but I realize that Twitter's gonna have like a million more now because I haven't <gasps> checked it yet. So I'll just grab them up to make sure that everyone sees them. In the meantime, guys, talk about something. Well, I was um. I was, uh, I was laying down, as one does, mm -hmm. uh, getting a little, getting a little horizontal, Ooh. you know, yeah, just uh, lounging, reclining, and I got kind of tired and I fell asleep. Damn. And then when I woke up, everything was different. It was later, and there was light outside. And it was time for EFAP. Uh, when you when I when I woke up, I asked you when was EFAP? And you said it was an hour, but then you said, Oh no, it's not an hour. It's well, hour. so you wouldn't need to ask me if you remembered when I'd said previously. No, would you? I was ready for it. I was ready though. You were. And that was a I was that was a high five moment that no one could take away from you. I was prepared to pair, but before. You know what you weren't prepared for? These amazing memes. <clears throat> Becoming a Nazi. Oh, yeah. So I was lying in bed, and then suddenly, I'm a Nazi. So sorry I had about Nazi that, dreams. I didn't intend to make anyone a Nazi in this stream, but apparently, I mean, pretty much everyone is. No. Rags 2019, I don't care about source material. Yeah, that's definitely what I said. That's a good, <laughs> that's a good interpretation of anything that I've said. Absolutely. That's very charitable. That's, uh, <laughs> that's interesting. Well, I believe you did say those specific words, just with other words around them at different times that didn't sound like they probably weren't those words. You know what I mean? People are saying the episode 9 question. Hasn't Theo already answered that? Theo, have you answered the episode 9 question? I don't think I've answered the episode 9 question. Would you like... <gasps> You're the answer first it. person I don't have to explain it to. <laughs> you can just answer right. it. Hmm. 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 No Kylo, Finn. no Palpatine, no. Oh, never mind. Wait, what was it about? Finn. <gasps> what is your like, reasoning you know, for the Finn? Ones. Because they have no idea what the fuck they're doing with Theo Finn. Theo doesn't trust black people. Uh, very true, also, but more importantly, they have no idea what they want Finn to be oh. and they want him to do. <laughs> oh, I thought you were just going to end it with I, they have no idea what they want. I mean, well, yeah, you know, Finns in general. <laughs> they, they want to make money. 
Yeah, the guy said uh, it did take two two months to make that meme. Oh my god. I hope really our reaction to it was what you were hoping for. <laughs> um, Alright, we have some new memes. Is everyone excited? <gasps> Let's do it. There's some of them are Nazi related. I don't know why. <laughs> Sounds pretty reasonable. Nazi are good. Nazi are good. <laughs> <laughs> it looks just, it looks just like, I'm definitely not a weird rabbit. <laughs> I look like an alien. I'm okay with this. I'm like a happy alien, I, though. I, I like that I got Hitler's comb over, too. <laughs> you got a swastika belt buckle. <laughs> Um, and then this one, I guess, was just, they were watching my Captain Marvel video, they put Plague's face on Plague. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best friend, Plague. Plague. <laughs> so Tell Johnny, this Johnny, Johnny a, save Plague. This is a part one, part two, I quite like the style. I eat pizza like a moralman. Like a normalman. Oh, normalman. You can't even read because you're too high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is 100% accurate. Wolf, why are you so high? I have to be. Why? Why do Why I look so do attractive you have to in those be pictures? So I'm not <laughs> look at that this attractive, shit. guys. <laughs> I didn't ask for this. This is bad. <laughs> <laughs> the robots. <laughs> Adam Jensen. I didn't ask to be a Nazi cyborg. <laughs> Just like the floaty dude. He, this is bad. <laughs> He's smiling as well. Android saluting around. <laughs> um, is this stuff to decipher here? Got Timmy up there after one month of e-fapping. And so, like many others before him, little Timmy was caught in the vile web of hate mongery and the verbal terrorism brought only by the toxic brood. Clearly, he was not as smart as he think he do. Bill this You think he do. <laughs> Bill Bill Basis Billi Billius The Fable of the Massive. The Fable of a Bass. <laughs> Beautiful story, really. Bring tragedy to my Were things eye? written on the arms. You see that? TLJ sucks. Massive. Mean. Weird. <laughs> Season 8 of Game of Thrones is great. Oh god. Oh so, dear. Well. Sometimes you have to face these massives head on. That's spooky. <laughs> <laughs> you got, Wallace. You got this version of it too. <laughs> Edgy. <laughs> like that in both renditions, it was ER. Yeah. Hollywood superstar The Don has secretly been financing countless children's hospitals. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these I just collected up. I mean, they were sad to Besides me. Besides having sex with men, I would say loving the sequels is the gayest thing about me. <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, these are just your standard memes that I'm okay with them. Man, nah, these are great. Star Wars fans yeah. believe that Disney saved the Star Wars. The Star Wars? The Star Wars. <laughs> you don't even need an answer. It's just like, yeah, I doubt it. Maybe it means like the like it cuts away the Star Wars trilogy or the Star Wars franchise or something. Oh my what god, what is, is this? So this is clearly oh, the cosmic is that chicken. Daddled? The cosmic Goliath. <clears throat> yeah, you got. Oh my God! This is the origin story for the universe. You got Eos face down there in the bottom left. The, oh, Major the Lee. Major yeah. Lee, a spider. What's the one other than those three? The third Dad one. I think that's Daddled holding the cosmic egg that Tonal is in, and Goliath is down at the bottom. The, yeah, oh, the, the third spider. one has the third one has milk under it on milk. this picture. That must be Jay. Because yeah, that's why you get to look at women. That's why the female symbol. <clears throat> Low Major Lee. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, people are asking in the chat where the cosmic chicken even come from. That's the cosmic chicken always was. Yeah. It, like I think it, it means more of like where the did stream. the meme come from? It's a it's a secret stream. They have to ask each other as a fan base to find the secret stream. <laughs> that stream was so amazing. At least until you super cut it. Yes, which is I was actually happening. Islanders just, that stream. It was so great. It could be a billion years. Get it. Good evening, Uncle Bilbo. You, wait, ah, do you see the evening, do you see Frodo. the book names? Uh, it's too small. Hold on, I gotta open the link. Uh, I like that. Uh, Interstellar Marines iridescent game of 
ring game of the game of what? the rings game, game of the rings and i don't know what the read a response says. series was <laughs> ah good evening uh frodo what are you working on something i dreamt about last night it's an epic tale full of analysis spiders and milk that shall be even greater than my journey years ago <laughs> what's it called i call it efac what do you think frodo Goodbye, Bill. <laughs> Bin. <laughs> <laughs> a... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus. Poor Bilbo. He's just having a horrible week. <laughs> well, depending on, you know, feel about all of that, I guess. It I guess. does force you to play. You're a Nazi now. <laughs> play! <laughs> you little dude with a little Nazi flag. Well, this I flying cross. the Iron Cross. I guess it does force you to play. Play! <laughs> <laughs> that is the last one of the memes. All right, and we're at three and a half well, hours, and I'm guessing you have to go now, Wolf. Is that the case? Yeah, I gotta uh, jump out of here. I might be back before we're done, though. So, Perhaps. I guess now Shadman has to come in here. I don't have any issue with not being on the same stream as Shadman. So, oh. he's Racist. the Shadman. Um. People were unironically asking in the chat what my problem with Shadman is, and it's like, is that a, a serious question or what is your what is your problem yeah, Wolf? with Jesus. Shadman? Oh. Well, I mean, there was that time that he drew porn of Keemstar's daughter, so that's, <laughs> that's terrible. Yeah, um, that well, is like the worst yeah. thing you could ever do. No, you could kill Jews. That's less significant. You guys, uh, you guys weigh, weigh things up on a ladder in an interesting way. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Well, anyone, a anyone, anyway, I may or may not be back. So, Who ever, Cheerio, ever, I mean, like, yes. ever, ever, oh. ever. Well, oh, no. Well, all right. Do you not fear, Bea, when the chances of me being back are more than likely than unlikely? More, more than likely than than likely, unlikely. Yes. There. The, so you're saying there's. If we were gambling peoples, we should gamble that you will return at some and later time. Yes. Excellent. What if you arrive at an earlier date? Uh, that happens then. Wolf, you better be back. I'm making a meme. Okay. I, will. okay. <laughs> I feel bad for Bayo when the past like 20 memes he's made have been gone for. He's your bad man. Yeah. He, he okay. needs an excuse to draw a big fat Wolf creature. <laughs> hey, can't do it for Rags. Rags eats too healthily. That's right. I'm gonna have a salad after this. the The most unhealthy thing I had today is probably gonna be that a uh, little little cheese stringy cheese thing. How do you feel about that well, wolf? Yeah, well, I, I feel like I should leave. So bye. Oh, just okay. That was pretty well, racist. There he goes. So the original, well, I guess, he just leaves. setup for this stream was gonna be doing the whole just right thing. But since we're at three and a half hours already, and I haven't even started Super Chats, I figure that we should probably postpone it <laughs> to another oh, man. stream. Which I don't even get to ramble about philosophy. Well, I mean, I was going to say, we'll, we'll, have to, we'll have to have you back, because that was the whole reason you were here. I just never thought that we would last <laughs> two and a half hours on fucking extra credits and tisms. Five minute video. Uh, nor did I expect an hour on, six minute on video. memes. That, that is true. Because... There's a good chance this will take me another two hours, right? Yeah. And, and, and at that point, um, yeah, it's just going to get a bit ridiculously dankulous. Uh, We're donkles. See, and, uh, and look, and, ever, and everyone's, it. I know, everyone's going to be like, why can't you do another seven to nine hour stream? It's like, guys. Yeah, just do another seven to nine hour stream, just like that. Just do it. Yep. The okay. stuff takes energy. Energons. And, you know how hard it is to sit in this chair? Sure, and move bad, my lips bad, you hack for all. Yeah. <laughs> This EFAB Wait, cannot this. be this short. It's not going to be over for another... It's going to be at least <laughs> five hours long. I'm just going to continue. All right, here we go. Um, so the first Wait, one... Now? The Super Chats. The first oh, one okay. says... Oh, we're doing Super Chats? Oh, yeah, we'll be here a while. The first one says, At the Atlanta United game, so I'll watch this later. Like, All right. I hope your team won. I don't know... America? Yes. I agree. I hope America wins. Like we did in the Revolutionary <laughs> War. Like we did against the Nazis. Which are bad, by the way. Press S to sue all of the false for advertising. That's actually I fair. Always gotta, gotta clarify. Don't worry, Just Right will have his tisms. I mean, his time. 
Also, speaking of tisms, James Moore said, Mola, what does tism mean? Asking for my best friend. Can you believe that James Moore is asking what tism means? I think know. that. Oh, by the way, James Moore sent me money uh, for the Switch, so I have to find myself a good Switch bundle or Switch, and then I then I will have a Switch. Um, so everyone, James Moore got me a Switch. That means he's done it. That's what he's achieved all three members, uh, original hosts of EFAP, have been Switchified. Yeah, he's nice. cray cray. Very kind man, James. Yeah. You will have to, like I said, the plan is to possibly set up doing some form of a thing with that in the future, maybe sort of like Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, and something else, maybe an all-in-one EFAP gaming, is no limit. Um, Pen15, I think that was supposed to be a different thing, but I read it as it is. Pen Well, what you do 15. is you write Pen15 on your hand to show that you have been inducted into the Pen15 club. I disagree with that. The video is only five minutes, so I'm guessing four hours. No! Took us two and a half, I believe. And then we got sidetracked with like just just the best meme. Oh yeah, we're, at this point, we're like, slacking definitely. You could make a compilation mm -hmm. of all the best memes and show somebody. Imagine it. Just imagine that experience. Getting like highlights of all of the memes put together of EFAP and showing someone who has no idea, no context. Huh? That'll be a trip. Of it's sorts. The most absurd like first experience <clears throat> for a person. I don't think they believe you, would they? They'd be like, "This is mm. nonsense." Like you made this up. This isn't real. Um, hello Theo, who was on EFAP. That's that's hey. a, that's a doubled up accolade now. Who was twice on EFAP? Nice. That's my one claim to fame. Two now, <laughs> I guess. Woot finally got on here on time. Lol. Also, Wolf, what's your thoughts on the animated Lord of the Rings and Hobbit movies? Also, hi Rags. Hi. I'm gonna, hello. I'm gonna keep a hold of that in case Wolf gets back in time. Uh, finally caught EFAP, knew you'd cover this. I mean, it was a nightmare, uh, but hopefully it was everything everybody was hoping for. That's, that's And more. It. We did it. We, did. we talked about, we talked about Nazi. We did. We normalized them. And hey, look at that. Technically, it was very political. <gasps> oh, yeah. God, no. We did politics on EFAP. The... No, we're not supposed to do that. Uh, who would win in a fight, <laughs> Ray or Captain Marvel? <clears throat> I think we covered this before. I don't know. I think it would <clears throat> cause some sort of a weird singularity event. Um, number. Who's plot armor? Yeah. Armor? What's the so the question is interesting because uh, their base like attributes. It's Captain Marvel. However, Ray's plot armor is really strong, and so like even if you're a beetle against like a black hole, if your plot all, plot armor is strong enough, the beetle will beat the black hole. Is is kind of what I'm getting at? I was gonna ask like, what's the title <clears throat> of the film? Oh, that's another thing. Yeah, if it's a Captain Marvel Ray's film, then. Ray's plot armor is so strong that they will just cut out the scene of the fight and then it will be said that Ray was the winner. But if it's what if the movie's name is Captain Marvel 2? Ray would be the antagonist. Would she be defeated then? That is the question. Captain Marvel 2. Mm -hmm. Electric Boogaloo. Electric Raygaloo. New Zio, new Ultraman, new EFAP, yep, it's gamer time. I don't know what the other two things are, but fantastic. It's oh. always gamer time. I'm sure that's gamer stuff. Hello there, love I'm EFAP. Up. Also, hi, Rags. Hello, hi. <laughs> How much for a gallon of your bath water? We charge literally millions. We've not sold one yet, but I think we'll get I there. Take... Yeah, well, uh, hmm. E you'll find you'll... your audience e eventually. bath water. Fap water. Uh, hi, Theo. Hi. <laughs> Mola, <laughs> how do you get your videos out so people actually see them when you first started? I'm asking on my secondary channel, so I'm not shilling. That's perfectly reasonable. Um, so, the first one that got found was the TLJ one, and then the rest of them started <gasps> to flow into recommended, I guess. So, I had the Soma series and the DS series and the uh, Outlast one, the Resident Evil one. All of them had, like, okay views, you know, like a hundred or so. And then once the TLJ one kicked off, the rest of them started to pick up views from people just checking out my old content, I guess. So, in my case, it was a matter of covering something that was new, but you can do pretty well covering something that's old as well. It, uh, it, no, it, you have to hmm. get rid of everything that you used to do and simply accept the fact that you don't like women in movies. That too. And then exploit that for personal gain. 
and then you'll be unstoppable. There's a lot of ways to get your videos noticed. It's very complicated. I got lucky in that uh, people really wanted to see someone rip into TLJ without... Like, I didn't realize that was the case. I, I was just really pissed at the film. Then it's like, oh, lots of people are pissed at the film. Um, what do you guys think of Little Mermaid being black for the remake? I think it's very interesting that they chose that Ariel should be played by... Uh, this actor, uh, this actress in particular, because as we all know, black people are famous for their ability to swim well. Mm hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I, uh, I actually, I don't, I don't really care. I don't usually care myself. Um, but it's, it's one of those things where I roll my eyes like, of course they. I think, yeah. I think my, my position would just be remind me of the rule again. How, how does this work? When is it bad? When is it good? Because it always seems to me that, like, they if it's still, a black character who's yeah. played by a white person, it's bad. But if it's a white person that's then played by a black person, then, uh, you know. And uh, I remember seeing a tweet that got relatively popular saying something like, I love how these people are trying to complain that like they're race swapping it when, like, uh, why am I forgetting? Mermaids don't even exist. Or, like, mermaids aren't real, so you can't really say that. And I was just thinking to myself, like, the obvious kind comparison, the which would be, so, you know, Blade... Half men, half vampires don't really exist. So, can Blade be white? Mm. Would that be okay? I don't think How so. How do you even make that argument? That's the Space Wizards argument again. Tom yeah, Mermaid. basically. Yeah, They're not it, real. It but matter. a lot of people felt it was a very strong argument. It's like, yeah, you, you're attached to a race of a creature that's not even real. It's like, I don't know. That, okay. Interesting. I think a lot of people just want it to be close to the really good version. Honest, I mean, I th honestly, I just wish they'd stop remaking these. I mean, this just is a funny remaster thing. remaster the originals and re-release them. Yeah, talking to Fringy like about it, it was like, I'm whatever. stuck all the way back at the making it. Like, that's my mm. issue. Uh, he's more pizza yeah, now than it. man. Twisted and cheesy. I'm guessing that's referencing good old Mr. Twisted and cheesy. Mr. Cynic Snacks. Who will be guesting Christy. soon enough eventually? We gotta get him back on, then we gotta get Vox's back on. And then we can do the big and crossover. Donald Trump. We will have, even though I hear some people fucking hate Trump, we are going to have Donald Trump. Yeah, could you imagine if we, he actually guessed it? And he just casually talked about like a movie he liked and how inaccurate the criticism was in a video, and then left. He didn't accept any questions. We treated it like he was just a normal dude. It would, it would be the most bizarre event. Like People would just be like, what the fuck, guys? And he's like, oh, yeah, he's, just a, he's a friend of ours. He's all right. I just, I, oh. this is Donald, you know? I fucking love Trump. <laughs> Quinton would be so upset with you. Some of Extra Credit's <laughs> other stuff is pretty good, a damn shame. That's what I've heard. Yeah, some of them are. That's why I've stayed away from the channel, because I've heard it's such a mixed bag. I don't know what videos to click to not want to immediately click away and which ones are actually good. Uh, I put a pineapple on pizza with light ranch, and it's delicious, but can we deal with the real crime of peanut butter on hot dogs? Peanut? That's a thing people do? I feel like peanut they made that up just to scare dogs? us. I think that's made up. I don't think that's actually a thing. I don't believe you. That sounds too ridiculous to be true. I mean, yes, there are a lot of crazy people out there. I accept that. But that no crazy? No one's that crazy. That no crazy? one's that crazy. No one is, no one is that level of insane. I don't believe it. I won't, I won't believe it until you get a hot dog, slather it with peanut butter, and then eat it, and then send me the footage of you eating it. Until that point, I don't, I don't believe you. Oh, we got another... Apparently we've got an emergency meme here. It's 14 oh, seconds. Oof. Video. Oh, emergency meme? I think it's a In homecoming one again. emergency, break glass and grab meme. Come on, let me hear you say it. Uh, let me join the watch the together. Oh. I gotta scroll up past all the memes in Fat Wolf. Fuck, where is it? Post the post the link in the I in the Discord. I'll do that for you now. You're the host. I Maybe. gotta have you do this kind of stuff. All, all right. right, here we go. Come on, let me hear you say this one. Come on. What the fuck? No. <laughs> no, the other thing. Come on, I know it's just dangling up a few times. Let me hear this one. Pretty sure, because it was 40% of the audience voted that Homecoming was bad, or at least not good. That's crazy. Homecoming is underrated. WRONG! <laughs> <laughs> it is, Jeez. though. They hate it. 
If you if underrated. if forty percent take it as an average of a selection, it gets bad. Like holy shit, Homecoming's having a rough time considering how good it is. And that's where I draw my conclusion that it is underrated. Yeah. Yeah. But we shall see that ho hopefully in the future we will have this dreaded Homecoming debate that I'm possibly trying to set up in the background. <laughs> Shalom, Kamradan. I'm a play Skyrim and use IRL magic. Careful, might normalize wizards, and we can't have that. Might normalize Nords too. Invite Haphazard Helmet to the com the Homecoming stream. I do not know who that is. I'm afraid. Who Haphazard? Haphazard Helmet. I do not know who that is either. I've never heard of that guy. Not a clue. Not to. I don't want to gen misgender a helmet. Mm-hmm. You guys get me through the long days at college, and I thank you for it. Mola, you must understand the torment of English college education. Oh yes. Oh yes. And yeah, I used to listen to podcasts all the time when I was going to uni, so... Um, I listen to I'm, podcasts all the time while attending uni. I would turn up to uni, listening to a podcast, and then go, actually I want to go home, and continue to listen to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I went there to listen to podcasts. Shad man for EFAP. I mean, maybe Let's one say day. no. Maybe, maybe one day. Anything's possible. Build. I mean, hey. I don't want to speak for you, but... Hey guys, a friend I of think... mine made a terrible video. How do I critique it without sounding malicious? Tell him that uh, we can still be friends. <laughs> so you open we need, it. We need to talk about your terrible video. <laughs> I'm, I'm only telling you this because if, if you put it out there, then people who aren't your friend are going to shit all over it. Make I'm a doing this video because response. I love you. Make a video response, then send it to them, then block them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Block block your best friend like Pro Jared blocks his ex wife. <laughs> find out if they in some way like whatever their criticisms are, find out if there's an underlying like hatred of women in there. It's very likely that that's the case. And if so, you, you almost go, guaranteed. You get rid of them. Get rid of them. They're normalizing. They hate they hate yeah. either women or minorities. Or the gays, mm. you know? Mm. They hate massives. You're obliged to alert the authorities of nonconformist activity. Wolf, why are you against Shadman? Is he not a fellow Nazi? Well, he did kind of answer that, so... Makes sense. Yeah. Even though that was from way earlier. Rags, watched earlier content. Could you define anti-consumer? Anti-consumer? Yeah, something that is against the best interest of consumers. And his follow-up is, you don't seem to define it, so it comes across as, I don't like it, therefore it's anti-consumer. Really? I Generally, something that's anti-consumer... I've, I've never had anyone ask me to define it. I thought it was fairly self-explanatory. It is If it is against the consumer and their best interests or their freedom of choice... Yeah, like, some typically aspect, something totally exploitative. Consumer. Yeah, mm. generally something like that. Um, it's not appeasement, it's avoidance. Not sure... Oh. Uh, do you remember that endless uh, call in the server the other day, Mola, about this video? You were lurking in it. Oh, yes. Yes. It's a reference to that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I've, I, so we've heard that it's pandering and it's avoiding? Oh, no, no. That, it's not about uh, homecoming or anything. Oh, okay. Because I don't think it is. Uh, stop normalizing uh. the dawn. I don't know. I think we should normalize. The no, Don. the Don should be normalized. Yeah, I feel not that normalized. He should be very normal. I, would, I think I the more think... people who know about the Don, the better. Yeah. How does he even reach a position of not normalized anyway? He's pretty much just the most agreeable creature and that ever graced this existence. Uh, James Porton now has been with extra credit since the very beginning. He's always been the writer. That's never changed. That's very strange, considering the other clips we saw. Hmm. Hey, two people you guys should invite, Matt McMuscles and or Matt Fact McMuscles. Fiend. Fact Fiend Matt and McMuscles. Matt McMuscles, yeah. Oh, that sounds handsome. Go with Angriest Pat instead of Matt McMuscles. I have no idea who either of them are. But yes. <clears throat> oh, Wolf, I have never seen or read Lord of the Rings, but last week I bought both the books and the movies, but I'm unsure if I should watch the movies first or read the books first. What do I do? All right, I will hang on to that question. The good old Wolftism. Oh, is that for Wolf? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, you need to check out the meme repository's 20-second long response to extra credits. We actually did. It was wonderful. Hello, yeah, big massives. Good. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello there. Hi. How are you? 
can't Nazi. believe I used to watch extra credits. Thanks for ripping them apart for me. Um, honestly, I think everybody has at this point. Um, and we, we were kind of late to it, but we, we, I think we had fun as well. And it's just terrible. And they... I mean, they didn't... I thought... Uh, I think I told you rags already, but like the second I was made aware of this video, which was two hours after it was uploaded, I downloaded it immediately because I was like, this is never Oh, I downloaded up. it too. Once I learned about it, I was like, there's no way they're keeping this up. And they kept but it I up. I think they actually are. I mean, it's at 9% last time I checked. That is... Like I said, I'd have to check, but that has got to be one of the most disliked videos of that kind with that amount of viewership. Like, that's insanely... Uh, like, the Looks ratio, like I mean. While we were streaming, the quartering made a video. Uh, 20,000 subs gone, and they're still doubling down. So God, that's the dislike event horizon. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, just because 20,000 people say you're wrong doesn't necessarily mean you're wrong, but holy fuck. <laughs> like, you mean, hmm. All I have to say about Spider-Man to this stream is don't invoke Captain Marvel's name, Nick Fury. That'll... Also, it seems that John Donald Trump's approval record just broke a, uh, a record high. So, I don't know, it's not relevant, but... We were talking about the Donald earlier. The, not to be confused with the Don. Hmm. This is a different. This is the Donald. Not don't confuse the Don and the Donald. But Donald Trump, uh, if you want to come on the stream, just so we could stick it to Quentin, I would be so happy. I would be fucking honored. And I honestly think that he would have the pull to get Tonald on here as well. Oh man, do you think if we got Trump, do you think we could get Tonald after that? I think so. Make him have a debate on something. We could possibly even <laughs> get the dawn. I'm just saying. Just saying. Well, what what if we found the act? Oh. Oh. Wolf, that was fucking quick. Yeah. Wolf, you piece so, of shit. That was quick. Fun story. Yeah. So. Story time. Originally, I was Are supposed you gay? to. Maybe. But that's not the story. The story is that I was supposed to help my dad move this cement block to do a thing. Turns out he didn't need help at all. And it was only like he, he was able to use one hand to lift it. So it's like, oh, well, how long if he okay. could lift it with one hand? How long did they how long do you think it was going to take? Like a cinder well, block? I, well, I I didn't know what it looked like. He just said he didn't help moving it. And then I went over and it turned out he didn't need help moving it. And you, he's a, I, my dad needs help moving a block. So I might not be back for an hour. Yeah. Wait, where, where was he in proximity to you? A different house? No, he was outside. What the hell took so long if he didn't need your help? Yeah. Well, I had to find him first because I was all over and I was like... Find him? How big is well, he house? <laughs> It's outside. <laughs> He wasn't here. You, when he, where was he? You said he was outside. He was working outside, but he wasn't yeah, here he just, when I was how, looking for how him. How big is your outside? Did you live in a it's mansion house? Okay, okay, hold on. Do you so, live on a wildlife there. preserve? No. That would make sense, okay, actually. Okay, so the Are idea, you gay? right? A gay wildlife Why preserve? You coming back to this question. No. I didn't tell so, you're the one who's talking about coming on back, so I'm not I'm just talking anyway. What did I say that? <laughs> Tell us your Tell your story, like, Wolf. What, 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 are you, what are you waiting for? Tell us no, about your weak, your 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 weak ass cinder block story. Uh, well, it's not much of a story. He said he needed help with a you block. Said you, 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 wait, you literally the story. said he was a story. Uh, you started this off by saying, "Okay, bit of a." Story. We had one question when you'd started your story, and apparently the story's over. Well. Yeah, it's it's that simple. I had to just find him and be like, "Do you still need help with the cinder, with the ah, cement block, whatever?" And he was like, "No, it was actually a lot lighter than I thought." It Look, was this story is full of plot holes. It goes nowhere. The payoff is terrible, and like, I don't even believe the characters. Development? What did your father learn? Yeah, that, uh, to complete. Did his you go on arc? a hero's journey? Uh, sure. A gardener's journey, a landscape architectural a adventure. Journey. Does the story normalize cement? It does normalize cement. What about Nazis? That's not good. It's kind of that a shame too. because you were you were this close to some exercise. This close. Damn. I ran today. I went for a four mile run. A four mile run. Yeah. How long did it take you? About fifty minutes. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> so Wolf, there have been questions. Two two questions for you since you left. Uh huh. 
What are your thoughts on the animated Lord of the Rings and Hobbit movies? Over people rate them way higher than they really deserve to be. They have not aged well. Fuck you. <laughs> they haven't. <laughs> They're I'm amazing. Sorry. They're amazing. I mean, there's a certain charm to them. I'm not going to deny that. Absolutely. They're gorgeous. They're not nearly as well. I'd say that's debatable, but so I'd, I'd say that they're not nearly as good as people make them out to be, but I have watched them. Hobbit's actually got quite a few inaccuracies from the book, too. Did you know there's actually a, a animated version of The Hobbit that's like so far apart from The Hobbit book and that it actually makes Peter Jackson's Hobbit trilogy look accurate by comparison? Yeah. Well, I was going to say, by the way, you didn't know this because you're, you're really stupid, but uh, Lord of the Rings is actually a terrible adaptation. It didn't even have Tom Bombadil in it. Yeah, I'm aware of that. They completely the removed the a character. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. I, I, I know you guys are aware, Homecoming is a particularly bad adaptation because oh, it has oh, a yeah, character from the original content in the <laughs> initials of the name and it changes who you expect them yeah. to be. Lord of the Rings is they much worse. Initials. They literally yeah. remove an entire character. She's gone. I yeah. mean, he's gone. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. uh, Lord of the Rings, worst adaptation ever? It's pretty terrible. It's pretty really terrible. up there. Really up there. I mean, top three disappointments. At least The Shining time. tried, you know? The Shining didn't try. <laughs> the Shining movie is nothing like the book. Oh, so it's terrible. They got a false equivalency in chat. Though. Chat, I am completely joking. It's okay. We gotta be careful with the homecoming stuff. Everyone's very sensitive about it. We gotta. Be, we're tr we're just being consistent with how we treat every other movie. <laughs> I feel like I just poked a bear in chat. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, oh yeah. Well, well, Finn wasn't anything like he is in the comics. Is Finn in comics? <laughs> oh, I'm sure. In the book. <laughs> Finn isn't anything like he's in the book. Imagine reading the novelization of The Last Jedi. Rags, can you please say on stream, extra credits, more like extra chromosomes. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh -huh. <laughs> Is that a personal oh. attack or something? Yes. God damn it. Quite directly. So, Wolf, your follow-up question. You ready for this? Uh -huh. Wolf, I have never seen or read Lord of the Rings, but last week I bought both the books and the movies, but I am unsure if I should watch the movies first or read all the books first. What do I do first? Hmm. Well, first off, he doesn't clarify if he bought the extended editions, does he? If it's not the extended editions, then sell those ones and get the extended editions. Uh, I don't know. I, I guess either or. Doesn't yeah, really matter. I mean, the thing is, the I'd... books will take you a lot longer. Yeah, but I think that you can like you can blaze through the three movies. I mean, it'll take you an entire day, but you can do it. Whereas the yeah, books, you ain't reading those three books in a day. Maybe, yeah. If, I mean, you no, know, I don't know. Marathon, you can do. It. Well, I mean, no, altogether, no, the three no. books are pretty long. I will be surprised if they can finish that in an entire day. But I mean, I would say you know maybe watch the movies first since it's less of a time investment, and then yeah. read books and appreciate like the the more depth and all that. Mm. Yeah, because the the movies are so good. If the movies were bad, we would you know probably say the opposite. But the movies are really good, and there's a lot that they just couldn't fit in. And they're both they're both different. They're just different. Have in... you read the books, Rex? I have. Yeah, I have. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I can read Wolf. Oh. Nonsense. I can read the words. Okay. I can I can decipher the man speak. Also, um, with my dog in the eyes. chat says Moller is saying other people are sensitive sensitive about it. Lol. I didn't say I wasn't sensitive about it. I'm just we just <laughs> we just watched it a couple times. They were and then we paid attention to it and like man, this is objectively a really solid film. The writing the books great. have a worse ending. Changed my mind. The ending is very close. I mean, uh, it did cut out the scouring of the Shire, but otherwise the ending's pretty close. The uh, movies. Yeah. Why? I mean, yeah, I go ahead and watch the movies first. And then after Only that... Only the extended editions, yeah. not the theatrical cut. Don't yes. Oh, yeah, extended yes. editions. Definitive. Oh, yes. Extended innovative. It's hard for me as a Bristolian to give money to a Welshman, and you didn't even read out my chat in the last episode. Damn you, sir. I, <gasps> what was your chat? I don't know. I, I don't typically miss any. I'm sorry, farewell, Thunderchild. That is my bad if I did such a thing. You need. We gotta find it. I could. We gotta find <clears throat> it and read it. 
to be able to. I wonder if it's controversial that it was removed. This does actually happen, and I tend to just skip over them. If, <gasps> if, I mean, if, if I can't read them, there's no point, right? Like, I mean, they literally rubbed out, like it says message retracted or something. Rubbed out. Yeah, I rubbed said it. Out that super I fat. said it. Rub it out. Um. Oh, it looks like he said, Great to catch you live. I found you guys a few weeks back and I'm going through the back catalog. I look forward to hearing you read this around Christmas. I could have sworn I read that. But maybe not. And now I have. I don't remember it. Well, you, you didn't you get Alzheimer's like recently? I can't remember. <laughs> Someone in chat, Bola, explain massive. <laughs> <laughs> That's some deep lore. Oh, MCU Spider Man is trash, Mola. You have the big double gay for liking it. Damn. Jeez. I know, right? It's a rough life to live, but it's a life we live nonetheless. Sure does. Uh, they hated Mola because he told them the truth. <laughs> <laughs> you know the worst part? I remember when Extra Credits used to be a decent channel that provided useful tips for starting game developers and obscure historic facts. Now it's a propaganda piece. I mean, there's a good chance they might still make good videos. I haven't heard from people saying that they're only bad now, but that was definitely not a good one. Like, I don't know what's going on with their channel right now. Maybe they still make good stuff am among the bad stuff. Yeah, quit kissing, Brosif. I hate it when I suddenly support gassing Jews. Yeah, Call of Duty, man. Call of Duty. Naturalizing it. It's Nathanielizing it. You got me like that too, so don't feel alone in that. Ultimately, it's a it's a thing mu must all must go through. Uh, mm. Maybe extra credits thinks this is the 40k universe and the Iron Cross is a symbol of chaos to be suppressed by the Inquisition. It's possible. You know, they may not have been a mistake. They may not have made any mistakes, and it's all explainable. I mean, I saw the arguments with them, and it got to the point where it's like, whether or not you think you can, like, slip out of what you said, you cannot deny that the video itself must have been poorly, like, presented, considering the response from the majority of people. <gasps> At the very least, it could have been presented um, better, whether or not the ideas are sound. Majority of people? Mm. You mean bigots? Dun, dun, dun. Bam. Da, 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 Extra da, da, credits. Da, da. If it's based on World War II, it has to be 100% accurate. Listening to this while I play Azure Lane, an anime mobile game where World War II ships are personified as Animu wa waifus, and Bismarck is one of my flagships. You know, I would, be perfectly, <laughs> I would be perfectly fine with Battlefield V if it was like all just anime girls in World War II. I'd been like, okay, I'll buy this. I think... I was actually, um, I was playing Left 4 Dead. I don't, I, for, I forget if you were there, Mahler, but I was playing Left 4 Dead with Sargon, and I think V was there. And he was, this kind of came up. He was talking about how, with a lot of SJW stuff, it's one of those all or nothing kinds of ideas where if there's one little thing that's out of place or one thing that's wrong, then the opposite idea is completely and totally in the green, cleared for takeoff. Mm. Everything is allowed. There's no real nuance to it. There's no, you know, there's no levels. There's no spectrum. It's all up. Well, this gun wasn't really at that battle. So fuck it. You can have black female Nazis. No issues. Oh, yeah. It just immediately jumps to like the crazy degree. Um, no the one. scale becomes a slippery slope. No one would make the argument about The Shining because Stephen King is a fucking hack wolf. How is he a hack? He wrote The Shining. I don't know, maybe they think The Shining's terrible? <laughs> I'm not sure yeah. what that means exactly. Uh, here's the thing, I fucking hate Stark. I fucking hate Stark. No. I think the guy who wrote this video got in trouble for harassing a female employee so much that she quit. I have heard that. Uh, I don't know who? anything about it specifically though. The, the, is it something Port, Port Now? James Port Now, I think it was? There's a lot of threads talking about like creepy things going on in the background, the weird things. Um, and extra credits? Yeah, the guy, I guess, who wrote that video, as far as I know. Wait, feminist-leaning people are huge sex pests? What? I don't know. How would I know that? What? I don't oh. know! Uh, does trouble in Terrorist Town make you want to fly planes into buildings? 
possibly. You have yeah, to ask. Oh man, I haven't played TTT in so long. We've got to play TTT. Oh, what? What are you going to do, huh? You're going to beat up Wolf? What? Exactly. That's what? what I thought. No. I thought. If Why I remember me? correctly, there was about 7 million Nazis for 17 million Wehrmacht soldiers, and this guy in the pick has a Wehrmacht uniform. It's not like it was the, an SS one. Distinction without a difference. They're all evil. All evil. The British factions in Battlefield 5 wear American uniforms. Funny thing is the Americans won't be added into the fall of 2019. What? There's Wait, there's no Americans in... Battlefield 5? Are you shitting me? Um, well, I guess it depends on what they're, which stories they're telling, but then again, I, from what I know, the stories they told are pretty inaccurate anyway. Yeah, I've heard about some of the I mean, I, I could understand like a, like a World War II game that focused on like the more obscure parts of the war without like the traditional Americans or um, the Pacific. Uh, I mean, you, you guys are getting added at the end of 2019 anyway. You'll be fine. There's a, there's a lot of really cool small stories uh, in World War Two that don't really get much focus. <laughs> like, I mean, I, I heard that they were not... like, oh, I, I mean, I heard that they were like really inaccurate, or at least a couple of them were. I don't know about all of them. I didn't oh, buy I, the game. I meant uh, in real life. As a... oh yeah, um, I'd like to see like a, a almost Russian and German centric version of it. It'd be kind of neat. Hate mongering verbal terrorist of the toxic brood in chat. After I ever said the Americans aren't in it, he said, We helped. Come on. Yeah, we helped. <laughs> you guys did help, in oh. fairness. Yeah. My older brother is convinced that Prometheus, Alien Covenant, and Dracula Untold are objectively good movies. Send help, please. <laughs> I don't Dracula think there's any to... helping. You just need to, like, abandon. I mean, has. Yeah, I don't know, man. Have him watch us watch Dracula Untold. See what he says. <laughs> Have him watch that, yeah. Uh, actually, chat, Mad Jack never killed anyone with a longer long bow. That's a common misconception. Your brother is objectively stupid. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Did he kill anyone with a short bow? No. Well, knew it. I was just about to tweet at you angrily demanding my free FAP content when I logged on and found this streaming. We must have ESPN. Prefab? Prefab. So many people forget that the first country the Nazis invaded was their own, from an undead, underrated... from an underrated Marvel movie. Hmm? Is that a quote from First Avenger? So many people forget the first country the Nazis invaded was their own. This is from a Marvel know. movie, I don't know if which one. Oh, maybe, I don't know. It's a nice, it's a nice quote, though. The only time I watched it was, like, two years ago. Another beautiful Sunday graces us massives with another wonderful episode of EFAB. I'm curious if chat will know where that quote is from. Oh, apparently it is. Wait. <laughs> so you had yes and yep. So I was like, oh, it is from Fist of Edge. That's what said Captain Marvel. I was like, that's not from Captain Marvel, is it? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Say that name. They didn't invade their own country. So I, I think the, the point of the statement is that the Nazis essentially like infected all of Germany once they had controlling power, right? So they, the idea being they invaded almost themselves to become it was it, i suppose it was the idea to support the idea that not all nazis hashtag not all nazis they had a lot of popular support i know a smash bros bro smash bros bowser main that enjoys kidnapping princesses and picking fights with plumbers so maybe they're onto something well oh, maybe unfortunately nintendo did normalize that and we have to mm. point that out that is kind of disgusting nintendo can do better <sighs> i've always felt that yeah like, do you think it's kind of cultural appropriation as well? The whole Italian mustache thing? Like, what's that about? Can we, mm. can we sort that out? Can we solve that today, guys? I'd like to solve that. Wait, how, yeah, how Hitler just ruined fix that it. Well, I don't know. I don't really care how. Just, just solve it. Do whatever you've got to do. Oh. I'm not hearing suggestions. At all costs. Um. I don't know. Is there a way to. I don't know, man. I don't, I keep myself well groomed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, that's about it then. Uh, listen, white kids, there were no open air child prostitution. Oh, they have to spell the tism words specially. 
brothels in Berlin at all. There were no financial sanctions, no racism against Germans. Nazis did bad things for no reason, just evil. Yes. I mean, yeah, that is a point that is, you know, worthy of discussion. The fact that these, they didn't just, people didn't just one day elect Hitler into power. Hmm. Yeah, people went Germany was kind of left line fucked line. up after World War One, and he kind of <laughs> brought them back. Ooh. And then People weren't happy about bullshit. Versailles and the Weimar. Yeah. They didn't like because, like, didn't it all put almost all of the blame on Germany? And so they had to fix yeah. pretty much everything. Yeah, I remember Germany learning about that. Fucked in terms of like reparations and such like. Yeah, and they, uh, they had like everybody had like piles of money because it was worth nothing. Fear of the Communist Party was going around at that time as well, and the Nazis are—they represent like they looked very orderly and such like, and they weren't communists, and they were the other popular people. So, uh, I guess we'll go with the Nazi. Um. Yeah, there's this comment, Nintendo are the best, Bowser is a single father that supports eight kids. Yeah, I didn't think about that, actually. Hitler was yeah, the but... post credit scene of World War I. <laughs> 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 <-credit scene. laughs> it's actually kind the, of funny. This is a newer Super Chat, so it was funny, from short of throwback voice, and uh, does someone need to make a formal explanation to the 40% of EFAP audience to politely explain how stupid their position about NJ is? Because I will. You might have to. I mean, go for... Do you, you guys... I mean, I've seen a lot of, like, fighting back and forth about Homecoming in chat. I'm getting disheartened to the idea that we probably won't solve Homecoming in a, in a stream debate, but we will try, damn it. Why, MJ? <laughs> Why is that the hill to die on? It's, I, it'll be interesting if that's going to be the main focus, but we'll find out whenever that eventually happens. They actually had the audacity to respond with, we love losing all of the bigoted subscribers. The tweet is still up. Yes, and it was wonderful. It was doubled down as well. It's just the kind of thing you desperately want to see from people that you used to respect. Um, by that, I'm obviously referring to the fans because I barely knew extra credits at that point. Uh, why are the allies and... Wait, why are there allies and British soldier? Oh, do you mean on their, like... The wheel, they had the option for allies, and then British soldier was there too. Yeah, they I, did. Yeah. Because <laughs> they don't count as people. That's fair. Not, they That's didn't fair. mean allies like that. Well, those allies almost got their asses kicked, so, you know, we had to figure out their issue for them. They were worthless allies. Dude, the back and forth in chat right now, it's like every other sentence yeah. is either for or against homecoming. Man, homecoming is so good. <laughs> uh, Jack Thompson and Anita Sarkeesian approve of this. I mean, yes, honestly, I'm not even sure what they would think about this video. It seems to be that everyone hates this video. Yeah, maybe this will be the one thing that gamers and Jack Thompson agree on. Uh, you're talking about Captain Marvel when all of a sudden Spider-Man is coming out. You didn't ask for this, you didn't choose this, but it's there. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you still talking about Captain Marvel? <laughs> I'm going to go and join the Third Street Saints and go from Street Gang to President of the United States to Emperor of the Universe. Nice. <laughs> Look at these two back-to-back -back chat messages. Homecoming is good. Down with homecoming. <laughs> um. Oh, even Blessed Eat Southpaw fast. said homecoming MJ's hilarious. He's trying to defend her as well. I, I genuinely so cool. remember like almost nothing about her even being in the movie, so... I, mean, I thought she, she had was a funny. couple of decent jokes, but for the most part, she was just kind of there. She was, well, this is the thing. Intrusive. My two responses are, she's barely in the movie, and of what she was in the movie, I think that some of those jokes were really strong, but I guess that's... Oh, they were really funny as a subjective? I, I just remember not really liking her. Otherwise... Do you I hate mean, women? Is that it? Do you hate yeah, women? Yeah, you hate women. Wow. Well, obviously. That's why I resorted to Bilbo. Well, resorted to Bilbo. Resorted. <laughs> you don't just settle for Bilbo, understand? In case of Bilbo break glass. Oh my god, it's an actual <laughs> civil war in the chat. Homecoming good, bad, it's terrible, it's pandering, it's terror as a reference, it's great, she's hilarious, fuck you, blah, it's like chairs getting thrown and stuff. I mean, I'll, I'll say this about <laughs> the, the... Chairs with emojis. <laughs> I'll say this about the MJ thing. Like, I totally understand the, the forced inclusion blackwashing thing, right? I think, on principle, that's stupid and we shouldn't ever do that. But it doesn't necessarily mean that just because it happened 
that therefore the product is bad because the same thing happened with uh, the Shawshank Redemption in the book. Red was a white guy in the movie. He was played by Morgan Freeman, but the movie is really good. And Morgan Freeman knocked it out of the park in that movie. So on principle, don't do it, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be bad. Just means we it shan't doesn't inherently that. make it better or worse. Yeah, it just means that the the principle is like you shouldn't do it, you know. Yeah, we we went yeah, over that on the well, Eric Jackson so I, I one. Completely empathize because I mean I I've complained about plenty of things from an adaptation standpoint too. I mean, well, this is the thing though. We've already said that like the adaptation part isn't the conversation we're really concerned with. Yeah, I know. I mean, I, I'm on your side. I liked Homecoming, but you know, I I empathize with the chat when they say that you know they don't like the um the movie because of that because i hate the expanse because of what it does to the books and i love those books i also have a love-hate relationship with the shining because i will never argue it's a bad movie it's a great movie but it's also a horrible adaptation that is a giant insult to the book and then this hill house yeah although i haven't read hill house yet oh well plenty though it's just funny because i've seen the haunting which just has Liam Neeson in it that one's much closer to the book, and it's just funny because I I remember the storyline, and it's just nothing like Hill House at all. And uh, yeah, the synopsis of the book, I was just like, this: how is this considered? How could this possibly be considered an adaptation? And the funny thing is, they're reselling her book with the front cover having art from the show, and it's like this is almost false advertising. <laughs> you know, there's nothing like it. It's a completely different story. We'd be like, well, at least it's a horror story and a haunted house, blah blah blah. I, was like, I guess. Um, so I could totally understand the disrespect that because remember we we looked into negative reviews of Hill House and there's a lot of disgruntled Hill House fans if you know what I mean uh, who were just like this show has nothing to do with the book that we below considered loved and it's like yeah that's fair um, I would totally understand that because uh, I mean fuck a lot of what I hated about later on in Game of Thrones was that they were dropping things that I desperately wanted to see from the books but then they also managed to just write terribly as well so yay. You know, and that's the thing. We just try and draw the line um, mm. between them. Anyway, I want a 100% chance of playing for the Nazis. I mean, you could just choose them, you know? Go yeah. for it. So if we equate this... So if we equate this to the movies, does this make Christoph Waltz an expert Jew-hunting Nazi? Not only is that true, it also desensitized us to it, and we kind of are going to become him. I think maybe, probably yes, not, definitely. Objectively. We're all secretly fascists. Stay toxic, my N broods. Beautiful. Yeah, boy. But Molly, you know the Empire did nothing wrong. Well, it's really, you know, from a certain perspective, like, ask Padme, for example, what would she have to say about this if she were alive? Exactly. I don't know how big how big of an issue was slavery when the empire was. Mm, it's true. Guess that depends on what extended universe book you want to reference. In which case, I don't care. Has there ever been a case where a white actor played a black character? I'm pretty sure there's cases of that. I, just... I can't think of one off the top of my head, but there might be one. Draw on a blank. It'd probably be an older reference. Like I'm talking like. Probably like 80s, 90s. Uh, there, there was a Genghis Khan movie where uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. My white guy. I can't think of... Oh, oh and you had uh, Prince John of Persia Wayne. as well. Prince John, of Persia. It might have been John Wayne, yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal in Prince of Persia. Surely that counts as a form of... Uh, unless... I don't know what is... I'm assuming he's just um, Caucasian. Tropic Thunder doesn't count. So I remember that... liking the Prince of Persia movie. Oh, I mean, I'm not talking well, about whether or not it's good or anything, I'm just saying... Oh, hold on, chat. Tropic Thunder does not count as a white actor playing a black... Uh, well, it technically <laughs> is a white actor playing a black character. We would, we would, I guess we were talking about like, adapting a source, right? That's what your yeah, point was, yeah. Because, I mean, in the movie, in, in Tropic Thunder, Robert Downey Jr.'s character playing the black guy... Is Australian. That's the joke. That, yeah, and he's, the joke is that he's like playing a black guy and the movie is self-aware of it whereas mj being black in the new um, spider-man is lost airbender does that count yeah yeah yes uh yeah i guess it depends 
Last Airbender. Thanks so for reminding me of Last Airbender. I'm so yeah. Airbender. Sorry, chat, for reminding everybody about that movie. I didn't mean to do that. I just <laughs> we just wanted to make sure we got through it. Okay. Uh, American World War II vets and Nazis would unironically team up epic predator handshake meme style to beat the shit out of woke goblinos if they were alive today. <laughs> woke goblinos. <laughs> oh yeah, um, <laughs> Doctor Strange, there was an Asian character who was replaced with a white woman. <gasps> oh yeah, that's true. I remember people getting so upset about that. There's one. Uh, Band of Brothers made me a Nazi. Yeah, it does that. Uh, Desensitizes mm. it. While resensitizing and it it mid sensitizes it. I was just playing my favorite fantasy MMO when all of a sudden, boom! I was a troll. I didn't ask for this, but I'm very happy because I'm seven feet tall and have a kick-ass accent, and I have a pet dinosaur. Not so bad. What, wait, oh, you have an accent? Are trolls known for their accents? I guess they were in that game. I suppose so. Uh, be a good goy and definitely don't watch Ryan Dawson's videos. You evil racisms. Uh, I don't know who Ryan Dawson is. I don't know either. Is it a European banana? Possibly. Definitely don't read Hellstorm by Thomas Goodrich. Are these like evil things? I'm, ass I'm assuming they're evil, evil medias. Sorry for missing the last stream. YouTube's notification system goggles dick. Is yeah, it because I didn't smash the Foo King like button and turn off that pesky ad block? I don't know. But there are some like. Why weren't you here last time, man? We missed you. Um, well, they did gas juice, juice in wooden door gas chambers. The, how they get around these super chat rules? All you did, YouTube, is you make everybody spell things differently. And then you're going to block all of those. I like playing Grand Theft Auto, and I've never been tempted to commit heists, steal cars, or sell drugs. Yeah, Chats. but you've been desensitized to it. You would do it now, where you wouldn't have done it before. I guarantee it, hundred percent. You'd do it just to be edgy, yeah. or something. Yes. Yeah. How do you become a screenwriter? Do you need a degree? Is there a guild or something? Nope. You could do it tomorrow if you wanted to. You could write a screenplay. I'm pretty sure all the things that you need to become a screenwriter is to write a screenplay, from what I understand. But <gasps> maybe there's a definition that involves a degree in that specific thing. I I don't know for sure. Uh, I guess that's a point. Jesus has been whitewashed. Oh, because he's supposed to be black or whatever? Uh, he's supposed to be like sort of Middle Eastern looking, I believe. Uh, every time you Check kill someone as a Nazi, Cortana from Halo 3 appears on your face. I would, on would my you face? That? Cortana appears on my face? Apparently. I got the wait, like she sits on my face. I, they didn't specify that, but I suppose maybe yeah, maybe if you that's can choose. The case, there are going to be a lot of dead Nazis. Oh no no. Um. Just played RDR two and didn't make me want to explode a horse with a train. All these weird people sending in messages about how they played games that had blatant desensitizational mechanics in them. And then saying they I, didn't commit to those same like actions. They're just, the they're just lying. So many liars, yeah. yeah. It's just disappointing. They're all bigots. Everyone's lying. All of them. All bigots. The, Each and every one. The Jewish NKVD and allies were heroes and definitely didn't... Oh my. I'm not sure if I can read that. These are controversial things. Basically, the atrocities argument uh, is very possible and applies to possibly every faction. In the PT, uh -oh. the CIS were the good guys. CIS greater than the Empire. Um, yeah, they were trying to resist the Republic, but they were a puppet sort of terrorist organization from Palpatine, so... And most of them were robots. I don't know what feelings they felt. The Iron Cross was created in 1813. Well, yeah, by the Nazis. That is true. Imagine being such a yeah. worthless, lazy, meat sack, knicker... Oh my. I mean, it's spelt like knickers, so it's okay. People wear yeah, knickers. Yeah, one knicker makes knickers. Uh, you have to content yourself by calling your existence a meaningful political statement. Uh, everything's political, so that makes complete sense. They have a video on mental illness in video games presentation. I'm sure that's equally as exciting. 
<laughs> more let's get it bad. Baby! Everything is political because of intersectionalism. Perhaps it is. If they were wearing a swastika, they're part of the Waffen SS. Um, they don't need, you don't need to give them a label like that, you just have to say evil. Evil is the word you were looking evil. for. Evil! Mm. Now uh, this guy better hate Charles Lindbergh. Anyone know who that I is? I agree, whoever that may be. Who that? Oh, I just hate people named Charles. Oh. Nerotic uh, donated a pizza symbol. I guess that was for Wolf. <gasps> Wolf! <laughs> Wolf, unmute yourself. No, he's eating pizza. Really? I don't know. We can only assume that. I thought that's what that meant. I didn't realize that meant mute. I thought it just meant he's eating pizza. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what that the symbol is. For, yeah. for us. You see, that... um. <laughs> <laughs> you see, to us, we think that that's a microphone, but really, that's a pizza slicer. And then the and line so the, through it is yeah, the... It's, the line through it means he's done. He has sliced his pizza, and yep. he is now proceeding to eat That is the, the motion in which he would slice. That's yeah, why that's it's like a, in front of his mouth. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, yeah, it kind of perfectly lines up with his PFP, so... Yeah, it's a, it's a pizza slicer. Look up the Battle of Castel Itar. Itar. Um, one of the things I did see in one of the comments was like a, a listing of like all of the worst things that happened on different factions, sides, uh, war atrocities and stuff. And it is kind of like, I wonder how extra credits feel about that. And I honestly think they would probably be like, well, the Nazis did more evil stuff, so. As long as you say the most evil people are the most evil people, that's as far as you need to go. Let's just ignore everything that happened on the Eastern Front. Makes the argument more convenient, I suppose. No, because being communist is okay. Communism, good. Communism. Hi. Commies did, communists did nothing wrong. Uh, are you going to upload your Metroid Prime stream? That is in Watto's Junkyard. In the Discord. Uh, if you want to see me playing Metroid for like an hour or so. I can't remember how long I played that for, but... Uh, that was fun, Before yes. Before he died. Yes. I put down agreements. I know that reference. <gasps> SJWs obsess over racisms. Suddenly, racism is everywhere. SPLC and ADL partner with YouTube to monitor racisms. Overnight videos critical of Israel crimes disappear. My almonds are activating. Yeah, um, and I was disappointed. That, I mean, the, the Flat Earth video is going down, man. It's got to be the saddest day on YouTube when you don't get to see the Flat Earth theories anymore. Sad day. Mm. Sad day. They don't even state what the danger of normalizing is. At most, they say that you might start believing in Nazis, which EC already stated is not their point. So what is the point of the video? Um, so it's like they didn't think this through and they're trying to justify it with an edited comment at the end. Going from not believing that the Nazis are right and the Nazis are right, the, 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 between those two positions, <clears throat> they're saying that it can push you further toward that second position, but not to it. Further not towards it. Yeah. Just to edge That's they all they close. were they saying. To edgy. Pushes you away from knee jerk, immediate violent disgust at iconography, and that is a bad thing. Yes. Uh, Rags is correct. You can get into serious trouble for expensing political options while in uniform. Yeah, I heard of a story maybe a couple of years ago where some dude went up on some political rally and uh, he was in his full military uniform and he got in a shitload of trouble. Damn. Yeah, and that's something they're very clear about. Even when I was in ROTC, they were very clear. This, uh, you don't wear this out and about uh, when you're like anything political that you're doing, any sort of rally or anything like that, you cannot wear this. Because you're acting essentially as a representative of the armed forces to whatever degree. So, yeah, yeah the, the military's got to be impartial to that kind of shit. You can't make a statement that way. Basically, yeah. We, we have learned. I mean, what was one of the first things that George Washington did was when he was elected president was he resigned his uh, commission as general because he firmly believed and set a precedent that, you know, being a general or that the army should remain you know, apolitical, essentially. That it should carry out, you know, the orders of the state, that it should do all this stuff, but it, it in and of itself should not be a political body. Yeah, that, there's a pretty slippery slope if uh, the military is for one side over another. Oh, yes. Very bad. We see this all the time in parts of the world, uh, Africa and North Korea and stuff like that. The military is a party, you know, basically, in and of itself. 
military rule. Very bad. Don't do it. Uh, this guy sounds like a cross between Cry More, Matt Jarbo, and Movie Bob. Some of the worst YouTube has to offer in a single homunculus. Um, yes. Uh, it definitely. Because I say this, we say this a lot. We, whenever we cover a video that's really bad, we're like, this is like the worst video ever. But it ranks pretty, pretty high up there on the list of bad, doesn't it? Yeah, this actually is, unironically, one of the, um, really is one of the worst videos that we've ever had to see. The dislikes speak for themselves. It would be interesting if we could get, like, every video we've covered into a straw poll and see what people would vote to be the worst video. I mean, hmm. it would take a really long time, because we cover an average of two per EF Apple, so it's probably about a hundred, maybe. But, um... I think we could probably narrow that down. Actually, some are let's just say, like, yeah, just, just... Ten. Mention in chat. Like a top ten? In chat. Just say, say what what ones you thought were the worst. Plot holes don't matter. That was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. I was expecting that one. I think that people might be choosing that one though because it's it's like that's OG EFAP right there. That's the one that really that's got us. That's the beginning. EFAP origins. Plot holes don't matter. Jack, Jack Saint. Saint. Yeah. That's a that's a pretty bad one, yeah. Mm. Same with Eric Quinton yeah, and TRO's video. Bad. Movie Jack Saint's ball. really annoying because he doesn't even understand his own position. Oh, legal, legal, yeah. Oh, we've covered so many bad videos. <laughs> it's it's kind of hard to. I guess you're right. We could probably try and make like a a list of about ten of them. Like a yeah, try to get a top ten going. Tonal will always be the best videos, though. Mm. Oh yeah, if anyone voted for Tonal being the worst, I'd be like, no, no, not allowed. You see, guys, we simply slow brains can't fathom the high IQ of the smooth brains at extra credits. Their tisms have evolved. One day we shall reach them. Do you guys like Nerdwriter's channel? I like some of his videos, I dislike a lot of his videos, and I kind of blame him for ruining video essays. He helped a lot of people realize how easy it is to just look as if you have some clue as to what you're talking about when you do the, the special editing and the fragile voice. Fucking. Slowly, but meaningfully. And maybe that was the lesson all along. And then the music plays, and then there's some kind of filter on the, th on the movie to make it look really special. Words and, pop up on screen randomly. And that shit is like the cancer of YouTube. It's part of what got me inspired to make videos. So thank you, um, nerd writer, I guess. But yeah, I'm not a huge fan. And um, I don't know, do you guys know nerd writer? Nah, not really. Not really. I like a few of his videos. I like a few of his videos too. Uh, yes, yeah, Mola, we can definitely. I've only all. seen a few of his videos, so. Uh, not just the soldiers, but the janitors and the lampshade builders and the soap makers too. Yeah, they're all evil. Not the soap makers. Just, they make Nazis clean. I like to believe that Anakin said that. Killed the women, the children, the soap makers too. It's like, oh, the no. soap makers. Can I not drive Porsche? Don't touch anything German related, Jesus. What? It's Porsche. Um, Don't how would German I know how to pronounce things deny. correctly? I'm from Britain. <gasps> I say Craig. Isn't that screwed up, Wolf? Isn't that, isn't that dumb? Craig? Yeah. Yeah, it's Craig. The name? What did you say? <laughs> like the name? Mm hmm. Oh, we always call it Craig here. Yeah, I know. We were talking about it earlier with Pringy. He was upset to find out about it. You that you it say it, Craig? So we say it correctly and you guys fuck it up. Uh, anyway, I'll just move on. I don't There's know. There's an Rags. I in that name. No, it's invisible. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Rags. Played card and just picked up Mein Kampf. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Listen, just because there's a letter there doesn't mean you pronounce it. That's true. It is true. Yeah. Remember, the being subtle is subtle. But, um, you know, Craig, there's no A in that word. Yeah, there is. <laughs> before, the, before the I. No, that would be a Craig, if that's what you're doing. You're doing Craig. No, because we have Craigs. C-R-A-G. Yeah. Yeah. And you're saying Craig. We have Craig. People it's different Craig. from Craig, which we have. You're saying... there's, no, there's no O in salt. Yeah. But, but well, it's really was. an A. It's really an A. Then we'd say it's salt. Not to be confused with assault, 
right? S A L T assault, but assault, which has A U, is assault. English is a add, good language. You add you add three letters to salt, just to add an uh to the front, and you add an uh to the front, but it's not a U H. It's an A S, and then you slip in another U later near the back. What the fuck's happening? I don't know. If you take four letters away from Q, it's still it's still Q. I don't understand. And then comes the million dollar question, Rags. What if I told you my name was Craig? And then you said, hey, Craig. And I was like, no, 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 Craig. Craig? Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd, I'd be like, oh, like K-R-A-Y. <laughs> what, what, I just don't understand. I, it's, it's weird. Isn't it why interesting? Why is Spider-Man, like, separated? Hmm? Why is, it, why is there a space between Spider and Man? Doesn't make sense. Where? Is there? Ooh, where, why? Yeah. Well, how come how come Spider Man is two words, but Gentleman is one word? Well, because asking the serious questions that relates all the way back to Nazi Germany again. So I don't really think we should cover it again. We kind of went over it with the with the extra credits video. And how come there's no egg in eggplant? And there's no pine in pineapples. They're used for penises regularly. Well, they they kind of got pines on them. But you can you can pine for apples, but that's not pineapples. Can you bob for apples in the pine woods? Well, how come how come writers write but thinkers don't fing? <laughs> what? <laughs> English is a good language, huh? Yeah, this you is... can make amends, but you can't make one amend. Why do we use the same word for read and read? But you can amend something. You can't amend it, but, but you, you can't make a You can't amend, amend something. Why yes. is water wet? First off, it's not. But <laughs> secondly, teachers taught, but preachers don't prot. Damn. What? I'm saying. It's kind of weird. Look, if a vegetarian eats vegetables, I don't want to know what a humanitarian eats. Okay. <laughs> Humegetables. <laughs> Humegetable. Humegetable. Hey, look, this is EFAP42. We've covered a couple humegetables <laughs> on EFAP. We might have created a new thing, humegetable. <laughs> I don't know if I want to see the art that might produce. Jay is a humegetable. Um, this is from Sir Ruid of House Roundhead. Rags, I will be in Memphis, TN, on July 14th to 16th. Do you live close to there? Come hang out with me in your dog costume if you want to remain anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> I do live close to Memphis, yeah. Hmm. All right, then. I bet these guys think that the American Civil War was about slavery and nothing else. The lack of nuance is disturbing. Well, see, that's probably a fascinating subject to go over all hey, of the nuances hey. of the Civil War, but... You know, Mahler, fuck Google. history. How come... You fill in a form by filling it out. Fill in by filling out. Yeah. But when an alarm turns on, we call it an alarm going off. You know that you're a philosopher? Mahler, yes. how come we have noses that run, but feet that smell? Your nose can smell. You could have a smelly and your nose. Feet can run. Feet can That's run. the thing. <laughs> and your feet can it's run. The same thing, technically. So if, you there's no real difference between a foot and a nose. nose, then. Yeah, you can like cut off your nose, put it on your foot, and put your foot on your face, and it will. <laughs> okay, you'll, then you'll be a <laughs> you put it on your foot. Does it make you run? Faster. Eventually, become a huge vegetable at that point. <laughs> How come boxing rings are square? It's the squared circle. <gasps> oh my god! Hey, Mola, Shrek Two. Am I right? That was from Creamy Sheev. There's lots Shrek to decipher there. Shrek Two is the there. best movie ever made. So. No, is he right? I think he's right. Is there any is there any counter argument to that? Shrek two. No. Shrek one. No, I don't think that's no. Shrek three. No, no, no. If Jesus no, can walk talk, on water, 
<laughs> Jesus can walk on water, can he swim on land? Yes. I knew it. The problem is the woke ideology. If representation matters for peoples, then who's represented on screen impacts you, hence Nazis. So dumb. I think we'll ever get people saying they want to be represented and they're Nazis. And that all peoples should. Including cannibals yes. and, like, crazy hillbillies that live off human vegetables. But you don't, you don't get a representation if you're wrong. the original land shark. <laughs> Guilt by association. We need to open the borders, bring in a slave class of immigrants, destroy families to push women in the workforce. Why? Are you trying to drive down wages and get rid of the population that will resist you? No, it's because Nazis are bad. Alright. Mola, I'm glad the Dawn saved you from the legal eagle troll and others. Wolf, you can hang out with Rags and I in Memphis in your wolf costume if you want to remain anonymous. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. Thank you for saying other people and then ending with I in that order. Hmm. Mola, come Instead to the US. Of, you know, me and Rags. No, it's, it is Rags and I. Thank you. He's probably really cool to hang out with. I'm sure of it. Uh, every soldier in the American army is personally responsible for Guantanamo Bay's violations of human rights, according to this logics. Only if they wear the American flag on their outfit in some way, shape, or form, and they are an extended arm of the American political system. Which they are, because they're in the army or something. Pretty much. So, shit out of luck, I guess. Hey, that's a Nazi. They're bad. You can't play the baddies. That's a bad. Thanks, Dad. I joined Ragus server on Discord. I guess I'm a gay fairy now. Thanks, extra credits. Damn. <gasps> Yay! Question, how can, how come you can tell people that they have a slim chance and you could tell people they got a fat chance and that means the same thing? Because one mm. is hyperbolic. Like you sarcastic. know what I hate more than anything is when people say, take it with a giant grain of salt. <laughs> <laughs> like that's completely contradictory to the entire <laughs> point of take it with a grain of salt. This big old chunk of salt. Like, yeah, Take it with a boulder of like, salt. Oh my god, a boulder <laughs> of salt, yeah. Take I gotta go get some of boulders like, of salt. Oh, great. I watched an Definitely extra credits not. vid once. Guess I'm an autist now. I didn't ask for this. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Is there a faction that has never done something wrong? Yes, Israel has done no wrong. We love Israel yes, and Zionism. We love Israel. Israel has done nothing uh, wrong. It's I'll actually me. I knew Theo's faction hadn't done anything. The yeah. faction of Theonites. You can't spell faction without fact, which means that uh, liars can't be a faction. Nice. Yeah. What about true. the Japanese that are forced to play as the Americans? A bomb anyone? That's actually quite a good point. The uh, America was right. Even though, I don't <laughs> Can you know. imagine extra credits saying that? <laughs> Be like, well, I mean, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> okay. The projected, the projected casualties of an actual land invasion of Japan were like insanely high. Yeah. And so there was actually, it was actually better to nuke two towns, nuke two cities. The expenditure of human life would be smaller by dropping two nukes on cities than it would by a. A, a classic style land invasion of Japan. Japanese didn't do the whole giving up thing. Until they did. Yeah. Yeah, that was after the two bombs. <laughs> after that, they were like, oh, okay. Maybe like, not. uh. Happy late 4th of July from a treasonous colonist down with King George. Damn you! Cash you. He was Meh. to take you to victory. He was, he was to be your leader. You guys are How a does massive. Taste? Ha, you wouldn't know. I mean, we can't get a lot of shit in our day. Yeah, and then you lost all of it. Who? who what makes you think you're going to hang on to America forever? Hey, you America. can tell people. You can go up to someone and say you are shit, and you could also say you ain't shit. But they're both insults. Hmm. But you tell mm. people like you are the shit. That's a compliment. I guess a shit isn't special, but the shit. There's only one of those. Yeah, you are the shit. That's you. Like you are the shit. You're hot shit. That's a compliment. Yeah. But then if saying someone... you are shit 
And and you ain't shit. Those are insults. And calling someone like a wet shit is a bad thing, but a hot shit is also a, wet a, shit. Kind of a good thing. <laughs> like you God. are you are the fart. <laughs> you Can you are. imagine going up to someone being like, "You're a wet shit"? It's like, oh, it's a yeah. well. That's an insult yeah. from uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, Blackfish says he's he's had wet shits more like. I don't know. He liked wet shits more than Walder Frey. No one likes well, wet Walder shits. Well, Walder Frey has standards. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are a massive inspiration to many. Thank you. No problemo. Though I have to be wondering uh, what position your life is in if we're insp inspiring to it. With those memes, like, mm. it makes you wonder what, 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 what is happening and where, where is life going when that is the case. But we consider okay. it an overall All positive. Right. All right. How come you can? How come you can have multiple? Uh, like, if there's more than one man, that's men, right? Mm -hmm. So, what happens if I go to my kitchen to go grab some pen? It doesn't work because the plural of, the plural of pan is not pen, but the plural of man is men. Another one for the books. Really makes you think, huh? It really, it really does. Especially if you're pansexual stream. and you need to get yourself off with the pen. Pansexual. Um, pen how come? Sexual. How come? Okay, you have more than one tooth is teeth, but if I have more than one booth, that's not a beef. It's not a. It's not a beef. We have Bayo in here. Uh. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> we have we have brother and brethren, but we don't have mother and metherin. <laughs> <laughs> or sister and setherin. We have two memes. First one. Oh boy, this is another one of those open link ones. I like my links. I I like my links open. So there you are, enjoying like Quake Cass. 3, and all of a sudden, you're a strog. I want to play Quake 2 now. I love Quake. And then Beowin's beautiful masterpiece of hate mongery. You're sitting there drawing memes, and then suddenly, <laughs> you're a Nazi. <laughs> Still fucking eating a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and Rag says like eight tits. <laughs> Look at all my tits. I saw the tits. Look at Wolf's face. It's like, mm. oh, I hear you. <laughs> and his little, his little <laughs> jacket just don't fit. <laughs> Fucking Baywin's got the little Hitler mustache too. Yep. See. And see, guys. Oh god, he's got an iron cross. You're normalizing it. Stop, Stop normalizing him. it. It's kind of fucked up. Stop normalizing Nazi fat pizza eaters. Uh, I watched an EFAP video once. Guess I'm a dog fucking sodomite now. I didn't ask for this. Oh my. <gasps> the irony of the left calling everyone the hate Nazis is that they were the socialists. Nazi is short for National Socialist German Workers' Party. Dun dun dun. Dun, dun, dun. I asked a woman to smile once. Guess I'm a predator. Yep. Makes sense. Probably a Nazi too. As a history buff, this video makes me want to die. Yeah. That, I How great is it? I think that was their intended effect. They wanted to get rid of anybody who knew anything about history so that they could go forward easier without having to worry. I think that makes sense what as if, a motive. Like, all right. What if instead of saying "Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned," you said "Sorry, Daddy, I have been naughty." <laughs> Oh god. Um, no. That's not the same. No. I'm not gonna it say it's the same though. Not the same it's context. It's the not same the same with context. different words. I can see his point. I think it's try it. Just try it. See what happens. Alright. Let's let's say someone comes up to you and says, Would you like to visit my cottage in the forest? You're like, Yeah, that sounds great. But if someone says you want to come to my cabin in the woods, all of a sudden it's super creepy. <laughs> I disagree with that. It's not creepy at all. I think that's quite natural. Two men love each other. I mean, when you go to a place in the woods, you know, 
Uh, Morgenthau Def didn't draw up plans to castrate all German men to destroy their race. Eisenhower definitely didn't put Italians and Germans from North and South America into internment camps to starve them. I wouldn't know about any of that, but I know bad things happened. I'm an hour late, but it's okay. A predator doesn't predate. Ooh. I'm an hour late, yeah. but it's okay because in the wise words of Bran the Broken, I am exactly where I'm supposed to be. Much love to you lads <laughs> and champ. Aww. Extra Credits once defended Six Days in Fallujah, a game about modern conflict from people making this exact shitty argument. Nice consistency. Yeah, it didn't look good, the old stuff. EFAP, stop victim blaming purchases of the game. Oh, well, I don't know. What? When you, <laughs> you buy the game, it just expects certain things to happen. Related to it. I play Chaos in Warhammer 40k. Fuck, I'm a heretic. It's like never-ending yeah. memory. Whatever you do, you are is B. Mm. Total work. Are you ready? Uh, why would you demonize someone this hard? Because it gives you a pretext to create a new founding myth for society and control everything. I mean, man, it's a little spooky in terms of how they were not picking up what they were doing. Uh, would Valkyria Chronicles be desensitized enough for them if any of you know what that is? Do any of you know what that is? I've heard of it, but I'm not familiar with Vaguely it. Vaguely know what it is. <laughs> Someone said, I saw rags porn. I'm now a furry. I didn't ask for it, but I accept it. Oh. Sound natural You're to welcome. me. It doesn't seem like anything was forced anywhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mola, isn't this episode 43? No, actually. Nerdrotic was number 40. And then we had a double episode with Critical Dronka. One and two. And then, uh, no, sorry. 40, 41. <laughs> no, 39 was Nerdrotic, sorry. Then 40 and 41 were Drinker. This, it makes sense, I believe. Um, but I'll make sure the numbers are right when they get re-uploaded, for sure. Uh, once upon a time, these same core arguments were used to justify censoring games because they normalize Satan. Same thing. Yeah, and they were totally right back then, so they're right now. Is Rags becoming a German Shepherd when he plays World War II shooters? Rags, is this true? Hmm... I don't know, there's some about them, they're just so handsome, you know? Normalizing Nazis is bad. Normalizing commies is good. Well, I mean, fucking, according to them, pretty much normalizing anyone else is fine. Any, any other faction is fine. As long as it's not Nazis or terrorists. Right, which... <laughs> but the one is like, so who are the terrorists? They're like, here's our list of unapproved peoples. And you're like, right. EFAP yeah, equals... The terrorists. EFAP equals biblical study. I I, th I think we've got enough to fill a Bible's worth now, right? I'm working on the EFAP Bible. There you go. Thoughts on having Dr. Shame, Dr. Shayam on for an episode? Who dat? Yeah. Who dat? I don't know, but he's a doctor. Okay, yeah, we'll have a doctor on. Uh, yeah, and I need a doctor to explain to me how come there's 923 words that break the I before E rule, but only 44 words that actually follow it. Hmm. Getting desensitized to terrible ideas is part of growing up, otherwise our thinking patterns remain childish at best and become cultish at worst. Ooh, Nazi. <laughs> Since YouTube doesn't let me pick 150 directly, the other 50 come after this one. Same time as last time, Mauler, three-way split between you, Rags, and Wolf. I shall <gasps> take care of it, sir. Money. Da -da 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 -da. Money, money. That I get to put toward my broken car. You know, you'd have more money to spend to fix your broken car if you spent less money on pizza. Me? For everyone's sake, they forgot just right. They didn't forget. Mola just said he was going to bait and switch us. It will happen. It's just ah. that this, they didn't... I mean, this is the thing. I'm, I don't know. I think I'm halfway through Super Chats. We didn't like, expect to spend three hours in a five-minute video. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know what the record is for EFAP, but that's probably pretty close. Um, Theo, episode 9, an adoption question. Well, we did the first one, so... Theo, adoption. What about it? Is That was the question. It's evil, oh, right? Uh, yeah. There you go, chat. Well, there we have it. <laughs> this whole video is an example of the heretical text's mindset. If you read slash interact slash study a thing deemed as bad, that thing will then possess you and you will support it simply for having interacted with said thing. I mean, funnily enough, they use that against uh, 
Captain Marvel, right? They're like, they've been captured, she's been exposed to their tisms. She's evil now. And you're like, oh. They were, she was trying to warn us, guys. Captain Marvel was trying to warn us. Didn't listen. Just didn't listen. You guys are wrong. Obviously, COD is the best role-playing role -playing game around. If you're not embracing the ideology and motivations of the multiplayer side you're on, you're playing the game wrong. Patrick Willems. Oh. I mean, it just said Patrick, but I'm going to add Willems. It makes sense to me. Oh, no. Elliot, quick, dial 911-40786 for long-distance calls. I'm sorry. I was... I don't... Ignore that. Carry on. Um, yeah, so, uh, the Iron Cross has nothing to do with Nazis. Oh, uh, we, yeah, that was covered in... It, sure it was invented in 1813 by the Nazis. Hmm. And that was a, once it was popularized in 2022-6 by Nazis. After it was crafted by the first Nazi caveman in 0678219888. found a carving of a, swast of a swastika in a cave wall somewhere from thousands of years ago. Mm-hmm. Ah, it runs deep. If you see a Nazi uniform, you need to vomit on the spot. But if you see photos of kids twerking for naked sodomites at pride parades, you need to have a conversation about different kinds of love. All right. I thought pride was the deadliest of the seven sins. Oh. I can s I see how you did that. We should ask the Bible if pride is the worst one and how to kill it. Consult the Holy Bible. Yes. You've had Nidrotic, now get Doomcock and V. Doomcock's actually been on this show. He was one of our earliest Doomcock guests. Doomcock has been, yeah. And it was actually he should be pretty awesome EFAP. It was when we covered Major Leaf the first time. We all lost our minds. It was great. <laughs> I think we found them, eventually. Uh, but yeah, go check it out. You'll find it. Just do Doomcock and then EFAP. I'm pretty sure it'll come up. Um, on screen, stupid as fuck slash hate is a fun website. I mean, the, the fact that it was called that was like, what is that website? I want to go see it. <laughs> is it stupid, as uh, stupid AF slash hate. I don't I think it's exactly. stupid dot AF slash hate. AF slash hate. Uh, nothing 404. Short horror story. Extra credits videos are recommended viewing in game design schools. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> don't go to a game design school, I guess. Just make your just all of the experience that you have playing games your whole life. That's the experience you need. Just be like the guy who made Bright Memory and figure it out yourself, and then make a game. Yeah, yeah. You have played all of these games for your entire life. You have a grasp of what good game design is, not it? Hey, more. I freaked out and killed a bunch of guys with funny little hats the other day, but it's fine because they were all trying to talk to me about Nazis. Are they Smurfs? It doesn't matter, he killed them. Oh, okay. I guess it doesn't matter anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh, can't you eat Smurfs? Are you saying they're a Isn't human that vegetable? what Gargamel was trying to do? He was trying to eat the Smurfs? I don't remember. Was that... But instead he had to, like, go to Olive Garden or something? Hmm. Correction. Solaris by Stanislaw Lem. Cheers, chat. Oh, I guess that was the book. Wolf, well, maybe? <laughs> Once more, another book I gotta add to the... Less well, at least it's just a replacement others. book name. You're all right. That was an additional one. Well, have you seen Stranger Things three yet? I I I shouldn't answer that. I <gasps> I'm too upset. People who like it, but apparently a lot of people liked it. Oh. It was really bad. It was like really bad. Yeah, but it was a bad adaptation because there was an there was no source. It couldn't yes. even be. <laughs> uh, I'm behind in the stream currently on the extra credit guy. This guy must go mental during Halloween. You're normalizing demons! Stop! <laughs> and ghosts! Terrorists rule. How far does Extra Credit's whack logic extend? Did Payday 2 and Battlefield Hardline normalize bank robbing? Would they argue yep. it's not okay to let you play as the robber, that both sides should be cops? <laughs> yeah, and there's like a misunderstanding, that's the plot of the game. The cops think the other cops are coming to steal, and the main cops think the other cops are protecting the money in order to steal it later or something. It'll yeah, be great. That's what they're trying to do. And they can only they hit each other with uh, like like beanbag guns, they're not bullets. <laughs> um the Eldians colonized the world, oppressed everyone, and practiced ethnic cleansing because they were eugenicists. Now go fight Mali's wars, Eldian child. What's Eldian? 
That's an Attack on Titan reference. Oh. Is that a motherfucking Attack on Titan reference? Tunnel snakes rule! I know that reference. Tunnel, tunnel snakes rule. Tunnel snakes. Uh, more irony. The left stigmatized Nazis, 12 million kills, like its sentient Ebola, but empathetically support abortion, 60 million plus babies killed in USA since 1970. Now, now, mm. that seems like a politically charged statement. Does it not? Mm. Du -du 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 -du. You're only saying that because you're a terrorism. Damn. You're just saying that because you've been born. That's true, actually. Mola, please randomly yell terrorists rule in Gedelb. I think I did write that one down. Terrorist rule. You know what? I didn't write enough uh, from that one. I was just so taken by the stupid. <laughs> um, Mola, but, oh, sorry. Using Iron Cross as a Nazi symbol and you should revolt it is stupid since German military uses it today and their logo on their vehicles. So you're saying that Nazis exist today? Yeah, we know. We know. Yeah, so you're, yeah, so you're saying that there's a bunch of Nazis. Uh, Macintosh, the only consistent all violence are bad one. Wait, is that something he said? I don't know. Yeah, he's a loon too. That was another early one we covered. His um, TLG video, remember that shit? Yeah, that was terrible. Yeah. That really was. <laughs> Uh, the extra credits guy is the gosh darn worst. I hope his wiener accidentally falls into a lunch meat meat slicer. Oh. Is reduced, Jesus. Is, is reduced oh. to a slab of cold cuts. Damn. Fucking hell, that's oddly specific. Lord. Yes. Everything is sexist, everything is racist, and you have to point it all out. I know that quote. Point it, point it, point it. Oh my god, EFAB Live, love you guys. We love you too, <gasps> Javi. I also love me. Hooray. Just something wow. else that we have. I wonder what extra credits would think of German World War II films like Das Boot or Stalingrad the sh that show German soldiers as regular human beings. Disgusting propaganda. <gasps> Nasty. It won't be long till people are so easy to trigger we end up just like the planet of easily frightened people from the Earthworm Jim cartoon. The planet of easily frightened people. <laughs> <laughs> like aliens don't want to visit for fear of spooking us. Uh, in the Battle of Castle Eater in 1945, oh wait, oh yeah, uh, Americans and Germans mm. fought together against the SS to protect POWs. What now, extra credit? Oh shit. Damn. No, but they're all Nazi. That what? breaks the uh. narrative. Uh, FYI, for anyone that has Splatoon 2, that the final Splatfest starts 18th of July, y'all clowns should join me and forget this Nightmare Videos arguments. Half of the splat videos fest. we watch are Splatfest. That was from Key Blitz. If anyone wants to play the Splatfest coming in July 18th. A very <laughs> odd choice of Super Chat, but fair enough. Um, how about a setting that makes it so that the opposing team always appears as a certain faction? I guess you could do that. Like, everybody plays as the good guys against the Nazis, but they don't... You know... But you shouldn't have to. Like a yeah. horde yeah. mode? And then they're wondering where the PvP is? No, like... It just... You can't, yeah. So you're both playing the Americans and you're both against the Nazis, but obviously you wouldn't simultaneously... That wouldn't be a conflict because we all have our own consoles, we all see our view. Do you know what I mean by that? Oh. Um, it's like simultaneously... Yeah, it, oh, it's like it's a client side based, mm. uh, the other team is skinned as Nazis, but on their side they're playing as Americans. Yeah. Yeah, that that would just be so infantilizing. And I was about to say it's so like, oh, you don't want to be the evil but mm. oh, we, we, we want to play. People the bad can't guys. take playing as the bad guy. We know you. Well, God forbid <laughs> they. My God, it makes know. me like want to actually unironically become a Nazi just <laughs> despite these fucking retarded people. Become a good See? a good Nazi. Be a nice Nazi. Yeah, help the rep. You have to fix their reputation. Yeah. Oh, Which imagine, is, imagine kind of it was unironic, like a group of like the most nicest people ever, and they call themselves the Nazis, and it stands for something different. Nice and zany introverts. <laughs> and it's like, you can't call yourself zany that. introverts. <laughs> <laughs> they actually could be part of that. Chemical Warfare is against the Geneva Convention, I'm pretty sure, and it, it's the SAS in Rainbow Six, so... Oh! So, like, technically, the people in uh, Rainbow Six Siege break the Geneva Convention, then? <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the traps that they use and, like, the poison gas. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, would you, would you think maybe that 
we should be educated on this before the game starts in order to uh, correctly take responsibility for the potential things that you get desensitized to, yes? I'm just trying to say that I think Extra Credits is talking out their asshole. How dare you? I love what? Chorus, you I love aren't con- crime. What? You aren't constantly terrified about the immediate threat of terrorism and Nazis? You must be a terrorist Nazi sympathizer. That's something a terrorist would say. Of course he's drawn like that. How else would they convey his moral failings? I think they're talking about Theo's rendition in that. <laughs> yeah. We're taking Nazis back, EFAP 2019. <laughs> Horrible neurotic thing. <laughs> hey, nerd, get in the car. Like like we taking Nazis back. Is that what happens to historians? They just slowly turn into Gollum? I think Every so. Every time, once you... It, it's, it's tough news to break to everybody that you wanted to be, like... Imagine breaking the news to everybody. Mom, Dad, I'm going to be a historian. And they're like, <gasps> oh no, because they know you're just a ticking time bomb for turning into a Nazi. Once you read the mm. right book, on the right page. Especially with how the subjectivity element works with history that I learned from Joseph of House Anderson. We will be in history. trouble. Yeah, National just... Association of Zionist Israelites. <laughs> I would not want to be a part of that. Is the goal to make it so that no one picks one of the sides? You'll have no game. Unironically, yes, this is their goal. Ted Kaczynski wrote about these over-socialized massives in industry, industrial society and its consequences. Fair enough. Does that mean in every World War II game now there has to be at, uh, at least 10 Russians for every Nazi, but only one gets a gun and the rest have brooms? Uh, that still sounds too violent to me. This Everyone is my broom-handled broom. Everyone has brooms. That's the only way to wake a wick. Broom, broom, broom. Why does YouTube notifications not work? I'm sorry, Dr. Martin Luther Pepe. I, I would always want them to work <laughs> for you specifically. <laughs> this is my favorite one. <laughs> Match ends. After a long struggle, the German side have beaten the Allies. Suddenly, Dumbledore appears in a rainbow robe. Yes, yes, Germans, you fought well. However, six million points to the Allies. Well, I mean, if you're not going to be realistic and recreate every single element of the world itself, then yeah, Dumbledore could turn up. Don't you guys agree? Turn up for what? Bum, 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 bum. Historical accuracy versus historical authenticity. So to be authentic okay. versus authentic, accurate. Yeah. Hmm. Authentic is much more important. Yeah, I'd agree. Yeah, I think so. Uh, they got ratioed hard on that video. Yes, they did. Yeah, they did. It is Schindler's List online. What? <laughs> <laughs> it is more of you get the genre guns, not the real one. Yeah, I guess you'd get. You could say that. Uh, this guy's brain would have exploded if he played Age of Empires. Yeah, or Civilization. Either way, he would hate it. Rags, that all or nothing thing that SJWs do is the univariate fallacy. There is even a single exception to a rule that accurately defines any categories, no matter how large or small, then those categories don't exist. Yep. I mean, little tiny, no, one little, one little exception, no matter how tiny, disproves the generality. Rag is Tear a, it down. Rag is a vampire... Rag is a vampire, not Z. He took part in the German invasion of the Soviet Union, 22nd June 1941. It's true. You're a vampire? I was there. It went pretty you well. You Dracula yeah, untold? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I guess I'm told now. My god. Uh-oh. Read the pinned comment. I believe that was the, uh, the, the, the response that they had. Um... At Muller, have you considered investing in a, a VPN? It might actually alleviate the lag issues with the stream as well as just make your internet generally better. I don't, I don't I, think VPNs, I don't think VPNs make your internet better. Yeah, they just hide your IP as far as I knew. Uh, watch Together isn't great. Use SciTube instead. Was that the one you were trying just uh, when, when it got stuck, Rags? Uh, SciTube? Well, either way, it wasn't, it wasn't Watch Together's fault. It was on my end, clearly. Um, I see some bigots misrepresenting my super chats in chat. I want to be clear. I'm against Nazis and see them as evil since they allowed women to vote. Damn. Oh, man. That's not Theo at all. That dev isn't a cute girl. Uh, Theo, do you agree with that? Uh, I mean, that guy liked his history. I like history. 
with the same person, you see. I see. I'm Shape. also I'm also a crazy fucking hunched over monster of a person who builds goddamn toothpick forts to represent oh, historical yes. battlegrounds. I do remember that depiction, it was beautiful. Um, I do not feel this video showed su sufficient disgust over Nazis. He said Nazis so many times that it normalized Nazis. He needs to be deplatformed. Oh, of course. Uh oh. Yes. I got my war history from Hogan Heroes, Hogan's Heroes, and Mash. My favorite show ever. Hogan's Heroes is my favorite. They show desensitize ever. Nazis. I mean, our Nazis. Nazis. What if I choose to play as a Nazi? Is it better? <laughs> yes. I wonder if extra credits would be like really upset. They'd be like, "This is how bad they are. This is the worst thing ever. The terrible, terrible, terrible." You can choose them um, or the Americans, and you choose them, and they're like, "What the fuck? We just I thought that why do you want to play I'm this?" Th <laughs> thinking now, what's their response to someone who actively chooses the Nazi side? What are they? What What's the response based on that video? To dox them and order a kill strike. <laughs> oh. Killstrike. Mm. Gulag. It's amazing that over the last 30 years, groups of code writers have been turning games into violent, demon worshipping, misogynistic Nazis with pretty moving pictures. Yeah. That's been their yeah. whole goal. Yeah. Well, yeah. Mm. Because I'm half Japanese and half Filipino and have family that participated on both sides, what does this video mean for me when I play any game about the Pacific Theater? Uh, you're a Nazi slash wrong. I don't know. It's really hard. The rule book is confusing. You're the worst Nazi. Not you're you're a not C. <laughs> Mulder, yeah, I will super chat you. A, I will super chat you a grad if you stop this helium huffing fags video right now. Please make it stop. We had to go through it. I'm sorry. Hey. Go read the Dresden Files. I have no idea what that is. Do you guys know? I have heard of it, <laughs> but I haven't. Really, is that anything with it? The hate mongering bigots of the toxic brood. Yes. Movie binge update. Fargo could have been so much better with a better dialogue direction. The accents and syntax made it so I couldn't take anything seriously despite the fantastic plot. That's interesting. I can understand that perspective. I do love um, Fargo. I prefer the uh, TV show this first season, funnily enough. But um, yeah, they have More like kind Fago. of they have kind of funny voices in it. <laughs> Wolf, Wolf laughed. He gave you a courtesy laugh. I know you paid him. Huh. Then you paid yourself for a courtesy laugh for yourself. That's fucked up, Rex. Yeah, I paid myself. It's, it's shit because I have to pay taxes. Damn. Weeb Mormons are actually not uncommon. Weeb Mormons. Weed Mormons? Weeb. Are those like weeb? Oh, so Mormons, but worse? I didn't even think they'd be possible. I didn't think it was possible either, but There's they always no find a way to surprise me. Yeah. All those Mormons. Wolf, Raggis, and Theo. Any yes. of you guys read Hello. Dune? If so, please chastise Muller and tell me your thoughts. I oh. have read Dune. I read it, and it's one of my favorite books of all time. I like it. I have not read it. You're a bad Jay, person. Have you read Dune? Sorry. <laughs> You were supposed to chastise right me, according to this, not Theo. Who? You were supposed to chastise, chastise me. Who? Oh. He's jealous that he's not getting his chastisement. Mm -hmm. I feel like Bilbo when you leave the room. Oh, God. I think Bilbo's <laughs> pretty relieved when I leave the room. That's what you think. But he came there on his own tisms. How do you know? I don't, okay? I just assume the best, because you're a good person, and Bilbo would want it, I think. I think he'd be happy. He didn't sound very happy. They, they were cries of happy. That did not sound like the cries of someone that was happy. I mean... The cries of a happy man. If I put it up to a vote, I'm pretty sure everyone in EFAP will vote yes, he was happy. <laughs> Remember well, men know, like... If you put it up to a vote, you would, they would probably say that Spider-Man Homecoming is a bad movie. They didn't. 60% said good. Oh. Well, if you put it up to another vote, they'd probably say bad. True. That's how democracy works as well. Remember men like yeah. Robert Lee, who freed their slaves and took up arms in the Civil War because the North invaded to kill their families to pull them back into a banking system where 25% of the people would pay 83% of the tax? All evil. I literally know nothing about the Civil War in America. You guys were, like, upset because you, you, you didn't, like... 
Like you thought you thought the the people in the south were like ugly and the people in the north were like were like annoying. Was that it? That was it's it. It's not right? that they're ugly. It's just that they're ugly and stupid. Oh. The less you know, the angry you can get about the whole slavery part. So don't look into it. Rags, are you okay with being called ugly and stupid? No, I think that's a very insulting thing to say. I, I'm not ugly, and I'm not stupid, and I'm definitely not ugly. It's okay. I take the ugly part myself. All right. I'm glad we got well, over that. All right. Well, I'm, all right. Yeah. Fine. That's fair enough. But you I massive tisms, go debate Star Wars Explained. Uh, if, I mean, I don't know who that is For exactly, what? but I'm guessing he's probably likes the sequels. That's the only thing you could assume. Okay, so it's another idiot. Wow, Wolf. You you, you criticize someone for their feelings now? What have, what have you yes. become? Well, I mean, if their feelings are fucking stupid, if they feel that the Earth is flat, doesn't make them a smart person. Can someone feel the Earth is flat? Does someone feelable? <laughs> I don't even know how that well, works. Well, do, do you think flatness. it's based in any facts? It's definitely not. Well then, it's a leap of they faith. They have to feel that way, because flat earthers are fucking retarded. That's something a Nazi would say. I wonder if you could play oh. as the Mender of the Waffen SS in a game that believes what he's doing is right. No, that would no, make it even that worse. that normalizes Nazis. Yeah. A double normalizes them. Uh, lefties want to erase game. the Washington Memorial painting due to political reasons. Even Hitler allowed art. He disagreed with to be put on display. Oh, really? Hmm. What a progressive icon. I <laughs> uh, remember how William Tecus Tecumseh, German's man repaid, Tecumseh. repaid, repaid, oh, thousands, oh, well, Confederacy men bad, so they were all good, I see. Hey, Rags, no homo or anything. Hey! But you have a nice boy PU55Y. I have no idea what that word oh. is. Thank you. I, I go out of my way to really take. Hmm. Also, Wolf, what would you say are your favorite Breaking Benjamin songs? Oh, that's a, that's a question. His I think suggestions... everything from the Dear Agony album is underrated. His suggestions and were cruel. More and... attention to phobia than they deserve. Great album, but I think Dear Eigen doesn't get enough attention. It's uh, MF Chicken Flipper, and he said his, his favorites were Crawl and Evil Angel. <laughs> he said Chicken Flipper. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how Th Thomas Jefferson lost his dad at 12 years old? All his dad's slaves went to his uncle, and when he grew up, TJ went into debt to purchase their extended family. They could be all together. <laughs> when you said TJ, just immediately <laughs> thought of the Amazing Atheist. Be together even though he moved and didn't know them personally? Nope, he's just an evil white rapist. I, I... Yeah. Yes. This is, this is a super chat that's just penis. I feel like we've had <laughs> these before. I'm not sure what to do with them. I bet you've had penis before. Yes, but I've never known what to do with them. I put them on a plate. <laughs> penis. <laughs> After watching extra credits, I shaved a swastika into my Siamese cat. These animal tortures must be stopped. <laughs> my. Shaved a swastika into my cat. Hashtag we were there from the beginning. Yeah, the, the tonal arc we did, we, as we did highlight. It's right from episode one. Grace all the way back. Been watching before EFAP even had a name. Hashtag no regrets. Those were the days. The simpler days. Will Mola's computer work again? Is this the last episode of EFAP? Find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. <gasps> Find out in the next episode of EFAP if there is a next episode of EFAP. <laughs> that bulge is A+. Plus. Oh. What? What? Are you and... Wait, are you and Wolf still going to do that joint media reloaded you planned before EFAP began? What was that plan oh, we, for? We're going to do that joint, all right. Oh, is that Annihilation? Yeah. I think it was either, yeah, I think it was either Annihilation or something else. I don't remember. Oh, it's probably Arrival. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure it was Annihilation because that was like, it was Annihilation and Terminator Genesis. Those were the ones. Oh, okay. I thought you really didn't like Arrival as well, though. I can't remember if it was, there were plans to do like a I lot of I don't know things. if I planned to do one on that one, but I know that we were going to do one on Annihilation because we watched it and laughed our asses off at it. Yeah, and that's a, 
I seriously regret not having recorded that and The Mummy 3. That was such a good reaction. Live again. Uh, Stayed up till 6am especially... for this wild ride. Night, lads. Good night. Good night. Get It's a Gundam to talk about this. He made a video. I don't know who that is. Do you guys know who It's a Gundam is? I've yeah. heard of him. Heard the name thrown around a few times. He's on the YouTube. He makes the videos. Lies! If he was okay. on YouTube, then wouldn't he be here right now? No. Nailed it. You boys and doggos True. do it well. Keep it up. Spider-Man Homecoming is very tightly written. One of the best MCUs. I wrote a book. Could I pay you three a glorious sum to read and send back notes? Uh, no, I don't have the time, actually. I don't really have the time either, unfortunately. Yeah, reading, yeah, reading a whole book is, uh, takes up a lot of time. Yeah, and I, I tend to have a blanket statement of I don't review on request for anything. Because the second that I do, then I have to come up with some kind of rule for how, and I certainly wanted, wouldn't want to do it uh, based on, like, payment and stuff. It's going to get complicated. And then it also takes away time from being able to make my, my own work, but, um, <gasps> best of luck. For the uh the the book that you've written, yes, absolutely. Uh, where's that Man of Steel EFAP more? Like, gimme, gimme. Eventually, that's this is the thing. There's a lot of EFAPs potential. We're still got to do that one where we look at um we get to watch Van Helsing and then watch Nostalgia Critic talk about it. <laughs> Wait, oh, there yeah, we, yeah, we were gonna yeah, do yeah. a we were gonna do a Man of Steel EFAP. Yeah, uh, we've got this video saying Man of Steel is actually not terrible. Are they by like? children with down syndrome or something i mean i, I, mean, don't, I don't know I if i want to make fun of them i haven't seen the video fully but i i'm pretty sure it's you know it's it's like a uh an, 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 an all age nice. dude yeah and he's i can't be nice to someone that unironically likes I men think... of steel unless they like actually have like a mental deficiency i'm pretty sure the youtube video as well is like why you're wrong about man of, man of steel as well i'm pretty sure that's how it's framed <gasps> oh no so that's like a horrible fucking movie. Remember, Rags? Why, the Raimi movies are worse than you remember. Yeah, and all it did was remind us how amazing the first two were. Yeah, I got that experience with watching Far From Home reviews with Fringy uh, the other, <laughs> over these past few days. We've been like, man, these movies are actually kind of even better than I realized. But Far From Home is getting a lot of terrible reviews, that, that, that movie. It'll be interesting to see what happens once you guys give it a watch see and we can talk about it on the next EFAB about how terrible it is. Or we'll just disappoint our audience once again and say that Spider-Man the MCU isn't so bad after all. Either way. <gasps> yeah, I'll talk to you about it tonight after I see it with my friend. How long until after that's happening, by the way? Go and move your cinder block. What? Yeah, after you go tonight and move your move your cinder blocks with your daddy. But then... I don't he he moved it himself. He doesn't Oh, have to I bet to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure that's what you say. <laughs> also, guys, that is what I said in chat. Far know. from home is trash. I loved Far from Home. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Far from Home has been rated high. What are you talking about, Mola? So it's was it six uh, seven point one on IMDb when I last checked it. Not a good score for something that's brand new. I mean, it's respectable. Not in IMDb's like rule is if it falls below seven. Not a movie that uh, you should probably spend your time on. Is the, I'm like, is that, I mean, a seven's fine. No, it's, it's not great. Fine. No, fine. Uh, the, it's not. It's not a guarantee of anything. But obviously, these numbers don't necessarily mean anything. Everyone's wrong about these things. Like, you get the like, crazy high ratings not for me. terrible things and vice versa. But it's just like on average. But it, apparently, it's eight point one right now, which is pretty healthy. Yeah, that's good. Decent good score. Yeah. yeah, that's what I rated the first one. Um. So yeah, uh, I guess I was wrong about that, but the uh, I've heard a lot of criticism, and I've seen a lot of essay videos explaining how bad it is. Um, so we we are yet to see how the conversation shall evolve, I imagine. I haven't checked his Rotten Tomatoes, but that could be uh, doing well too. Why do Peter Parker and Peter Quill have the same first name? People will get confused, it's like they don't know what they're doing with these characters. People hate it because they associate MJ with a redhead. It's just dumb. That was from James Moore, by the way. No, oh, you gotta have your redhead. I mean, if they associate a character that's traditionally been a redhead with a redhead, I mean, that's not... That's not anything, like, really out there. That's fine. 
I mean, I don't know if. Would you I mean, hate, I would you hate the a character because characters of that? With good characters. But the thing is, I don't fucking so. think the Expanse characters in the show are that good, though. Like, I don't know if it's. No, I, I yeah, I, I associate the show characters with the good characters in the meaning that I hate the show because of what it does to the characters. But do you though? Yeah, that's why I don't watch it. Do you though? Yeah. Well. Okay then. Maul is a sucker for Spider Man, so you'll think it's underrated. If I was a sucker for Spider Man, then why would I think that Amazing Spider Man 1 and 2 are terrible as well as uh, the third Raimi Spider Man? Like, wouldn't I just approve of all Spider Mans? Unless they mean the MCU Spider Man, in which case, yeah, Homecoming is totally underrated. I, I would stand by that statement. When when 40% say it's bad, that shit's uh, something wrong. Hey guys, first time on in a while. So Wolf, are you still trying to for a trade? If so, wait, trade. Are you still well, trying? I, for I mentioned. I mean, I mentioned like thinking of doing a trade. I haven't looked too far a into trade. It. How come a trade is good, but if you're B trade, it's bad? What? Oh. Those are two different spellings of words, though. <laughs> I don't think it's not so. The same thing. Underrated no. among EFAB watches. Yes, yeah. I would happily say that that was what I was trying to say, rather than as a whole. But trade is T R A D E. If B tray is T R A Y. T R A D E. B trade. No. Yeah. B E T R A Y. That's B tray. No B. Not the same as R A D E. B trade and A trade. A trade is good, B trade is bad. Oh, I thought you were talking about B tray. No, yeah, like B trade. What? Okay. B trade. It's really simple. You're such a massive. <laughs> I think I'm following guy in chat. What if you C trade? If you C trade? Oh, it's okay to C trade. What if you're D trade? Especially if your country's uh, economy is built off of C trade. It's been very profitable. Um, yeah. I see. Yeah. So what if you raid a seat? Seat raid. If you raid a seat? Seat raid. That'd be a very uneventful raid. <laughs> but it would be a seat raid. What? what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Let's carry on. Uh, Goliath, is, killing of the monsters. Yeah, that's accurate to the meme. Here's five dollars for giving me something to laugh at while working on a home improvement pro problem. I suck at do-it-yourself stuff. Don't we all? Homecoming is a solid movie. My issues with it are only adaptation. MJ is fine. Peter and May feel more like Ben left instead of died and had no money problems. This is always a big part of Spider-Man for me. I think that's fair enough. Yeah. Homecoming seems to grasp at the core of what Spider-Man is, for me at least. But it doesn't do those, I've seen those things that that person wanted to see, I guess. Sure. I mean, I was fine with them not showing the Uncle Ben dying thing for the hundred trillionth time. Yeah, we had to see how it's there. But you were upset that we did. didn't get to see the scene where he breaks into the science lab and he accidentally gets bitten by a spider and then kills it and then runs outside, right? Uh-huh. Well, if you didn't say anything, are you broken? Am I supposed to say something? Yes, I asked you... Oh, you useless. <laughs> Utterly useless. I finally made a Joseph yeah. Anderson... Oh, I finally made Joseph She's Anderson truly massive. That's actually... Something I didn't even catch. Joseph Anderson was massive in that meme. He was massive. I was gonna say, like, where's, where's, the, where's the recognition there? Terrible. People meme EFAP so much because you guys react to them on stream. Since you all entertain us, the idea of the reverse is happening is spending worth spending hours of editing on. You already know that, though. I mean, but the memes oh. are so good, though. How can we oh. not? It's a nice symbiotic relationship, even though it's literal, like, it can be like two hours of watching the most nonsensical memes ever, and yet you have like 2,000 people watching it. Is that concerning? Is is this? Should we call doctors? Like many of them, like an army. 
I'm an, an army of, of doctors. doctors. A doctor army. A dummy. Their DPS is shit, but man, they can out heal really well. Paramilitary paramedics. They have a giant ring of healing each other, and then they just walk into people and hit them over. Oh yeah. Hmm. What if they I... made Hux black in episode nine? <laughs> You realize it's a false <laughs> Then I would win the bet. He would be the <laughs> most. Would win the bet. <laughs> that, I hope they do. That would so throw me for a what loop. Is, what does the winner get? Uh, we didn't decide anything. I think it's just recognition of being the smart just one. Have, just have James Moore buy him a Tesla or something. <laughs> a one hundred thousand dollar Tesla. One hundred thousand dollar Tesla. How about three? So then I can be on par with Boogie two nine eight eight, and I can complain about my. You life haven't gotten new that. teeth yet. You're not even close. <sighs> You're right. My teeth are because I like my old this. teeth. I take good care of my teeth. No, teeth are bad for you. That's what we were oh. taught in Britain. You're supposed to like knock them out with a hammer from an early age. Is this not normal? Okay, fine. Whatever. You guys, you guys are weird. Yeah, I was waiting for the Americans to, you know, agree. Apparently, they just, that's not a thing over there. The first yeah. thing I see when I start the stream is a Pokemon battle between Mauler and Quinton with Cynic, Snacks, and Goliath. I love this community. It's, it, is, it is an interesting one. Catching you guys I live as much as I can. Sent you two new fan arts. I think you've missed one or two in the past, but it's the laugh you guys give me that makes it worth it. <laughs> Made my first Twitter free fab memes. Uh, just resend them if you think I may have missed them. I do miss stuff. Like, I've got a whole bunch of Twitter notifications right now. No memes, though. Good. <gasps> it would be bad to miss a meme. Here's money, you massives. I'll listen later. All right. Yay. Hey, Rags. Hey. Just wondering, have What's you guys up? seen the new Stranger Things? I think it was better than Season 2 overall. Loved it despite some big problems. I think it was better than Season 2 as well. But... Season 2 was pretty bad. Season 3's right. plot line is beyond retarded. Season 3's characters are okay. But the thing is, there's not much they can do with them because they're completely damaged. <gasps> what were you saying, Wallaf? I just don't even care about Stranger Things at all. Maybe you should. Maybe you hate it because you hate the 80s because it reminds you of your birthplace. I wasn't when born in the 80s. What the fuck? I said birthplace, yeah, not birth time. Well, why would that remind me of my birthplace? Well, if you were born on the Chinese year of pizza. Yeah. Is there a Chinese year of pizza, Raggis? You didn't know that? Yeah, the one you were born on. Uh-huh. Why would they have a Chinese year of pizza instead of the Italians? I'm sorry, I'm pretty sure that's not a, that's not a very interesting question. I don't know. <laughs> like, well, they have like a year of the monkey, but... There are monkeys outside of China. You mean in Africa? <gasps> there, yeah, I'm sure there's some monkeys in Africa. And then Wolf was silent. All right. Yeah, man. Your video hasn't your video hasn't made me a Nazi, but it's made me weirdly Vichy French sympathetic. Right. <gasps> it took me about two uh, weeks just to do that one crowd shot with all the faces. That's from meme repository where they're all running in terror and have all the lighting and stuff. It's appreciated, sir. Hopefully it doesn't knock too much, you know, energies out of you folks to be making these amazing memes. Oh, no. Yeah. Wolf was born in a frozen forest with pizza. Thanks for another fun stream, everyone. Had a great week and remember to smile. Whoa. Asking people to smile, really? Like, we just got done talking about how people are obviously Nazis and they should be silenced and dehumanized, and now you want to start telling people to smile? Oh, you have so many problems to solve. Sounds like <gasps> someone who's some way down that slippery slope. Mm hmm. Borrowing my brother's That's laptop that. to watch this, asked him for the charger too. He asked, How? No, why? How long is it? A few hours? And I just laughed in his face. <laughs> <laughs> You probably thought, like, I'm way overreaching here, but is it a couple of hours? And you're just like, um... I mean, the first part is. Rags got Switch for Nintendo. No censor policy. No censorship here. Titties, 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 titties. Only three hours? I knew you were an orphan. Damn. Uh-oh. That's some... how harsh they say. 
Here's some money for the doggo. Keep work sitting Thanks. in that chair and moving your lips, Rag. Oh. Mom, 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 mom. Yeah, I think this one will, I think this one, because I've worked a bunch, uh, especially the last few days in it, uh, I think it'll turn out really, really well. Hmm. Um, I think it'll be a pretty good one. Got a good mix of animations, a lot of them new, or not animations. Oh, I got the, I have the new animation, but I have a lot of new poses and faces, and I got some gameplay thrown in for long segments, so that helps immensely. Yeah, what is autism? Wolf, would you like to field that question? Yes, Wolf. Yeah. You well, explain to us what the tism is, since you have first-hand experience mm -hmm. to exposure. Well, I uh, actually managed to get a couple of my real-life friends to start saying tism unironically now. Yeah. And uh, we were trying to figure out what the origins of the tism are. And one of my friends said, uh, it's, it comes from us giving so little of a shit about people with autism that we don't even bother with the awe. Like, aw, he has the tism. That sounds worse, though. Mm. Like, they'd be like, that's condescending. It is condescending, uh, but, you know. How do you it's know autism. it's not based after something scientific, like magnetism, or something, you know, like, good, like, altruism? -ism. <laughs> altruism? <laughs> altruism. What if, what if the root's the same, either way? Magnetism and autism both come from the same thing. Perhaps that's a chicken and the egg sort of thing. Did magnetism cause autism, or did autism cause magnetism? I picked the latter. I think that that's a question for the ages. Or the egg. Either one. <laughs> or the egg. Of course the dog demands to see the peanut butter. Yes. <laughs> hey, love watching you massive dissect videos. Eh. It was definitely a... It was an autopsy this time around. That video was long... Dis destroyed by Autistics everybody. Rise mm. up. Cosmictism, yes? Autistics, autisticals of the world unite. Autisticals. Matt McMuscles is the worst of the SBFP crew. SJW bad. Who's FB, uh, SBFP? Uh, super Who's Best Friends play uh, a Let's Play channel that broke up somewhat recently. Right. That's, that's a bit harsh to Matt, though. So is Matt McMuscles one of the those people? Yeah. There you go. Humanize Ben Shapiro by getting him on EFAP. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Mm -hmm. I'd love it. Hey Ben Shapiro, if you want to come on EFAP, you're more than welcome. Yeah, I would that would be I'd want to show him some EFAP memes. Just to hear him be like, I, I, I don't understand what what these are. Uh, what's happening? Like, what, what is this? What what is happening? I thought this was this a professional podcast. <laughs> This is not a this is not a substitution for an actual substantive uh, discussion. <laughs> hey Ben Shapiro, you like Tonald? He's like what? Tonald? Like is that like Donald Tonald? Donald? Because I like. I want to ask him like when his balls are gonna drop. Because man, does it not sound like he's gone through? I think it would ball. be the coming of the seventeenth moon. Like he probably, probably what it On is. The Jewish calendar, yeah. Yeah. So you're helping your dad move boulders? Uh oh. <laughs> I would suck a fart out of the wolf. Oh. Uh, what? Uh, 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 I can't believe I have to go through this massive named Mauler in order to give you this money, Rags. I've been loving every <gasps> second of your content ever since 2016. I want to show my appreciation. Oh, oh wow. I Thanks. Will, I'm, glad, I'm really, really glad that you like it. Thanks very much. I will add that on. Rags making some money tonight. Yeah? You should stream so that these people can do it directly. <laughs> I need to get a PayPal set up, so... Oh wait, but you have, you have super chat set up, don't you? I do, yes. But in case anyone would just like to send me anything on PayPal. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Because I could transfer that directly to my bank account. Uh, I you... think I actually I need to go to the bank and then set up an account and then have that account also be under my name, so I can make a second account just for the channel. Yeah. To be different from my like personal, actual, physical, real, legitimate account. The one I used to launder money in Zimbabwe. Do you watch Stranger Things, or do you think it's crap? I love season one. I furiously despise season two. Season three was crap. I don't know what everyone else here thinks. 
Oh, I don't watch it, so it's okay if you don't. I enjoyed season one. I enjoyed season two superficially, and I never watched either again. I don't care about season three at all. I never started it. I got blockaded out by the D&D game at the start. I couldn't handle it. Because... Did it come anyone go home? I play D&D, and it's... uh, I I don't like representations of D&D in media. Because it's wrong. Kinda, really I guess. Uh, did you guys see the Twitter picture of Vito with the Belle Delphine bathwater? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I. Yeah. I did. I mean, whatever makes you happy, I right, guys? I saw the tweet where they quoted him and was like, "It doesn't work as a joke when you're the target audience." <laughs> I mean, I'm, mm. I'm curious what kind of video he's gonna make with that. What he's gonna do. He got, he's gotten a lot of a, a punching bag attention with that bathwater thing. Well, you know, any attention I mean, look is at attention. Him. Yeah. He looks exactly like the kind of person that would unironically buy bathwater from somebody. But that's the joke, Wolf. Yeah, that's yeah. what's. That's why it's so funny. Hmm. I wonder if part of the joke is saying that court of public opinion is just as valid as a normal court. People, I've heard this said a couple of places. Apparently, this is this is probably a lie. I don't know. I'm just re- reiterating what other people have been saying in different places. Fifty people have said that they've gotten herpes because they've been drinking the water that she had and she was infected with it. What? <laughs> I was like, that doesn't sound real. Like that sounds right. fake. To that me. doesn't that, sound real. That, sound, that I, sounds like citation needed. I would sounds like a little God bit that of actually citation, happened yeah. because that would be the funniest thing in the entire No, world. I don't want 50 people to get herpes. That would be well, terrible. Uh, well, no, I want them to Gosh, get herpes. Gosh, Wolf, you're such a massive. <laughs> well, no, here's the thing. If you're going to buy bath water from somebody and then drink it, you kind of deserve to get No, herpes. you don't deserve yes, you do. to get No, you don't. You Listen, you, no, you don't okay, deserve no, 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 no. it. No, yes, you do. At that no, point, you don't. <laughs> No, it's like this. It's like if you go up on an active volcano while it's erupting and saying, "I gotta hike it right now." Like you kind of deserve. No, to die. you don't deserve to die. Yes, you do. You're no, asking that'll for be, it. That will be. No, you're not asking. There's a difference. You're begging for it. Victim no, blaming. listen. If you, yeah. First off, it's victim blaming. Second off, if you like, if I dressed up all in black, not that I wear clothes, but if I were to put a bunch of black clothes and stuff on, and then run across the highway in the middle, a busy highway in the middle of the night, I don't deserve to be hit by a car. But getting hit by a car will probably happen to me. It'll be a natural consequence of the decisions that I've made. No, no, no. If you're going up a volcano that's erupting at that moment, then you kind of deserve it if it happens. No, you don't deserve it. Yes, you do. No, you don't. You don't deserve Just death. Like if you, it, I mean, if you drink somebody else's bath water, first off, that's dumb. Second, no. If you get herpes, yeah, like, yes, oh, it's dumb. It is very it. dumb. But a child <laughs> doesn't deserve to be shocked if they stick a butter knife into a socket. It's not the same thing. Yeah, we're not yeah, talking about children here. We're talking about adults that are buying bath water. No, it's still dead. stupid, but it's not something they deserve. It's not like they've committed some kind of crime and they need to be given punishment. I never said it was a crime. I just saying. You said deserve. <laughs> they clearly deserve it. No, they don't they deserve it. it. They no. They deserve the Darwin Award for being idiots. I don't. I don't know. I don't agree with that. I don't. I don't agree with that interpretation okay, of what people you deserve. Drink somebody else's bath water. Obviously, there's going to be something in it. Yeah, not obviously, but probably. I, I agree. It's very stupid. I agree. It's insanely stupid. And the people I, who do that I are. I don't know. If, if 50 people got herpes, I was like, I I couldn't care less. Like, <laughs> enjoy the rest of your miserable lives. I think a lot of this is based on the concept of deserving. I mean, it pl- you know, play a stupid game, win a stupid prize. I mean, I don't know what else, what else to tell you. Don't drink. I'm not saying that. I'm water. not saying that what they did was smart. That that's doing something that's gross and stupid. Um, what my argument here is essentially it revolves around the nature of deserve. I don't think that people deserve diseases for making stupid decisions. They will get them, perhaps. It will be a natural consequences of the decisions that they make. But I don't think that it's something that they inherently deserve to have happen to them. I completely disagree. I think that they have earned that at that point. 
do you i like it's just like i don't think that if two gay men have sex right and unprotected sex that they deserve to get aids well, like I it mean, is something they're bringing it on to them aren't they they're incre- they're doing something with an increased risk of it I that mean, doesn't they, mean they, that don't, they deserve they, they to get know the risk and if it happens it's like well sucks for you yeah yeah but it's terrible and you shouldn't generally do that because it is an increased risk but that doesn't yeah. mean that if they get aids it's something that deserved to happen to them Theo, weigh in uh oh geez um did they invite the consequence of the action onto themselves? You could call that deserving. I don't know. You might, might not. Did their actions directly invite the consequences upon themselves? I don't. I don't. I don't think. Intent. They bought bath water that someone had been in and drank it. That's I true. They, that's bringing it upon themselves. I don't they know if that's a good decision. way. To, I don't know no, if that's a good way to frame deserving. I think deserving I should either. should it reflect upon the quality of who you are and be framed in terms of rewards I mean, or punishments. If, if you're drinking someone else's bathwater, that says very little about the quality of who you are <laughs> yeah, as a person. But I don't think being stupid, right, is necessarily something that should make you worthy of deserving bad things happening to you. I think it will happen. I think bad things will happen to you if you make stupid decisions. But I don't think, especially from like a moral perspective, that you deserve to have those bad things happen to them, especially if you do it because you're stupid or ignorant. So, so deserving is purely on a moral axis here. Then, I so think, you, you uh, just have an issue with a, the word that I'm using. What, what, what? The four or five times I said that this is based around the issue of how we define deserve. Yes, I hope. Yeah. Okay. So, if I say that they definitely earned that herpes, if I said they fine. had it coming, then yeah, absolutely, they have that coming. Yeah, if you do stupid, if you do stupid shit, then bad things will happen to you. That doesn't mean you necessarily deserve to have that happen to you. It's just it will happen to you or there's a very high risk of it happening to you. All right. Well, I mean, but for instance, if they they get herpes, I'm laughing at them. I'm (laughs) I'm not laughing at them. I think it's terrible. I think I I, I don't I don't like to laugh at other other people suffering. That must be a terrible thing to happen. Well, I mean, it wouldn't have happened if they didn't decide to drink somebody else's bath water. No, I agree. I agree. I just, I don't know. That just sounds like a terrible thing to happen to a person. I wouldn't want, if I could snap my fingers and ensure that nobody bees, I would do it. I mean, if I could snap my fingers and erase all stupid people, I'd do it too, but... I wouldn't know. erase all stupid people. Fucking hell. <laughs> Being stupid doesn't make, doesn't make you deserve to be just... I wonder Thanos how, how this is me. decided. <laughs> what, what, how do you... <laughs> Jesus Christ. I never said I'd kill them. It's more like just make them <laughs> <What>? smart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that changed dramatically I mean... as soon as we like, commented on it. <laughs> Wolf, did you laugh at those women who got beheaded in Morocco? No? I wouldn't kill them, I would fix them. Wolf 20. But I mean, if it happened, if they went to Morocco, and like, I don't don't know what the context behind that situation is, but I mean, if they went to Morocco in some certain part where that is a thing that happens, I mean, you (laughs) you brought it on yourself, I don't know what to tell you. Don't go to Morocco. Let's frame this as, well, here's a good example, right? There's a reason why prank videos are funny, right? So you see someone at home and then maybe like your spouse, their spouse jumps out from around a corner. It's like, boo, ah, Uh, or maybe they pretend to dress up as a monster and scare somebody, right? And then the person has a reaction because they're terrified, but, and that's funny. But one of the reasons that we find it funny is because we know that that person isn't in any actual danger. We know that it's just a joke. We have information that, you know, the victim in this case doesn't have. They're safe. They're not actually going to be murdered or stabbed or maimed in any way. That's why somebody who's legitimately afraid for their life from a real credible threat. That's why it's not funny. Right. See the two circumstances there. You know, it's kind of like a parallel here. But it's that's not the same thing as someone that's like going online being like, oh, this person like took a bath. Put no, the, it's uh, because someone in the cup. it's because someone said earlier that this was like, oh, Rags is saying that he doesn't like to laugh at other people suffering, but then he'll tell, you know, a Jew joke. He's like, well, in that situation, telling a Jew joke doesn't actually hurt anybody. It's, 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 it's a harmless joke. But someone getting herpes, that is an actual really bad thing that I that I uh, sympathize yeah, with. I, I agree with you. It's a terrible thing. Yeah. 
But again, that's you're bringing that on yourself completely. If yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I think you're a knowledgeable that adult yeah. that went online and knowingly bought bath water that someone was in, and you get herpes from it. It's like, okay. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's, it's terrible that that happened, but you did a really dumb thing, and this is a consequence of doing that insanely stupid thing. So it's purely a semantic distinction based on the usage of the term deserved. I mean, isn't and it how deserved? It if it's based on punishment slash rewards, then there would be a moral system behind it, and it's almost down to the person at that point. Trying to tell me morality is subjective? Maybe. For instance, here's, it's like, for instance, a soldier who is shot by another soldier on a battlefield doesn't deserve to be shot, right? But he is a soldier on a battlefield doing a job to perform a task. It'll be a natural result of him going out there and doing that. You see, that's a false I mean? equivalence. A soldier is not the same as some retard buying bathwater. No, no, no. I didn't. I didn't make that. I didn't make that connection. We're talking about the nature of you know, like of deserving things. We're not. We're not talking about bathwater anymore. And even then, that would still keep me consistent with how I view deserving. Okay. All right. So that, that that's that that's like an example of what I'm trying to say. I have activated a straw poll. Chat were very adamant that they wanted to vote on this. Vote on what? <laughs> Whether or not the person who bought that bath water and drank it deserves to get herpes. Oh god, chat agrees with Wolves. <laughs> I win. Like, oh god. It's got overwhelming <laughs> support at this that's point. Kinda, that's kind of fucked up, but alright. <laughs> I think I get what Rags is saying. Like, so they are let's, so, let's put it this way. They are stupid. Let's put it this way. All the people who drank that bath didn't get herpes. Was justice not done to them? Do they need to be given herpes so that justice is served? I mean, if they got herpes, then it's already done. Nothing. Well, it doesn't matter. They, they drank the water. They, all of those people committed the exact same action. So they should be given the same punishment. If they deserve herpes, then all the people who did not get herpes need to be given herpes so that we have justice. Don't you agree? After that, they deserve it. So you, you protest the term deserved in terms of like a karmic sense behind it. I we guess. said morality. And no, it's not, it's not karma. You know no, how the, no, no. you can sometimes see, sometimes see those videos on like Reddit where it's like, idiot tries to light birthday cake without realizing he sets his own head on fire because he's like got long hair. And he does it at first, and you get the, the video where he puts it out straight away after like screaming and running around in circles. It's like, oh, that was funny. But then the video where it lights the whole body on fire because they had something on it, and then they're just like screaming in agony and they burst through like a window and glass, and suddenly it goes from her <laughs> to, oh. And you might be like, yeah, they may have been stupid with what they did, but they didn't deserve that. Holy fuck. I imagine that's the distinction here. It's like there's a line to how much they should get as punishment. And I guess it's whether or not you think herpes is, um,. <laughs> Sufficient for buying. I don't know why someone would buy bath water off a person and drink okay. it. Um, but maybe, I think maybe herpes is a bit harsh as a result. But then the, the argument chat are making right now is that uh, if you're aware of the odds and the repercussions of your action, then you deserve the results of it if you take How that risk. How could you even calculate the odds? Um, I, I, I guess the argument must be that you shouldn't be drinking someone's. Bathing water in the first you place. You shouldn't. Yeah, that you should. We're all in agreement that what insanely stupid. Well, I guess that is a risk then, right? That would be a risk. Yeah, of... That's a risk that you can tally. So you should probably. But at what point? At what point do the odds make you worthy of deserving such a horrible punishment? Ten percent, twenty, thirty. I, don't know. I guess. This is I just weird. think they deserve whatever they get. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think. What if they died, Wolf? Would they deserve that? Like, what if someone broke into my house right now and shot me? I wouldn't deserve that. <laughs> Even though it happened to me. You, you didn't ask. For, you didn't literally buy a robber. You, be, you said people deserve what happens to them. Well, you meant in reference to the yeah, to the, it's not the, the same thing. Well, I, I mean, oh, I, I still don't. I still don't agree. I was about to say, like, Wolf, do you, you think they deserve agree. it if they die? No, 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 no. Shut up. So if someone buys bathwater and drinks it and they get herpes, how is that even <laughs> remotely equivalent to some random dude breaking into your house and shooting you? Because I said that in response to you saying people deserve what happens. I was clearly speaking in this specific context. No, apparently it wasn't very clear. Well, I'm sorry that you didn't think about that. You decided to come. I just go by what you but... say. No, I just I went by what you said. I mean, they're not looking for the robber to come and shoot them. It's not the same thing. People aren't looking to get herpes. 
Well, they fucking bought the water and drank. I would it. right. So it doesn't mean they're looking to get. They're not drinking it for the express purpose of trying to get herpes. But like, why would you advise against drinking someone's bath water though? Because it's because it's extremely disgusting. unhealthy. Right. Why? Because it could have diseases in there. There you go. So that's the awareness they should be. That's what that's what the argument yeah, I saw in I've, chat. Yeah, I've right? said this whole time. What they're doing is incredibly stupid. Yeah. So they they're taking the risk. Yeah, they are taking a risk. Now, whether or not they know about the extent of this risk is up on each individual person. I guess all I'm all I'm suggesting is that if you're aware of like, uh, it's because I don't know if the thing is like, I don't even know why she would actually bottle her bath water instead of just putting clean water in because there. she knows that idiots will pay for it no not that part i mean like literally because a lot of people were saying like she probably just put tap water in there and i was like that would make a lot more sense but uh but that then that would be false advertising <laughs> could they would they, be, would they be would they be able to I tell like, could she just that. put a bit of perfume in there as well either way don't drink people's bath water online Yes. Don't drink your own. Here's the, don't drink your own bath water. A, don't drink a stranger's bath water. I think that's good advice. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend drinking your own either. Um. Yeah, deserved is a complex uh, concept because it's very based in morality, from what I can discern. And everyone has a different take on what people deserve. Ultimately, unless we, go, unless you wanted to make a legal argument. Like what should they get? And I don't think you could say uh, someone should legally like a, legally get herpes. What, <laughs> I don't know how that would work legally unless she like knew that she had herpes. Oh yeah, I guess we could talk about what people. punishment she deserves. Because in that case, then she should yeah, no, totally. Like, I think she would be in years of jail time, huge trouble. Well, yeah, yeah, because we could talk about that because what she did was like a moral action that put people. Also, the, in I'm risk pretty sure they said in chat. Assuming, the, of course, that she even has. Herpes. It's all bullshit. I'm pretty sure it's just. Yeah, it was, I think it's. I think it's bullshit because if, if 50 people got herpes from it, it would be like a, a national scandal. Yeah, I think we would have heard about it more. This would be a huge deal. Or veto as well. <laughs> One of the unfortunate victims. I think he's he, not actually going to drink it. I don't know what he's going to do. There's no way. He's not that stupid. <laughs> would wow. you say if he did it, he would deserve whatever result he gets? No, I don't <laughs> think yes. bad moral actor who deserves that kind of physical punishment. So anyway, I'm going to go back to reading to Super Chatos. Uh, so Matt's moved on to collecting blocks now, Wolf? <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, someone said implying Vito doesn't already is Doesn't already what? Have herpes. Vito's never had sex. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with, not with a woman, at least. I hold Dark Whoa, Tower as the worst be? adaptation. Are you saying guys are easier to fight? Yeah, that's true. I hold Dark Tower as the worst adaptation of all time. Fuck has literally tried to squeeze seven to eight books into an hour and a half. Wolf can back me up. The Wheel yeah. of Time? No, no, the Dark Tower. Oh, the Dark Tower. There is. Yeah, I heard that movie was adaptation. terrible. It's fucking horrible. How did you hear the Wheel of Time from the Dark Tower? Um, I don't know, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf just wanted to give you a huge thanks. You are my ever-present and ongoing inspiration to fight off the gay. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to end up like. <laughs> I'm glad to be your inspiration. I guess. Was Clue the best movie based on a board game? No Battleship, obviously. Oh, yeah, the Battleship that's, that's movie. Yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's such a horrible movie. Yeah. Uh, concerned there may be... been dating a trans woman as far as I know. Really? <laughs> That's good for him. I'm, I hope that it works out for the both of them. I hope that they live a long and fruitful life. Free of the herpes. Concerned there may be a shadow ban on these streams. Last few haven't shown up in my recommended. Stay massive. That, uh, that might just be general YouTube issues. Because sometimes when I'm in the stream and I look for it, I can't find it. And then it takes a while for me to actually track it down and find it. Mm. That might just be YouTube being YouTube. Wolf, stop being a frame rate elitist. <laughs> Why that so, now? So Why hold on. Better? I'm an elitist because I care about how well a game runs. 
This is where Wolf and I are going to take a unified stance. Because <laughs> this is more <laughs> crazy. No you would, you would Wolf. You think me and Theo will be on board with this one too? Running That's below insane. 60 frames per second is fucking criminal. Yes. But hey, you know what? Even if it's a 1 FPS, you can get used to it. Right, guys? You can get used to it. No. That's great. It's great. Of course. Uh, I love playing slideshows. To clarify my anti-consumer question, who defines the yeah. interests of the customer? Unless fraud is involved, it can be assumed a person making the purchase knows their own interest. Still a fan, don't hate. Yeah, I think this is an argument that also factors in, like what we were talking about earlier, you know, deserve, there is a moral aspect to it, and there is our own, you know, our sense of justice and how we apply it to groups, you know, in this case, consumers. That's a very broad topic. Well, yeah, a um, good example would be that is, uh, Jim Sterling would be like, aesthetic, cosmetic microtransactions are terrible for the consumers overall, while there's plenty of consumers would be like, no, it's not. Yeah, and there's short-term consequences, long-term consequences. Generally, it's probably best to talk about specifics and specific cases, but if you want to use generalizations, then uh, things like false advertising are bad for the consumer. Uh, things that are not properly tagged or labeled are bad for the consumer. Uh, products that do not work are bad for the consumer. Stuff like that. You know, there, there could be there could be exceptions, of course, like with anything. Like if somebody maybe I buy a phone charger and it's so poorly designed that if it works properly, it explodes. But it's made so poorly that it never even works. Well, in that case, it's pro consumer that it didn't work because it saves a life. But that's that's a strange example just to illustrate that exceptions exist. Hey, Wolf, you like the comic Two Kinds? I like the, uh, the characters. Two Kinds? Two Kinds. I like the characters and kinds the, the... That's just it. That's the title. And I like the progression of the artwork because looking at page one and comparing it to page 1000, whatever the fuck he's on now, is fucking amazing. But the plot is fucking nothing. It's retarded. It goes absolutely nowhere. But characters and art are cool. Battlefield is it like a superhero comic? No. Battlefield 5 has completely fictional stories in it, not just factually inaccurate, some were just completely made up. Well, what they did was they like that they had one mission that was actually a mission that happened and was done, but instead of the actual crack team of commandos who pulled off the mission, they substituted it with a girl and her mother. Yeah, so and the girl like blew up something huge and killed. Yeah, like a, a hard water factory that they were using to potentially create like nuclear weapons or something. It's really insulting to the people that actually did things. Well, yeah, but we have to have it. It has to be a woman. Well, if it has to be a woman, then I don't have to play the game. Response to retail stores from last EFAP. I work in a spoons, and some of the stories that come out of spoons workers makes me lose faith in humanity. Yeah. You want to lose face in humanity really fast, work retail. Yeah, service industries, stuff like that. It's a, it's a bit of a mixed bag. If you yeah, want to lose your bag. faith in humanity real quick, work at a gas station. Worst job I've ever had. What did you do at a gas station? I was the clerk. Oh, the clerk. So, so I oh, had to, well, horribly, I wanted to kill oh. people. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Did Should have watched more extra killed? credits, you would have been fine. <laughs> uh, unironically, yes. Oh no. There are some horrible fucking people that go to gas stations, dude. You ever... Oh my goodness. I mean, you go to a gas station, you look at the people, and they all look like they want to kill themselves. There's a reason for it. I just go there to get gas. Sometimes, uh, maybe uh, some munchies. <laughs> you didn't want I've this. Got... You didn't ask for this, but suddenly you're on EFAP. I I just got this on on Twitter. I refuse to watch more streams. Wolf is a grade A prick because you like a film you have Down syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Wolf. You you're you're a, you're a grade A prick. You should have said such mean things. Well, grade A prick. If, if you like the Last gap. Jedi. I'm sorry. You have fucking Down syndrome. <laughs> Wolf's a gap. Wolf is a meanie poo. Oh, got him. <laughs> Wolf is a fat. Do you head? 
Wolf is a fat. <laughs> He's growing every with every pizza he eats, he grows rounder and rounder. There's gonna be a piece of Feywood like art where he's so big he just fills the room. You can just see like a pole from rags and then like the end of a gas mask thing in the corner. <laughs> like I'm crushing you too. <laughs> uh does someone need to make a formal explanation? Oh wait, I read that one out. Lord of the Rings trilogy on audio is about fifty-four hours. So you'd have to run it like three at the same time in order to get it done in one day and listen to all three. Well, no, I, I, you, if you put, um, I put my audible books at uh, 1.25 speed and that's like 48 minutes for every hour. So you take away 12, speed two. up by three times, 12 times 54 equals 648 divided by 60. That takes away almost 11 hours. Not enough. You gotta get it under 24 hours. The yeah, that's not fail. Happen. I'm watching the MCU for the first time and I finished Avengers. What are the movies that I can skip? Also, Thor is objectively horrible, but I love it. Um, what are the ones you can skip? Uh, I don't even remember exactly which ones you can skip in terms of understanding how the plot progresses, but I know that for what uh, in the MCU, but there's a lot that I would recommend skipping. For example, I'd mm, recommend skipping Iron Captain Man Marvel and, and three. Black Panther. You, but the thing is, if you skip Iron Man 3, you skip out on, you know, the, the, him doing the surgery at the end, which is kind of, I don't know. I don't think it's that important. A little bit, I don't know. I think you can reasonably skip that one. Let it, this is from Blessed Southpaw. Let it be known that I, Chad Pulse of Stuckman, the Blessed Southpaw, blesses MCU MJ. She's a good character in her own merit. <gasps> He's blessed to. I don't know if anyone can do this anything about this now. MJ and the Homecoming. Well, let's see, the next one is about MJ as well. MJ and Homecoming annoyed me with what little screen time she had. Her character lacked depth and being fleshed out. MJ in Far From Home is great because she actually gets some character. In short, Far From Home MJ is better than Homecoming MJ. I'd agree I with that. I can't attest to the second one, but I would agree that she's a kind of nothing character in the first movie. This is other the thing? than just being annoying. Uh, I don't think she's annoying. I, I don't know. I, I kind of cringed at that, like, I don't want to get art made by people that own slaves or whatever that stupid line was. She says she didn't want to go into the, um, the monument, the Washington Monument, because it was built by slaves, and then... Yeah, I mean, it's kind of cringy. Um, she's like, part of her character has been all protesty about the wrongs of America. I don't know. Mm, still, I mean, I can see how that might be great. Yeah, I, I I think I can accept that one. But I mean, the other like five scenes she has. Well, I don't even a remember the strong other jokes. five scenes. That's like literally the one thing I remember of her, and I was like, oh, I don't really like you. I just remember her being there, kind of weird, kind of entertaining. She was there. Yeah, I think I think that yeah, I think it's fair enough to not like it for that line, but um. I didn't really take that line that seriously myself. Because you have the um, the teacher who's like, eh, I don't think this is, this is the case. And then the other guy who's standing outside it makes like a 50-50 sort of sign. And um, I looked at an article about it. Apparently, and I think Rags knows about this as well, the running idea is that slavery was active in the area when the monument was built. But um, it would have required high skill stonemasons and uh, like pulleys and stuff. Yeah, you, yeah. I doubt that they got a bunch of slaves to create that building. You'd probably need very skilled, you know, like mason workers and because the Washington Monument, as far as I'm aware, is the world's tallest freestanding stone structure that doesn't have a steel reinforcement on the inside. I'll double check that, but it's something like that. So it's an impressive piece of architecture. You'll actually notice that it's multicolored because about a third of the way up um, when they began, I think the war of, I want to say because construction was halted because of a war and then they finished it later, which is why if you go to the monument, the bottom third is like white and then the rest of it is a little slightly darker tone of gray. What I read in the thing though, they had like an addendum to the article and it was like uh, there were several like, it, it wasn't uncommon for slave workers to be familiar in trades like that at that time. Potentially, yeah. And so the conclusion was, it's possible. 
we don't know no, it's and we, possible. we can't prove yeah, it's it. Possible. And so, but I, I think asserting it as a fact without knowing, I mean, we'll see the there's film wrong with saying it's a possibility. We don't know. The film has her say it was, it has the teacher say it wasn't, and then it has a guy say 50 50. So it's like, hmm. Well, but I actually think it's unnecessary completely. Like, yeah, I don't get that. It's, it's a weird line. Yeah. But um, I actually like the rest of her involvement in the film. Not that it's a lot, but again, I think that would be... Uh, it's weird how much focus there is on her as opposed to everything else in Homecoming. A lot of the conversations focus around her. Mm. It's interesting. Yeah, and she's such a minor character that it's very interesting, this focus on her when she has such little screen time and so few lines of dialogue. It's really disproportionate. It is. Uh, Far From Home changed me, made me want to buy more suits. Fair enough. More s more what? Suits. Ah. Suits? Spoilers. Why? My issue with Hill House was suit. the house slash ghosts were evil whenever the show wanted scares, but were a font of immortality with no significant drawbacks and all, but two of the ghosts are super chill. Uh, yeah, one of my issues with Hill House is what I would probably call the world building, how the ghosts work, how the house works. Episode 10 kind of throws all of it up in the air a little bit. Um, but I kind of wish that the second season would be like an origin story for it. Yeah, because they could actually fix a lot. Not that that's the, what you should be doing, just that they could. Plus there is like some intrigue in the last episode when that one ghost, I don't remember what her name was, started like rhyming about like the history of the house and it was kind of vague but pretty interesting i wanted to know more about that yeah and their their family it feels like there's a potential long interesting story for that previous family but anyway, i wouldn't want a sequel to that family but i would want like a prequel to explain the house some more no i'm referring to the the prequel family <laughs> yeah i know so why what do you mean sequel to that family i haven't had anything for that family no no i i meant the uh the Hill House family and like the the general ones like yeah no I wouldn't need a, a sequel for them this story's fine yeah um but yeah fair enough I found both MCU Spider Man movies to be good well made films I don't enjoy them nearly as much as the other versions of Spider Man because they replaced primary motivation for his character with Iron Man I don't know it's just different it is different Rask still doing a brown table response vid yeah. Rask? Uh, yeah, that's how they spelt it. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, I assume they were talking about me because uh, fuck it. Uh, wasn't extra credits the same massive that did videos on why microtransactions are a good thing in games? Was that the one where they were advocating for more expensive games? We were possibly going to check that out, but as you can tell, everything has um, become long. They may. I don't know if that was part of the. Yeah, because they made a video. That was pretty. That was pretty half and half last year. Games should not cost sixty dollars anymore. Inflation, microtransactions, and publishing, and it's nineteen k up, seventeen k down. So that was very poorly received. Because the arguments for it are pretty shit. <laughs> yeah, it's essentially the arguments of the video are, are, are basically that it's the duty of the consumer to support the video game industry, and that if you're not buying games, then you're basically you're I guess being irresponsible with your, I guess with with the charge that you well, have as if a game. Games I wanted games to play weren't coming out in 2020. I would buy more games. Uh, I don't like Homecoming. I haven't thought critically why. The only thing I liked about it was Michael Keaton's acting. I guess what I'm trying to say is I hope Rags finds his dawn one day. Slice and dice. Ah, uh, maybe. You maybe. never know. The Maybe. Dawn. I don't know if I'll ever find someone as good as Don. The Don is the face behind the Master Chief's helmet. Also, what is the collective opinion on Full Metal Jacket? I like it. I, haven't, I like I haven't that film it. a lot. I prefer you the fist. Seen it, really? No, I haven't. I would think that'd be a movie right up your alley. Yeah. Right up my what? Alley. Your asshole. Oh. Uh, alley. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah. I. I love Full Metal Jacket's. First, I want to say half. I think it's. I don't know if it's that long, but I, I prefer the first half to the second half. The uh, the sort of boot camp versus the actual war sort of thing. But I still loved it oh. as a whole. It's been a while since I've seen it, but I remember really loving it. 
Uh, Mauler watching Peter Parker turns completely irresponsible and selfish. Slice and dice, baby. Mauler watching Luke turns grumpy old man. No. So, is the criticism there that Peter Parker shouldn't be irresponsible? Would that also be out of character? I was going to say, I don't think that applies to literally Luke being a completely unrecognizable character versus Peter being someone that you think should be doing X based on source material. Uh, adaptation is not the same as continuity. No, it's not. I watched Captain Marvel twice, but still objectify my girlfriend. Damn. Yeah, boy. Watch it a third time. <laughs> Love Mola Wolf's rags content. Keep up the great work and long live the EFAP channel. Totally love you guys' Game of Thrones Season 8 reactions as well. Oh, there's more on the way. Oh, God. It coming. Feet are just weird noses. Yeah. I mean, I, I think we, we are kind of proved that in our discussion about it. Feet are just weird. I'd say feet are just weird noises. Yeah, that makes sense. Is this... <laughs> Hands are just weird feet. It's just vicious circle. What do you guys know of Yahtzee Croshaw's Game Dev Diary? And I think he's doing it way better at teaching about games development compared to Mark Brown. I've not seen it, but yeah, I would hope it's better than Mark Brown. Mark Brown teaches you that enemies shoot things at you in Cuphead and that... Yeah, <sighs> what Mark Brown tells you is just like shit that you've absorbed with that goes without saying. He's just saying it out loud in words and you agree with it because it's stuff you already know. Which gives the illusion that he's a really smart guy. It's like I, I said to Wolf earlier, or I said to someone earlier, I think it was Wolf, I can't remember. Um, in fact, I don't remember if this was today or yesterday, or if it was on stream or not, because <laughs> my life's a blur right now. <laughs> but I was saying, basically, if you're making a game, you don't really need to... I mean, if you've played games your whole life, or if you've played games for years, you know what works and what doesn't in your head. It's the execution of that that might be the issue, but you know in your head the things that work and the things that don't, what is good design and what isn't good design, and what's fun and what isn't fun. So you don't have to put too much effort, I don't think, in these, you know, the, these extra credit types who just tell you things you already know. Because a lot of these problems would be self-evident once they happen. I feel like you can find out more interesting things about games from just finding good channels that talk about games and, like, criticize them. Yeah. And just playing them, you'll absorb all that stuff. Yeah. Like, when you play a game and it's really crappy, you, you'll know why. Uh, and then the next one is, is Zach Gilbert and just says, me and Rags disagree on a few things. <laughs> all right. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> Have to watch Mundane Matt with a boulder of salt. Yes. Boulder of salt. <laughs> <laughs> I find their argument funny because COD World at War exists. I'm assuming that's in reference to good old extra credits. Well, there was there was an entire campaign where it was Russians versus... You, you were on the, the Eastern Front, so you yeah. were Russian pushing into Germany. I was telling Mahler and Fringy about it earlier, but there's that scene toward the end of the game where you kill all these... Uh, surrendering Nazis, like it's a kind of brutal scene. Something that they would never do in today's um, uh, Call of Duty games. You can't show the Russians as being bad. I mean, hell, they they, like they the don't Nazis. even show the swastika anymore in Treyarch games, and they're the ones that made World at War. It's, it's not like the Eastern Front was fucking brutal. It's pathetic, man. You won't you won't even put swastika. Jesus. Mola, which is coming first? TFA Critique Part 3 or Game of Thrones Episode 5 on Bridled Rage? Episode 5 on Bridled Rage. That is definitely coming first. And it's really on the way. It's just taking a long time because it's long and big and long and, you know, long. Here's my obligatory what? Theo Shill Monogatari to these massives, but he's not going to do it because he's a massive. He knows who sent this. You're correct. I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it. The same people say that all Germans were responsible for Nazis, but not all Japanese were responsible for a war that got themselves nuked. Hippocratical. <laughs> I like that word, hippocratical. Um, then there's something that happened at Nanking. Is Nanking a place that I'm unaware of? I oh, yeah. Uh, the Japanese that was in did 31, I think. Some bad shit at Nanking. There you go. 
CP yeah, like, yeah. CP Gaming Witcher 3 vid. Pl please talk to Brood. CP Gaming. Clean Prince Gaming? Oh. Guessing you did a Eternal Witcher 3 video? Less funny clone. Well, he probably has a Witcher 3 video singing its praises. Oh, CP... Oh, yeah, okay. Well, I mean, yeah, we still haven't covered him. Sad face. Valkyria Chronicles is a fantasy RPG based on World War II. I played the fourth game in the series. It's really good. I would recommend it. Did you become a Nazi? We have to confirm this shit before we can just play games. Jesus. But, um, I have not played it. Have you guys heard of Valkyria Chronicles? I have. Have you played it? Heard of yep. it. Talk to David Duke guest appearance when. Um... <laughs> I played Death Call of Krieg, so I guess I'm a clone that wears a gas mask and is a part of a cult of sacrifice willing to die for the Emperor. Uh, obviously. I don't even see why. Like, did you send that in for us to confirm? This is just easy. Uh, here's one, Rags. When an OSHA infraction is the same as saying not safe for work. Say that one more time. Here's one, Rags. When an OSHA infraction, so an OSHA infraction, yeah. is the same as saying not safe for work. That's fair enough. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's fair enough, yeah. Fair enough. Occupational Safety and Health, ad health Administration. Would any of you so tisms go on the official podcast? Yeah, I don't see why not. That's the one that Critical oh, runs, yeah. right? Releases a part of. Uh, yeah, sure. Fine, yeah. There you go. Yeah. We all agreed. Why not? Yeah, why not? We didn't mean to yeah, spend. Yeah, go on there. <laughs> <clears throat> we didn't mean to spend three hours on a five-minute video. At this point, that quote should just be on the EFAB title screen. I mean, <laughs> what if what if we beat that record by far? Then we'd have to swap it again. Didn't expect to spend three hours on a five-minute video. Also, massive equals big gay. Yes, that is that is the obvious de definition outside of all the other definitions. Uh, why does the Roman alphabet contain 26 letters where Latin only contained 21? Aliens? Latin alphabet doubles up on some letters, more doesn't is it? Better? You and say that, say thing, that one but... more time. Why does the Roman alphabet contain 26 letters when Latin only contained 21 letters? Uh, let me see. Because Latin Latin's Latin... sucks. No, because... Uh, da, 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 the Romans da, da. were more massive. You and V. In Latin, distinct. you wouldn't have. There's no. There's no W's in Latin. You would pronounce V's as W's. Um. There was no. I because I, I can't. I, I this is all off the top of my head. So like uh like, Volvo is actually pronounced Walvo. Uh, things like that. Um, by the way, by the way, Volvo is Latin for I roll. It was a fun little thing. Um, but I mean, I guess, I mean, it's like, uh, I'm not, I'm not sure which individual ones, but you know, as languages change, they morph some together or, um, then they become their own sound or new sounds are created by combining letters like S and H and, you know, T and H and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. It depends. I would have but no I think, idea. I think that the alphabet used to have like 32 letters. And then we dropped a bunch. Stranger Things Season 3's writing was very sloppy and pace was rushed. I mean, I thought it was terrible. Uh, EC is censoring the top comments. P.S. Social Blade. Yeah, uh, extra credits have lost something like 18k subs, I think someone was saying. High 17k. <laughs> and uh, apparently they've Let been deleting check. some top comments, but I never quite trust that because YouTube's a bit tismy with them. Um, there's a lot of comments that are still critical of them, though, so they didn't get rid of all of them. Yeah, they've they've lost about 20,000 subs the last five days. 20,000 bigots gone. Mission yeah. accomplished. Yeah. What's odd, though, is that the disparity, uh, disparagement in the numbers between the days. So in the first day, they lost 4,200, then 6,300, but only 1,900 the next day. But then after that, 3,000. And today, which isn't even done, they've lost 4,500. So 
it's it's kind of all over the place. I'm wondering, does that mean it's partially influenced by coverage from people all the people responding? Maybe. Very possibly. Yeah. Very possibly. What's interesting too is that this puts their channel in the red for this month in terms of subs. Hmm. Yes, maybe they don't do Which a great Usually overall. for a channel that size isn't quite, you know, usually for a channel that has like 2.1 million subscribers, they can take a loss like that but still be positive for the month. Right. But oh, they're they're down they're in the whole 1600 right now for the month. Yeah, like I said, people have I, from what I was gathering, people think that it's changed since they changed over the, the voiceover guy from the high-pitched dude to the other dude and the, this thing's going on in the background, so it might be that it's just not the same content. And the thing is, I, I, didn't, I never liked the old voice. I thought it was really just tough to listen to. Um, but the new voice, I don't like that one either. He's very condescending. <laughs> it's very mm -hmm. con Yeah, it's very condescending and, and robust, I guess, maybe? And suddenly you're a Nazi. And suddenly you're a Nazi. I'm like, okay, chill out, mate. Our first live EFAP. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Neat. Yeah. The National Association of Zionist Israelites. Nazi. I got some overtime this week, so $5 for Ragazizz since I found his channel first. Love what you guys do. Enjoy your Sunday, Ragazizz. He didn't respond. I shall enjoy my Sunday immensely. And also, yeah, people have been saying I'm a um, I'm a character in Valkyria Chronicles 4. I, I have seen that. Um, I like it, too, because I like to play healing-based characters, and he is a medic doggo. All the better. Oh, I've seen that. It was on Twitter, where it just looks exactly like you. Hooray! I think he's something else. I'm at the live show. AJ Abrams should reboot history and save it. Um, you would just <laughs> copy history. like yes. you would just copy Game of Thrones' history and fuck it all up. It was a bad copy. Just start writing it again. Rags, Get rid of all the current books. Rags' opinion on playing as Nazis might be a tad biased. Oh, definitely. Very influenced by his history as being a Nazi. Oh yeah, that's very true. I just I'm just trying to stick up for uh, mine Bruthers. I don't actually know what the German word for brother is. German. Monfrey. Translation. Bruder. Yes. Mine the Bruder. Mine toxic brood. <laughs> Mine brood. Let's see. My toxic brood. My toxic brood. Mine the giftige brood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mine the giftige brood. I'm probably He's a crypto that. brood lord. Crypto brood lord. That's a that's like a boss. It's like a level <laughs> sixty bra boss. You have to kill the crypto brood lord to get the gold level item. <laughs> Watch Flyboys for historical accuracy. Uh, it can't be accurate, so no. Should have unicorns in it. Guy going into history here. Can you can confirm that I've already been turned into a nat sock? Also, Rags and Wolf just released the sex tape already. Do I have to come over there and oh god, he said something else there. What did he say? What what did he say? He offered to give you both the suck. <gasps> oh. Well, I mean, if you do well, that, then we might expedite it. Well, uh, let's be let's be clear here. He said if I if we need to release the sex tape, or he'll have to come over here and suck us both off. Me? Only if only if Wolf and I get to kiss while he does it. I think that's a pretty fair trade. Um, the only way for Star Wars to be somewhat redeemed is for Kylo to do a 720 sheave spin. What we'd need to do <gasps> is give Star Wars TROSW a 10 out of 10. I mean, yeah, that would sell tickets. The sheave spin is hard to master. Sings penis to the SMB 1-2 theme. Alright. Rags, have you ever heard of a root ward? Root, root word, sorry, not root word. Root word? Yes. Wait, are, are we going to go into why a lot of what I said have very clear and logical explanations and it totally wasn't just a joke for the moment? I don't even know what you're referencing. Yes, I know, I know about root word. <laughs> <laughs> he knows about root words? Glad I was finally... Yes, I, I know, like, the, like the A... What was it? A... 
in the B. Ah, yes, the A a trade. Like a trade is good. B trade. I, obviously, I know those are different words. I was just I was doing the sillies for the EFAP stream on the internet, which you could tune into now on uh, Mahler's channel. We take this very seriously. I don't think there's ever been a joke on EFAP. EFAP is a joke. The meme section is an wow. account of the history of EFAP. We're just watching clips from recordings live. We get up to a lot of oh. stuff off off podcast. We run around yeah, in we're... lots of environments, yeah, close to getting killed. It's a, it's very interesting. Glad I was finally around for an entire live EFAP. A lot of the super chats are about how people are catching this EFAP. It's weird. I guess this one was caught a lot by people. Chunky well, it's Sunday, so maybe everyone's kind of like hanging around on Sunday. Maybe the weather's bad, and so everyone's staying inside. You that know, makes sense, don't catching it? up on the EFAP. Mm. He, hey, hey, Crimal Gaming is here. He said, can't confirm, no jokes on EFAP. He's the Sausage Doom man. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably like... You should put the Sausage Doom on screen for him. <laughs> the Sausage Doom man. <laughs> or, no, Sausage Raider. Put Sausage Raider up on the screen. Oh, right, yeah, give me a sec. I'll f have to find it. Oh my god, I have to cycle up so far. Sausage Wolf Raider. Rags, we have a deal. Can I cuddle with you afterwards, too, though? I don't know about that. Uh, Three's kind of a bins. crowd, buddy. Uh, I don't know. Not all crowds are bad. Not all crowds are bad unless you're fat. I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe if you could warm us up, uh, Wolf and I could spit roast you. There you go. Yeah, it all works out. Oh, win, win, win. Oh, I Raider. work out. Hey, Wolf, do you work out after all your pizzas? I do. Do you take your pizzas and roll them up and down hills, and then when you get back, you can put it in the oven and cook it and eat it? No, actually, little... this actually this week I started doing the paleo diet, so it's been working. Did pretty they well did for they me. have um did they have pizzas back in the uh, back in the day back? In uh, the... Surprisingly enough, no, they didn't. Oh, okay, all right. I didn't know. So you can't eat pizzas with the paleo diet. No. Oh, okay. So what you're saying is you're you're shitty at diets. What I'm saying is I haven't ate any pizza this week. Bullshit. Any what do you mean bullshit. bullshit? Prove me wrong. I don't believe. Prove you right. <laughs> prove you. You prove you right. You how am I supposed to prove right. that I haven't? How am I supposed to prove that I did a thing that I didn't? Stool do? samples. Oh no. Stool. What? You want me to collect my own shit and say? You know it how much you? shit we have to go through here on EFAP. Yeah, I was gonna say we're going pretty good at it now. Yeah. yeah, this is more pleasant than some of the crap we have to go through. <laughs> Chunky or smooth peanut butter? Smooth. Rags? Huh? Chunky. Oh, smooth. Oh, all right. Smooth. I don't want the last thing I need. When I'm when I've got peanut butter over what I'm eating is to get like little bits and I just don't now I love peanuts, but I don't want like the peanut bits in the smooth peanut butter. I agree with that. Also, yeah, I hope you enjoyed Sausage Raider. Um, it was beautiful. And uh, yeah, I, I like both. I don't really mind either. My, I was going to say it was both. Maybe that's a British versus American thing. Who knows? My diabolical plan to make Wolf too fat to escape EFAP early is going according to plan. Brings more pallets of pizza. The proof. Wolf has eaten pizza this week. They went as brought Wolf crates. Wolf X Rag Spit Roast adds to to-do list. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, it's all over. I'm actually aw autistic. I know you're shocked looking at my PFP, so I have my authority to give all of you autism pass and add it to your R and A word passes. Nice. Autistic, you know, it's like it's like aw. Yeah, but that could aww. that could be used in some way, shape, or form for some memes. I don't know. Yeah. Theo sounds like Sean and Jen. <laughs> it's Sean. You don't want to know. You don't know who Sean oh, is. No, the most. I don't know who Sean is. The most autistic of the SJWs. He's like one of the dumbest human beings alive. Oh, is he that weird guy with the skull avatar? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Theo, oh, you, sh you no. should say, hello, everyone. Hello, and Jen everyone. is his like, retarded <laughs> girlfriend or whatever. It's not actually too bad, honestly. Oh, no. Rags, I'm not here, Go and bark massive sausage rhino milk. What? <laughs> 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 this is strange. Uh... 
Do you prefer the first two Raimi films or MCU Spidey? Um, I adore Spider-Man 2. And I adore Homecoming. I'm not sure which I think is the... Yeah, that's, that's this tough. tough to pick between those two, but I think they're both better the than the first It's not the first time this has been asked film. of us, either. No. I think we discussed I it on the, the Raimi a... stream that we did way back when. It's, it's a tough tough call, honestly. I might have an affinity for Homecoming because Tony Stark's in it, and I love Tony Stark. Yeah, I'm not even sure what I'd pick for a personal preference. I'm really not sure. Yeah, I'd have to watch them tough. both back to back and both... then really think about it. They're both amazing. Uh, listen, at least Vito lives up to his title as professional idiot. All right, I guess well, his writing I is consistent. Well, I admire a man who sticks to his guns, yes. Also, Rags, game suggestion for Zelda, for Switch, Zelda Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart, and if you like JRPGs, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Final Fantasy mm. 12, and Octopath Traveler. A lot of recommendations. I can attest that Zelda is fucking awesome. I've been no playing Bayonetta the shit out of it. 2. No Bayonetta 2 on that list? No. Yeah, no Bayonetta 2 on that I heard a lot of bad about Bayonetta 2. It's not as good as 1, from what I understand. But... It's still a Bayonetta game, so I hear it's pretty good. Every time Wolf and Rags get into a fight, I am happy. And Wolf, you are wrong, you <laughs> massive. <laughs> That's true, Wolf is wrong. Well, the, the, the audience, next one. Sixty-eight percent of the audience says I'm right. Well, it's funny, the next I'm one. Sorry, Wolf I'm sorry, is but correct. I believe that's a logical <laughs> fallacy called the uh, pill. Well, you know. Well, wait, but Wolf didn't say that he is right because of that. He just said, "Oh well, that amount of the audience agrees with me." No, I, he just took. He simply fun. took comfort we in it. We know what he knows. But yeah, Wolf is correct. I, the Mexican Don, decree it. And the name of the profile is El <laughs> Don. Don. Discount Don? What? Name is El Don. El Don. El <laughs> Don. And now I'm El picturing Don. the. He will put it over the memes and he just has like a sombrero. A sombrero. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I am. They call me Senior Don. <laughs> they can have Don and Don meet, and Don could be like, Who are you? And he'd be like, I am done, but I have more. I understand tacos. you are the done from north of the Rio Grande. <laughs> Rhino bathwater greater than Bell Delphine's bathwater. Obviously. It's not really a competition, is it? Rhinos don't give you hits. Is that the name of the chick? Bell Delphine? Apparently. Okay, because I, cause I don't actually. I, I know the story about the bathwater. I just don't know who it is. I just some internet thought. She looks like a trap. <sighs> a dark trap. You could say that they earn it rather than deserve it. Oh, not this again. <laughs> Rags. Oh, well, earn is. Oh, no, I, th I think that's interesting. You know, earn and deserve. I mean, are are they interchangeable? That's interesting. I have to think about that. Rags bought Delphine's water, but it's too much of a cow to justify it, and doesn't want to admit he deserves the herpes he got from it. Wow, I didn't know that was the case. Do we add the but? Bath water herpes question to the list of things to ask guests now, along with the episode 9 adoption <laughs> question. <laughs> Bath water herpes. <laughs> I'd snap all my fingers and erase all the stupid people. Wolf and Movie Bob. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I clarified by saying I wouldn't kill them all. Yeah, you'd fix them. them all smart. Yeah, I would. Think, <laughs> are you saying it's bad? To I'm, be su like, okay, I'm now suggesting you're smart. that you're thinking. This person would choose to vote on this or do this or this. It's like, I will make them correct and I will force them to do the correct thing. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant. You mean you'll raise their IQ? What are we talking about here? Yeah, I mean, like, just make them more intelligent. I don't mean, like, make them think a certain way. Hmm. I don't think we can trust these guys. It sounds like a eugenicist to me. Movie well, Bob, you know, what? Maybe eugenics weren't all that bad. Um, oh, Zach actually wants a legitimate answer to the question of do we add the Bartholder Herpes question? Do you know how embarrassing it'll be to ask people like who are brand new to the stream do they think someone deserves <laughs> butt water herpes from drinking it? I don't think we should ask that question. <laughs> That's horrible. That's bad. I, I think that would turn people away from our show pretty quickly. And yet, there will be people in chat saying it whenever we have a guest now. We'll just be like, just ignore that. They're just fucking around. <laughs> One minute you're on Team Wolf, and suddenly you're Thanos. Yep. <laughs> I love you guys. Here's a bit extra money from Build. Five k dollar PC build. Frack you. That's why I'll sit on Rags and Wolf's lap, given the opportunity. 
Yay. Or you could just lay across both of it. Bars. Both of it? Are you are you I, two an item? I, I corrected and said ours. I mean, we can be an item if Rags wants. Mm. Uh, an aggressive family friend looked for a fight the other day and got shot and killed for his trouble. Did he deserve to die or did he have it coming? Wait, what? An aggressive family friend looked for a fight the other day and got shot and killed for his trouble. Did he deserve to die or... Uh, or did he have it coming? He looked for a fight? Is in like he was instigating it? I guess. I, I mean, know. if someone had like reasonable suspicion to I was going to say, was we probably need more and context. He was, like, trying to fight him, then. Well, like. I mean, just. I, like, yeah, I want more context for this, but. For example, if you swing I mean, at it, someone it, and miss, like you go to punch them and you miss, and then they pull out a shotgun and blow your head off, I'd be like, whoa! Yeah, <laughs> I, I need to know, like, does he have a weapon? Like, is he trying. Is he, like, actually trying to fight someone? Because that's going to alter my answer. But I mean, if someone came at me, like, looking to, like, punch me in the face and, like, I don't know, beat the shit out of me or whatever, it's like, I don't know. If I have a gun and I have reasonable suspicion to believe he's going to try and enact physical harm upon me, he's, he's kind of asking for it. If you shot someone under that, and then you would be found guilty of murder if that was your reason. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Reasonable suspicion? That's not going to cut it for shooting somebody. How do cops get away with it, though? Uh, you're not the cops. Now, reasonable suspicion. Yeah, I guess I would do different. Now, like, you would have. Now, reasonable suspicion, you need that if they want to, like, check your car. Like, if they smell weed, then they have reasonable suspicion to believe there's weed in the car and then can search it. Well, but, yeah, for I instance, understand that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that would be a difference there. But if somebody, but if you have like a gun, like you're con carrying concealed, and you tell a courtroom, I had re I, I felt that I had reasonable suspicion. But I mean, if someone's coming gonna... at me with like a knife or something, uh, yeah, in a lot of cases, that would absolutely be just you bet. Then, then yeah, that I mean, like in that case, absolutely. It, it, it depends. Maybe though. I should have worded that differently. But I mean, like, yeah, it depends. I, the I mean, like, if someone was coming at me with the intent to kill. And I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that was what was going to happen. Like, would that legally? Yeah, for the most part, yes. For the most part, yes. Depend yeah. on what state and stuff like that. Yeah, but there's the but this is where it gets really really weird because if you're in a state where you don't have a stand your ground law or a duty to retreat law, like we have. Oh Arkansas, yeah, that that's true because it's different, states yeah. have different laws on this. And what? It, let, let's take it. Let's take it. This example. Let's say. Um, you have somebody coming at you with the intent to kill, but they were in a wheelchair, right? Well, then. Well, I mean, if they see, had like, a shotgun or something. Well, oh well, yeah, if it's, it was a knife, it was usually not. Well, that's just how interesting it gets, you know? That's how crazy, intricate the whole thing can be. That's why, you know, it's a ser it's serious business. Yeah. And the, guys, the guy clarified, friend had yeah, no I, weapon. I would want to know the context. Friend had yeah, no weapon, but beat the man to a pulp. Friend was the one who instigated. So... If you beat up a person to a pulp, and then I guess got shot and killed, yes, you can. That, yeah, yeah you that, can that sounds pretty it. justified to me. Yeah, I mean that's what the, uh, essentially the grounds was for the Trayvon Martin case. Because if you beat someone up enough, then you can absolutely be shot dead in self-defense. Because the, depending on how you use your fists, that's absolutely potentially a deadly weapon. Uh, from Chip Chipley, 70% of the voters are wrong. Rags, if the ball says don't drink and they drink anyway, do they not deserve whatever ailments they get, temporary or permanent? If the what? So if a ball says don't drink and they drink it anyway, do they not deserve whatever ailments they get, temporary or permanent? Uh, depends. Depends on the ailment, I think. For instance, if you have a... Um, or is, if there's a door that says employees only... But you open it, and there's a guy on the other side who shoots you dead. You know, like obviously they you don't deserve to get shot, right? So it's a matter of it's a matter of the extremity, not no extremity. The it's on the spectrum, right, of whatever the whatever the uh, the consequence is. Because to a degree, sure, you know, like if if you walk through that, if you open that door that says employees only, and play on the other side that says, "Hey, asshole, you're not supposed to be back here." Then yeah, you probably deserve that. Right, so it's on it's on a scale, it's on a spectrum of what the consequences are. 
And that's and, and here's the thing. That's why it's such a comp. This is why it's a complicated discussion that we've been having, for essentially the beginning of mankind. Mm -hmm. You know, what do people deserve to have happen to them for the actions they commit? You know, how do we figure out what the best justice is? Yeah, like it's a complicated a, subject. Ones that people would find easier, for example, would be like a guy like I don't know tries to poison some water to kill some people, and he ends up drinking it because he's I don't know idiotically chosen the wrong cup or some shit like that. And it's like, well. You reap what you sow. You kind of deserve that, that sort of thing. Yeah, it's it's a complicated. It's very very complicated, and there's not one real. I don't think there's really a set of, a standard set of rules that you can apply generally. Yeah, it's a it's a tough, interesting, long term conversation. And when yeah. morality comes into it, that's when you know it's going to be a long man conversation. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's put it this way. Let's say you um, let's say you are uh, a monk in the medieval ages, and you spend your you dedicate your life to helping to ease the suffering of people who have leprosy. Do you deserve to die of leprosy? Well, you know, that's, it's different then, isn't it? Mm. It's just all, it's all about what the scenario is, what, what the situation is. A fascinating conversation. Interesting, yeah. Uh, let's get our gamble freak on. No time for just right, but can we straw poll and debate herpes water for half an hour? <laughs> <laughs> no herpes water. Don't drink herpes water. Oh, they said like no type of just right, but we can straw poll to make herpes water for half an hour. Sad face. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, this is the thing. Just right deserves his own episode. He'll get it. It deserves his own episode. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, well when, when's the next episode? episode? I I would say that. Yeah, I'd say he, he probably has earned. So, when is the next episode anyway? I guess next we'll Sunday. figure that out when the stream's next over. Sunday, a whole week before we get to just right. That sounds just wrong. Oh, that that would just be the Spider-Man one, so it'd probably be two more weeks. Oh yeah, we're <gasps> well, we will be talking about Far From Home, but we might be. It depends on what what guests are looking like. The thing is, yeah, well, we're I probably gonna have to we'll delay the Just Right one, otherwise we'll have to have Theo on again. That's the same guest twice in a row. Who would want to see that? Well, we could have a f fifth. A f I guess we could. Yeah, yeah, we could have a fifth. Hmm. I'm trying to I'm trying to stop myself from saying fifth. In saying fifth. 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 I mean, I'm not very talkative, so I count like half a person. Jesus so Christ, would you stop talking fun. for five yeah, seconds? Theo, calm the fuck down. Theo, Sorry, wouldn't you man. just shut the fuck up? Shut the front door. And the back door. It is God, and the massive. back door. No, my back door is always open. Why do you even bring this fucking massive faggot on here? All he ever does is Don't talk say that about Mauler. I know, man. I get, I, he, Wolf she just, makes the memes was, come up on the Wolf screen. Wolf's saying that about you. I get the memes on the screen. He makes the beams pop up on the magic box. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? Uh, Mola, you should make a notify.me account so people can always know when you upload instead of relying on the YouTube algorithm. Still in beta, launching soon. I mean, hell, if, if a lot, bunch of people start adopting it and it's really useful, sure. Wolf, are you saying Rags' dad has Down syndrome? Oh yeah, because he likes The Last what? Jedi. No, oh, I think that oh, he's just oh. one of those. He's very much one of those turn your okay. brain off when you go to movies. Okay, kind of guy. Got, uh, everyone, gonna let you in on a little secret. God, I'm being hyperbolic. You're not supposed to take me fucking seriously. No, you just sound like a lawyer bending the rules. Uh, okay, you 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 not you totally serious right up until someone asks you if you are. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's how I determine whether uh, whether I've been too serious or not, is when the first person asks, are you being serious? Oh, no, no. Wolf, you're not listening to audiobooks right unless you listen at 3.5 speed. Get on my level. Oh, good lord. Uh, your t I mean, yeah, that's pretty fast, fuck. Your take on EC's vid was pretty good, thank you. It boggles my mind he doesn't know what Iron Crosses are. EC's series about Otto von Bismarck and German unification from two years ago was amazing. Well... I'm afraid the times have changed. I heard you didn't know EC's content at all, so I can really recommend the both Bismarck series from two years ago, one about Otto and the other about Battleship Bismarck is worth a watch. That's the thing, I'm sure there is good content on, uh, on Extra Credits' channel as a whole, and it's a shame. They do history stuff as well? Apparently, which is, like, wow, you know? <laughs> it's like, you guys do history, huh? And, and you said all of that, okay. Mm. I, stop normalizing make... Bismarck. Yeah, doesn't that make them Nazis? Kinda. If they've ever Kinda. read if a book. If they put the Iron Cross on screen on that video, so... <gasps> yep. 
Uh, I promised that after Endgame I was done with the MCU. If Black Panther and Captain Marvel are indicative of future quality, I think I'm better off. Indicative. Well, you know, we may see, you know, better things or worse things. You never quite know with this uh, wonderful adventure. A rule is just a weird law. Bilbarian Bogodumble. Bongo Dumble? <laughs> Bongo Dumble. <laughs> Bongardium Levy Baggins. Bilbarium Bongo Dumble, yeah. Bongo Dumble. <laughs> <laughs> Bongo Dumble. I I'll, like Bongo Dumble. I'll put that one in the new Cadell, I like it. It's very unique. Bongo Dumble. Bilbarium Bongo Dumble. It sounds like an actual character. Um, I have a hard like time a accepting that post Civil War Tony Stark would want to leave the keys to an arsenal of WNDs to a horny teenager. Um, you know, he didn't the FBI. Well, I think that the, we were, spo we were supposed to accept the element that uh, he gave it to Peter for Peter to decide how it would be used or who would be able to use it. The fact that there's the protocol on there to allow him to, you know, gift uh, things. It's not, to... it had to be. I thought it had to be. Um... Oh, wait, are we talking about the training wheels thing? Actually, well. Technically, it's it's in the new film, so it may as well just we'll have to wait till next week once they've seen it. All right, yeah, I haven't seen the new one. If it's in the new one, then yeah. I thought Rask would get triggered by me writing "me and Rags" instead of "Rags and I." Hi, Rags. Hello, hi. No, I just I just got I got it out of my system. You just gotta let. Listen, man. Sometimes you just gotta let it go. You just gotta go with the flow. You know, you gotta you have to be like, you have to be like water. You gotta. Curve with the bend and go with your flow. No. Morla knows how to get me excited, big and long. Mm. Oh. Theo, I'm disappointed okay. by your lack of references to Nietzsche. Oh. Uh, that's an in joke, kinda, from the Discord server. Why'd you guys hang on to that server? It's so lame. It's my job now. <laughs> hey, Wolf. And I don't is... even get paid for it. I know. It's it's practically slavitisms. Slaves with jobs. Slaves Voluntary with slavitisms. Hey Wolf, is Oi the number one doggo? Who? I don't know. O Y Oi. Oi? Oh, Oi from Dark Tower. Yes. Wow. Like, you wanna you wanna run that by me again? Wow. Okay, well he's the best fictional doggo. Yay. <laughs> Wolf Rags, we have a deal. Can I cuddle with you afterwards too though? Yeah, probably. We have to pay I, extra I, I, for that we'll get, with we'll get all that, that depends on how much you weigh. <laughs> I, 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 what if we could cuddle with him? He might be like a big beanbag, and we could just yeah. But if I have to like sink into his fat folds, I yeah, might that's you know, that's exactly. You know, we gotta we got a limit here. Hey, maybe that's comfy. Yeah. It's no. Limit, no. 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 It isn't because it gets all taste... sweaty and. I don't want to taste like the skin crust if he's like one of those people on my oh, six hundred no. pound life. Oh no, no oh, skin crust, no. please. Yeah, let's. Uh, no we'll, skin crust. We'll get back to you when we know your weight. No, 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 no. Was gonna use today's <laughs> super chat money to buy a farm for all my n words, but you guys could probably put the money to better use, like pizza. A farm for all my n words. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> a cotton farm for all my n words. Like pizza and bathwater diseases, which you would absolutely deserve, rags. <laughs> Huh? This will go on. They said that they they decided to they'd prefer to spend the money on pizza and bathwater diseases, which you would absolutely deserve. <laughs> All right then, you asked me to <laughs> right, yeah, for yeah, no reason, I guess. Chat, I accept this challenge in relation to the cuddling. I suppose hashtag PizzaGate. <laughs> Wolf. Someone said no skin crust, just thin crust. Oh. Say no to skin Ugh. crust. Say yes to thin crust. Indeed. Wolf X Rag Spit Roast adds. Oh yeah, you read that one out. I mean, mm. yeah, that's uh, that thing. Yeah. Like it tuckered out to other people there, yeah. Uh, da -da -da -da. you guys should check out the Skyrim mod Vigilant. I'm currently playing through it, and it's pretty good. Fair enough. Skyrim. Okay. Wolf. Scrim. Wolf, have you seen the Breath of the Wild sequel trailer? Yes, it looks interesting. Although mm. there wasn't really much shown. Um, so it was it was Breath of the Mild. Yes. Nice. Right. 
Eldon Ring with George R. R. Tolkien and Tonald Software. Wait, Wolf, the height of a person hmm. matters too. Like there's a difference between someone that's 200 pounds that's 5 foot and 200 pounds that's 6 foot. That's oh, true. Absolutely. Weight yeah. and height. I want a big studly minotaur of a man. Absolutely. Yeah. Then we minotaur. Might actually have that's to another be different doing one. Job on you. We say minotaur mm. over here. You guys say minotaur. Actually, I don't know how I, you I, pronounce it. I, I don't I, know. I've, what... heard it, I've heard it pronounced I've heard it both, both ways. ways. Did I, I said mino, right? <laughs> I, I always pronounce it minotaur because of Crisis 2. Hmm. I've always known it as minotaur, but I heard it pronounced as minotaur in an American a game. I think it was. I can't remember what game it was, but point being, I was like, huh. I think Minotaur sounds cooler than Minotaur, by the way. I, that's just my, you know, that's something like personal subjective, objective opinion. In my personal subjective opinion, I think Minotaur sounds a lot cooler. All right, well, here. Uh, it's called the Minotaur because it was from the island of Minos, right? I don't know. Are they, is, it, is it Minos? Is it the island, is the island Minos or Minos? <laughs> I have no idea. Fuck. No, wait, it's probably easier to find it. Okay. Um, how to pronounce Minos. So if it's in Greek, um, da 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 da. Minus. Main. Uh, May. What? <laughs> minus. Minus. So dictionary.com says minus, which means Minotaur would be probably correct. Because well, no, minus wasn't the, the no, my bad. Minus wasn't the island. Minus was the king. He is the one who ordered Daedalus to build the labyrinth because his wife gave birth to the Minotaur. <laughs> Minotaur Yanopolis. <laughs> <laughs> Minotaur. He the Crete is the island. Uh, minus was the king of Crete. So when his wife got pregnant with the Minotaur, Minotaur. Minotaur he ordered Daedalus to build the labyrinth. God, how fucking shitty of a birth that have been. Dot com. With the horns and everything? Oh, yeah, jeez. Not the well, more than just the horns, also the horse body. The horse body? Wait, or, no, wait. Horse no, not horse body. Just, well, not the whole body or another. Well, I would probably be the size of a normal human baby. But it's so much bigger, wouldn't it? But it didn't have a bull's so body. It had a it had a man's oh. body this is a bull's head. I just, yeah. Mm. This is interesting. The three videos yeah, big, I found on how to pronounce else. it are all Minotaur, but they've all got a really low approval rating. Like, they're all at 20, uh, 24%, 49%, 33 It's kind of like a combination of a bull and a human body. Yeah, monster. Body of a man. Oh, and the head and the tail. Oh, that's weird because... Because it's got hooves. All the well, images that pop up show it. It says, it says it had the body of a man and the head and tail of a bull. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. But and all is, the pictures have it as a man's body, bull's man. head. It's basically, it's basically a cow-themed furry. <laughs> uh, I mean, you can't really it's deny it. Bull-themed one, but it's know. like a, yeah, it's like a guy with a bull head. You're like a guy with a bull head. I am a guy with a bull head. Mm. Bull. All right then. Uh, Theo, I know this may seem random, but as an EFAB guest, does someone deserve herpes from bathwater bought online? <laughs> they earned it. They earned it. Wow. Would you rather he paid five million dollars to eat a turd sandwich once per month, or be paid two million to watch The Last Jedi once per week? Sincerely, Mr. Massive. Who's he? What? You know. Say he. that one more time. Would you rather he paid five million? Oh, maybe it's supposed to be B. Would you rather be paid $5 million to eat a turd sandwich every month, or be paid $2 million to watch The Last Jedi once per week? $2 million to... Okay, so $5 million to eat a turd sandwich once a month. Or $2 million to watch or The Last Jedi once million, a week. I would definitely take the $2 million. Yeah, and especially because I can manipulate the crap out of this. I can be doing a lot of things. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> like... Is, Oh yeah, I get it. Sorry, I wasn't actually paying attention. The uh, the the fact that I could be like doing anything I want while I'm watching "quote unquote" the Last Jedi, you know, I I could be I could have some food. I could hang out with a friend. You know, there's lots of things you can do. Maybe do some exercise. What's in the background? They didn't specify anything. I'm gonna monkey pull this and just just do whatever I want. 
A monkey's paw. Oh, well, I don't know, man. If it's the monkey's paw, then that two million that you get is going to because of some fucked up. Oh, reason. I mean, like, I'm yeah. the monkey paw in this scenario is in like, I'm the one who takes. You're just one. The yeah, the, the, Mahler, you're a monkey paw. That's all you are. You're oh, just weird one, monkey paw. You're just a stinky monkey's paw. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that. From the bottom of my tizzles. It's tisms. not the worst. Yeah, it's not the worst. Theo, shut the hell up. Wow. Someone paid money to do that. <laughs> Jeez. Damn. You guys missed my first super chat. Oh, no, we, I read it out. It was the one where you ended it in saying hop at Hippocrot. Who, hippo, hippo, rot. I think it was Hippocrot. I, I, I remember reading it and saying... I think it's hippo, hippo milk. Hippocrotch? <laughs> Just to make sure. Yeah, the only one... Hippoc no, Hippocratical. Unless there was another one. Let me load up. Hippocratic? Let me load up uh, the rest of today's to make sure. Nobody likes to miss these things, you know? Got to make sure. Any of you guys watched the first episode of Dr. Stone? <gasps> no. What's that? No, I've never heard of that. Yeah, I got the hip Hippocratical and the new one. Someone said Minotaur is the Greek pronunciation, while Minotaur is Latin, so they're both technically correct. Wait. That's not acceptable. <laughs> Two opposing things cannot both be. No, it's not, absolutely not acceptable. We will vote for it on the next EFAP. Very well. So. I will give everyone a week's time to decide. To give this, to decide, to give this thought. Give it a thought? thought. Give it thought. There is a wrong thought. answer. Um... We will determine what the wrong answer is. We will literally use this poll to determine what is correct and not correct. And we will tell other people in the world that we meet in our day-to-day -day lives that EFAB voted upon it, and so it is, it, is, it is decreed. And if you don't think that an EFAP poll is good enough for you, then okay. Because um, they were wrong on the deserved one, so who knows what else they'll be. They were right on the M&Ms, though, so they're a little, you know, bit of a toss-up. But can't, we'll see. can't watch now. We'll rewatch the upload tomorrow at work. Just wanted to give you some money. Just saw Spider Man Far From Home. I personally loved it. I think it was at least as good as Homecoming. All right. But wasn't Homecoming bad? That was the following super chat. <laughs> Where is my review of Gay World, Rags? Gay World. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually. I Let me actually check and see if that's on Steam. I could. I, it's <laughs> not. I already looked. Fuck. I don't believe you. Um, what do you mean? You I refuse. I, I tried to get it because I wanted the spike. You're Jim gay. Sterling. Well, oh, yeah, here it is. You. is it... Yeah, here it is. Oh, it's Wait, fifty it's cents. It's really? on. It's on sale. Review Holy it, shit, Rex. Review it. Gay World. <laughs> uh, adding its cart. Special promotion. Gay <gasps> World. It's there. Oh is it God. multiplayer? <laughs> Efab Gaming oh, Gay it's World. Got multiplayer? No, it's just single player. But it'll That's be worth 50 it. Fifty cents, man. <laughs> I'm, I, oh, I got it. It's so funny if it had multiplayer. Sent. It's like we create, like we get everyone to buy it and play. We like revive its player base. Oh, no, but you could buy the Gay World Ultra Edition. Oh Install my! Game eight seconds. It cut. <laughs> it, um, <laughs> well, here, let me see. Uh, how how much is Gay World in size? <laughs> <laughs> um. Four megabytes, I think. Need more vids Gay with world. dance and rags. It's pure ASMR prawn. Forty-nine megabytes. I would believe there's going to be more along the way. More vids of you dancing, right, Where Rags? Installed. Um, maybe. I've got. I'm in. I'm in some like... talks with some very skilled animators within certain themed communities. So. My God. I think I might have to hide the contents of my desktop because I don't know. I don't think I want anyone to walk in and see Gay World in my front screen. <laughs> you know, it actually took me less than a second to download Gay World because I can download <laughs> more than this game size in a single second. It my was max only like right now four megabytes. I think it uh, downloaded really quick for me. My peak for downloads is fifty-seven megabytes a second. So I could download this game in less than a second. Which um, means that in a minute, I could download like a hundred gay worlds. Man, that's really philosophical. Ah, yeah, how many I gay agree. worlds? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll be a big minotaur of a man for you if you want me to be rags. Mm, yes, please, daddy. 
But not for me. A bathwater mm. drank is a herpes earned. Benjamin Baggins. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> it was in the Constitution. I don't know what to tell you. It really the makes you think. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, hey, Thomas, George, I want to add this one little thing at the end. It'll make oh sense. Oh my god! Later. Wait, <laughs> can you can you copy paste that and put it in the Discord chat? I think I might have to put that as one of the quotes in the EFAP book. I can do that. A bathwater drink is a herpes. <laughs> <laughs> he knew. Uh, can we watch the Mulan trailer real quick? I have actually, I've seen it. It's not, um, I mean, Wolf, really you've seen boring. it as well, right? Yeah, there's, there's not much to comment on. It's like, it's standard stuff, uh, as lame as that sounds. I don't know. It's, it's, it's not going to be much for us to work with. And then we're at risk of copyright stuff as well. Uh, good job finding the clever way around the terms. I would expect nothing less from you. Why, thank you. If that's directed at me or anyone else, thanks regardless. Wait, Rags, this is important, and will raise slash lower my opinion of you depending on your answer. How do you pronounce the leader of the Legion's name? Leader of the Legions? The le I guess it would be the leader of the Legion and his name. Or her name, I don't even know. Which Legion? I don't know. Which one? Well, it's from James Moore, so I guess if he's in chat. Which Legion? Is he referring to a, um, let me, uh, what's, uh, give me a second. Um, uh, Legatus, uh, Legionis, I believe. Is that answer acceptable? Legatus Legionis. It depends. There's not, Latin pronunciations are kind of, all over the place, there's like classical and Italian, then there's church Latin pronunciations. It's, it's a uh, New Vegas jazz thing. Oh, leader of the Legion. Um, I guess so. Uh, There's new Leg Bay when our on. Oh, it, I think in I think in the game they pronounce it Leg Atlantius. At least the NCR pronounces it like that. Um. Uh, but the Legion would probably pronounce it Lanius. Oh, Fallout New Vegas. I think so. Right. Hopefully that answer was acceptable. We have um, because, two memes. Because like the, the NCR pronounces it Caesar, but Caesar himself pronounces it Caesar, which is the original Latin pronunciation. Which is also helpful for remembering how to spell Caesar. Because if you pronounce it Caesar. That's how we got the terms Kaiser and Tsar, fun fact. <laughs> yeah. They both come also, from Caesar. Also, he, the man could make a great salad. No one denies mm -hmm. it. The man could make a great salad. And to this day, we remember how good his salads were. Mm. In fact, I'm probably going to make myself one after this. Uh, the Bayo uh, in peace. stream, because I've got this stuff. To oh. just... Yeah, I deserve this. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I guess you did snap all of the stupids out of the, out of the thing. Well, if you went ahead and did it. Uh, so you have seemingly picture, been so getting. I'm glad I'm not this. You've been getting fatter <laughs> with each of these drawings. I oh man. Is it gonna be like a violent Beowin drawing where you've popped and it's just intestines everywhere? <laughs> oh no no no. <laughs> Legit, please no. <laughs> I don't want to see that. Um, but yeah, that actually wraps it up. It's been it, we got seven hours and eleven minutes. Holy fuck. Uh, so thank you all extreme much for the for the incredible uh, EFAP memes, both imageroos and videos. They were wonderful. Nice. I, I managed to get that many in the course of a week. Like, I don't. That's a lot of memes. That's a lot of memes. And I, 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 like the whole point was, you know, it's like memes once per three episodes or so, so I can build them up. But when it got to that many, I was like, no, you have to get rid of these. You have to do it. You have to have a whole burst of memes. A, sk I'm, a squirt I'm a little, of memes. I think in what I'm gonna do is is there a place where I can put some of the original assets that I use for my channel into a place so if people want to make memes they'll have some of the original images to use and they don't have to like you, um, cut out ones from videos. If or you anything? upload them in like a big pack to Imager and then just give me the link, I can put it in the description. 
Uh, yeah, I could probably do that. Yeah, mm. not all of them, of course. Oh well, yeah, whatever, whichever yeah, sure. ones you want to do. Absolutely. Yeah, I could. I could probably do that. Yeah. Get their sources for the EFAP memes. That would um, probably be good because I I want to give because people really do put in a lot of effort. So I think it's good that you know they might be able to use the good stuff. Give us that good stuff. They always said is to keep Wolf from escaping early. And, uh, <laughs> I came back, didn't I? <laughs> Maybe that's that was that was the reason why. Can't escape anymore. <laughs> and Zach said salads are for rabbits and the gay. Um, and yeah, thank you for the incredibly kind donations on top of the 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 memories. I hope you had fun with us looking into extra credits and everything else that happened. Um, Theo, plug your channel. <laughs> <laughs> what channel? Exactly. You're gonna. Be, <laughs> you're a loser. You're one of those people that has to be encouraged to, I guess, make one. Go on, chat. Do it. Be like, oh, Theo, she looks good, dude. You know, I've, Ringy, I've, you and Ringy, Froggle should just team up and make a channel together. Do it. I mean, I'm, I'm yeah, writing can stuff. Be gay but, together and everything. But, yeah. Don't, don't expect anything. He's writing things, <laughs> but don't expect any things. Mm. I, I like talking about video games. What can I say? <gasps> Danke, mein Bruder. Der toxischen Brut. I don't know what that means. Brut, du brut, du brut. Um. But yes, uh, thank you for guesting and assisting us with extra credits. I'm so sorry you didn't get to see your hero just right today. Um, but there's always next time. He will be... See, what would have happened if not... Why did extra credits have to release Tizmi video? You know, it would have been fine if they hadn't done it's that. It's his fault. Yep. Their fault. Um, but yeah, uh, next EFAP more than likely will be Sunday, but who knows what's going to happen, and who knows what guests there'll be, and who knows what the topic will be. No promises so that we don't disappoint, other than all the things we promised about episodes to come. You know how it works. It's been a wonderful night. It just works. I am glad that we've had so many ups and downs. That, that 3D effect, though, I mean, two, two months. Pretty crazy. That's absurd. Things are getting weird on this show. <laughs> but yes, oh, uh, man. is there anything else anyone would like to say before we hop off? Um, yeah, just thanks, for, thanks for all the memes. Like, seriously, mm -hmm. the, some of them are really, really great. The art, the memes, uh, it really is something that we look forward to, to watching. I can't EFAP. wait for the fucking Godzilla EFAP movie. Jeez. <laughs> The effort you guys put into that, into like the memes and such like, is again honestly fucking crazy. It is so, unbelievable yeah. the effort Good. that goes into it. It's like a whole subgenre on YouTube videos now. Like this kind of network. There's a, how many have we covered videos? It's probably over a hundred, right? No, oh, I couldn't. Uh, it I might like be know. around about a hundred at this point. I we don't have know. a literal website with a whole page dedicated to the memes. It's Unbelievable, and I think the sure the I biggest blast of them all got started with Kylo Ben. I believe that was Kylo Ben. That was the first I one that, that I actually. One. Yeah, it was the first one where I was like, oh, I better start storing them because they're actually like art pieces that deserve <laughs> to be remembered instead of. Actually, I away. think Bayowin may have started it with that fucking creepy alien thing from the Last Jedi. That was well, the that, that was the that. first Bayowin drawing, wasn't it? Yeah. My God. I'm. Good to know that was your inspiration, that weird floaty <laughs> ball sack thing. <laughs> what a weird web we spin upon this channel. And with that, good night, everybody. We shall see you next good time. time. Good night. Good night. We love you. Yay.